as we get things ready here to uh, have Star Ocean until the end of time, might tell you why we are here and why we are so important. We are raising money for NAMI, and you are watching RPG Limit Break 2017 here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And raising money for NAMI is especially poignant as May is Mental Health Month. And you can join the conversation about the importance of mental health on Twitter using hashtag Mental Health Month or hashtag Stigma Free. If you would like to find out more about NAMI, dot, uh, NAMI you can head to NAMI.org, that is N-A-M-I dot org, in order to understand how they are striving to raise awareness of the difficulties that those, that those suffer from mental illness face. RPG Limit Break is proud to once again be partnering with the Yeti to bring you nine amazing looking t-shirts. Head over to the yeti.com slash RPG Limit Break to take a look at the designs. Pick up the ones you want and know that $3 from every t-shirt purchased will be donated to NAMI. Remember Yeti is spelled Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. The Yeti.com slash RPG limit break.
Who's, who's the one who did that? <laughs> <laughs> but somebody named was everyone Jeff and named everyone Taiho. Just Ty two Ty people. Ho. So good. Someone needs to donate money to name someone's salt as well. A lot. Okay. Oh, we are live. Hey, it's oh, now you need a new game. Now can, can someone reset the control? Please. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Listen to that sound. Doesn't that sound beautiful? It's such a good sound. Welcome to Star Ocean till the end of time. We're live, right? Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah, oh, awesome. You're on TV. We are. we are on TV, guys. Hi, Mom. So uh, <laughs> so don't get too salty. Uh, don't get too salty. I'm sorry, but this game. <laughs> this game's already too salty. Salt Ocean till this someone guy, gets sub three. This guy. Is you're going to get sub three in the run. It's going to be so good, dude. No, negative. If we get sub three in the run, we're going to like dance and stuff. It's going to be magnificent. Mm -hmm. you're, you're already getting salty, and the game hasn't even booted up yet. <laughs> I see where this is going. Sad boys. Sad boys. <laughs> All right. Did, you get, did we just get tries at the start of the game? No, it, it always, always takes, takes forever. It takes forever to load the yeah. title screen. Because it's important. So hi, everybody. You want to do a roll call? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm Ither. He is. Uh, I'm in the uh, I'm the brown dude, so can't miss me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I am brown, though. You know, I know you are, dude. <laughs> you can't say that on TV. <laughs> I mean, it's 2017, dog. 2017. Right. right. It is still right. 2017, right? Here is Garrick one. I you am may, one. You may recognize him from running they Cthulhu, don't. runs uh, no Save the World. Him. No one recognizes him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Johnny Garland. <laughs> Johnny Garland. Johnny right Garland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master of uh, opening doors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Ty Ruglia. Yeah. Uh, you may recognize him from uh, from actually Shadow playing Shadow Hearts. Shadow and Hearts, Johnny Garland. as well as being on the couch for Final Fantasy Tactics. That was all yesterday. Yeah. And my, myself, my name is Sum DDR Noob. I'll be part of the big Final Fantasy Mystic Quest race for tomorrow. Yeah, and he's also a god at uh, Star Ocean 4, so follow and, this and, guy. And ironically, <laughs> DDR, which is pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, Are seeing. you good at DDR? He's not. He's no, I'm not. not. But it, sad I do boy, live up to my name. I was trying part. to. We should probably get started. Yeah, this all is right. the, the salty crew. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Hope well, you all pay attention. That's well, going to be on the uh, test. Time should begin now. Yeah, so. Yeah, you guys start the timer. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay, wait, so wait, we'll wait, give a countdown, countdown to that. Yeah, okay. give a countdown. Okay, we'll so, start. Yeah. So three. What are, we, are you guys ready? Two. One. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. All right, guys. All right, so, so good music. that was the best part of the run. Yeah, the uh, can't stop the J-pop. Yep. Okay. So what he did there was, before that, he set the screen aspect ratio to four free, music on stereo, event skips on. Subs only because battle voices do slow down the game in some battles, and the difficulty is going to be on Galaxy. So Can someone tell us the name for Fate? Yeah, yeah. so Fate should be cut off now, as well as uh, Sophia. So uh, who's our hero? The uh, blue-haired swordsman. Yeah. So Salty line god. Salty line god. <laughs> <laughs> should have been what it was. So, okay. So which one you for need fate. to Fate? Fate, yes. fate and, and Sophia. And Sophia. Okay, it looks like the winner for Fate is Booper. Booper. Oh, Booper. Booper. Spelled B O O P E R. Should do it as caps. <laughs> no, it's not caps. Why not caps? Because it's not caps. <laughs> so, Booper Line God is our hero. Oh, that music's so good, dude. It is. I have no idea why it's in this I game. Ither sings this all the time. He does. In his house. In my, in my house by myself. Yeah. Where no one can hear me. I can so sing to karaoke. <coughs> We're gonna be moving through some simulations. You you lose you win the situation. The simulations, right? Negative. You run. No, no you we leave. on occasion will attack to build up some meter. We should oh, probably talk about the bonus Sophia gauge. Yep. <laughs> like uh, bonus that. gauge in this game. So there's a bar on the very right side in combat, and uh, it's gonna build up depending on the difficulty of the fight and has a certain charge rate depending on how hard the fight is. So every single time he hits something, uh, it's gonna build bonus meter. And whenever the bonus meter is full, you get different bonuses. And the most important bonus effect in, uh, that you get is the triple EXP effect. So it's actually not random when you get the bonuses. Uh, it depends on the attack that you use when the bonus gauge is filled up. So I believe, if I recall correctly, the minor attacks will build up a uh, the triple EXP effect. The major attacks build up double full which is your money in this game. And then the other two effects you don't really care about, which is increased drop rate as well as uh, increased recovery after battle. Yeah. Actually, for triple EXP, it's short range minor that will give you the triple EXP bonus. I think it's just range. Because ranges do matter. 
I think well. it's just any minor. If Is I it? Correctly. Yeah, it's just uh, they don't. Dis uh, it's not separated into the ranges, as far as I know, for bonuses. It's because there are four different types of bonuses. That's yeah, why. Yeah, it's well, well, it's uh, it's like if you use battle skills, it changes to like increased uh, uh, HP that would recovery, and it, I think actually, uh, symbology yes. is the increased drop rate. Mm -hmm. Um, anyways, but the idea is that you know on occasion, if you want, you can hit a couple guys here, but most of the time he's just gonna run away afterwards because uh, it's not really worth it. So as you can see, there's a 90% charge rate, so that's how fast it's gonna build. And every single time the uh, battle progresses, it's gonna in basically start to decrease. Um, there's a couple of other really important mechanics uh, that happens. You might have noticed that somebody uh, had like this MP value that appeared during battle. So in this game, another important mechanic is that you can actually kill enemies uh, when their MP decreases to zero. And this applies to both the enemies as well as yourself, which is quite different than traditional RPGs because if you, you know, play most other RPGs, going down to zero MP doesn't get you killed. Um, however, this mechanic is very important during the course of the run because a lot of the enemies at the very beginning of the game have actually very small uh, MP values. So, so, can we get Sophia's name? <laughs> it uh, appears that Sophia is named Jeff. All right, <laughs> Jeff, all right. Jeff, the Jeff Esteem, the uh, Jeff is childhood right. friend of Wooper. Oops. <laughs> <sighs> Good well, job, man. Menus are world hard. Record, menus are hard. There goes world record. Agreed. Um, this game, like Tide was alluding to, is just saying to go. The game, the combat's actually pretty deep, considering you can actually deal MP or physical damage. And we exploit that some throughout the run as far as dealing actual physical or MP damage. And some bosses will deal MP damage as well as, yeah. as uh, physical damage. Well, actually, most bosses, uh, surprisingly, actually don't do MP damage. It's also why you don't really increase MP throughout the run until the end. Uh, in this first series of fights, Aether's main goal is to try to build up his bone gauge to about 70 to 80%. Uh, hopefully 80%, we'll see. Doesn't always cooperate. Yeah. Uh, and ideally, he needs to do this because he wants to pick up uh, Blazing Sword as soon as he can. As I mentioned just a little bit while earlier, a lot of the uh, early game bosses actually have very low MP values. So using MP kill uh, is kind of the ideal way to go. Um, so these uh, battles uh, <laughs> get increasingly more agitating because you get a few more enemies. So he wants to hit more of them at the same time because that's going to build meter a little bit faster. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for you. I mean, death. You might also <laughs> notice uh, there's the little... Uh, like the letters at the bottom of the same manual. Uh, so when the manual uh, appears, it means that the character won't move unless you issue commands to them. Uh, so for this part, we're going to leave um, Kita, who's the other girl who joined us, on auto. Because she actually hits enemies pretty well. Uh, but we want Sophia and Fate mainly on manual, because uh, their AI doesn't really perform that well. And that's really good, because he has about like an 85% gauge already. Uh, so that will be important in like about six minutes. And also for battles, you notice that there is this Fury Gauge on the bottom. What Fury does is it determines like how many ch moves you can chain, as well as uh, I think it's your survival weight whenever your MP or HP hits zero. So I think that the percentage gauge on the bottom will determine uh, the odds that you'll survive a Fury. It's not going to be exactly the rates you see on the bottom there, but it's going to be s dependent on the Fury meter itself. The and. most important thing about Fury is um, the mechanics in the game, so there's three types of things you can do in battle. You can perform a minor attack, a major attack, or you can stand still, which is your uh, your guard. Um, in order to guard, you have to have 100% Fury, and if you have 100% Fury, it will actually stop all minor attacks in your tracks, uh, including uh, enemy battle skills or like techs. So this is uh, an important mechanic to do a rock, paper, scissors kind of triangle between them, so minor attacks will beat major attacks. Major attacks will beat guards, but guards will beat minor attacks. Um, throughout the course of this run, we're going to be primarily trying to hit people, uh, obviously when their guard is down, because we need to start combos, unfortunately, with minor attacks, and you can't start combos with major, major attacks. And a way to differentiate major attacks is that there's this purple aura surrounding the character. That's when you know that it's going to be a major attack, whereas minor attacks will not have this aura at all. Just progressing through the plot. So this game also has a lot of random people you have to talk to in order to progress the trigger. So here it's like you talk to this guy, and uh, then you have to run all the way back, and then all the people are gone. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of people who played this game that 
have spent like 30 minutes or an hour just on this first part because you, your your first instinct's like, oh, in order to progress, I gotta talk to everyone, right? You actually have to only talk to a few certain people. Yeah. So here, this part of the game. Um, what we need to do now is we have to find a way to get money because uh, very early in the game there's a store that sells you equipment that's pretty good until up to the end of this one. So we want to grab those uh, weapons uh, or at least one weapon very quickly because that will allow us to power through a lot of the enemies because the game doesn't expect you to have that much money. So in order to get the money, um, one of the ways we're going to do about it is we're going to do what's called the map completion. Whenever you complete a map, the game will award you with a bunny statue. Uh, and the bunny statue is worth a lot of money. I think it's worth about nine thousand uh, yeah, dollars. And, you, and right. the sword, I think, is about eighteen thousand, if so, I recall correctly. So it's around something nineteen thousand like eight hundred fall. I, I think. Yeah, yeah it's somewhere that. around that value. But the point is, you need to do the map completion. So that's why you see Ether running in this really odd manner. Instead of running straight, he's just hugging all the walls. Uh, and there's certain percentage values that you can see where you know you're doing good or you're not doing so well. I think forty-four is pretty good. And we go through. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> NPCs will randomly block your path in this game too. Uh, shout outs to Cliff, yep. just uh, stopping people for 10 seconds, yep. as well as Cornelius. Yep. Uh, Cornelius. So you notice that he doesn't complete the map on the first go. We go through the Whipple, uh, not the Whipple Forest, the Pizzotto Forest, uh, several times. So he has plenty of opportunity to continue building onto the map completion percentages. Here we get uh, two simple swords, although if you try to go progress with the plots with the single si simple sword you get, it will allow you. You need the simple sword from uh, Whipple. You also actually get the iron pipe, which only has one less attack power, but the game doesn't say, oh, you're well armed with the iron pipe. Yeah. <laughs> which, by the way, the iron pipe, uh, for the purposes of the run, is actually not a terribly bad weapon. Talk more about that a little bit uh, in a little while. But as you can see, Aether is just hugging around the corners and building up the map completion, right? All right, I'm going to do the Japanese thing. All right, cool. Do it. Let's do it. Uh, I did it. Okay. All right. Base Japan, dude. This was to get more map completion. Yeah, it's uh, about 10 seconds Wait, faster than how I used to do it. Okay. So yeah. one thing that uh, you kind of need to know in this game as well is that the bonus gauge can actually break. Um, so if you get into an encounter and you run away, the gauge will automatically break. So if you for if you get into an encounter, uh, your main option really at this point in the game if you want to keep it is you have to fight it out. So that's unfortunately very, very slow. So we want to avoid encounters as much as we can because rebuilding the bonus gauge is a pain in the rear. Yes. And there's also suffering a critical hit with the character you control as well as being KO'd yeah. either via HP or MP. Yeah, that's another way your bonus board will break. If you're killed while um, you're controlling the character, the bonus gauge automatically breaks. Uh, in case you're wondering the time loss from that at this point, it's around 10 minutes. At the very least, just to rebuild your gauge. So you really, really do not want your gauge to break. And that's actually um, part of the reason why this game's difficulty is so hard at the very beginning. Um, because you're pretty much, you know, you can't predict when you're going to get critical hit. So you pretty much uh, have to avoid getting hit, period, <laughs> for the first half of this game until, um, you know, you build up enough gauge and hopefully hold it on for quite some time. There's some checkpoints for when it's okay, I guess, for your gauge to maybe break because you can rebuild it a little bit faster. But in the ideal world, your gauge will remain intact for the entire run. Yeah, um, I, I can't that's do that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, so shout out to anybody who can predict when the gauge is going to break first yeah, because yeah. it's going to happen. Now. Make your bets now, everyone. Twitch chat. It's very tricky, especially when you're fighting uh, solo battles. At least this is for the beginning of the game. It yep. gets a little better when you have more than one character yeah. in battle. You can uh, corpse shield yourself. If someone dies, you can swap to them so that you know when you get hit, you're not actually getting hit. Because the game only counts when you're uh, getting hit through the character you're controlling. So if you take a critical hit with somebody that's not under your active control, it doesn't count. So you notice that we picked up the 600 fall chest. We need every bit of money we can get, yeah. and that chest is definitely contributing to yeah. that. Yeah, that. I think it will pretty much sell his entire inventory. Yeah, soon. that's correct. 19 grand at this point in the game is a lot of money. Again, and it's, it's, it's game, pretty hard to get. The too, game yeah. doesn't really expect you to have that weapon this early, but it's also why it's so good. Yeah, it's the uh, triple experience as well as the holy sword that you get from Airy Glyph allows us to just blaze through like the first half of yeah, this one. Again, it's a pretty much an end of this one weapon that you get at the very beginning of the game if you do this properly. So it's very, very powerful. 
Uh, up next are three bullies. Uh, do you want to go over this, DDR? Well, three bullies, these guys... Uh, these guys stink. Yeah, they <laughs> stink. <laughs> they're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very tough fight right at the start of the game. Yes. It is, actually, yeah. Um, so this is where you we need, finish completing our yeah, gauge. Yeah, you need to complete your gauge here. Uh, there's two problems here. One is that your gauge can break immediately after you get it. And you'll notice he started off with the minor attack there just to get his gauge built. Yep. The other problem here is that uh, if the bullies hit him, they can actually chain bomb hold him. And it's possible to actually die to the bullies. Um, he also has to make sure he has to kill the bullies because the bullies, they when they're at low HP, they will run away. And if they this run away, you, run you away. don't get the e EXP. And unfortunately, so the they juggle. drop a lot of EXP. <laughs> And you need every bit you of You need every EXP. bit of EXP at the beginning, because he needs to hit level 6 by the time he's done uh, beating the boss of this area, uh, Norton, to pick up a battle skill for uh, our hero. So you, see right, God. you see right there oh, no. that guy's guarding. That's what oh, the guard looks like, Thank is God. when the little... When the shield shows up above them, it, it's guard. <laughs> <Yeah>. And uh, <laughs> all right, that first, can actually <laughs> first benchmark reached. Yeah, we, we just saved 15 minutes. Yeah. Everybody, clap, 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 please, clap. We did clap. it. Yeah, because 15 if you, if minutes. You don't have, if you don't have, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Blazing sword by the beginning. Sword, yeah. It's really <laughs> it's, slow. It's hard uh, because yeah. the enemies just have massive amounts of HP, but they have very, very low MP scores. I believe the first boss has. If I recall correctly, something like 80 MP. Yeah, something, something like that. Something like that, yeah. The but first like boss can use HP. Blazing Sword on. <laughs> yeah, the game yeah. really, they really didn't expect you to kind of exploit the MP kill. Uh, Disc 2 bosses have a ton of MP as well. So it's not as easy to just be like, hey, we're going to kill you with MP. Yeah. Uh, you, I think you still kill a couple bosses in Disc 2 with MP kill, but for the most part, it's because you can pump out so much damage with Maria and Cliff that it doesn't matter as much. Yeah, so, so here we have our first boss, Norton. Do and the we, juggle. We have Cliff. Do the juggle. You can do it. I believe Cliff is going to be one of the very big damage sources of damage. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, if he gets it, I'm going to... Oh. Uh, oh. So this rip, guy rip is my Evo. Very, Yo, very good. Time for you to reset the game. Because time to retire. Yeah. <laughs> it's still uh, going. This is actually really, really hard. Um... Microing in this game is actually very, very difficult because, again, this game is, you know, it's still an RPG. It's not really designed to be a fighting game. Very so good fight. So what you want to do a majority in, in that fight is you actually want to juggle Norton because that prevents him from trying to attack you. You don't have to guard, and it's much faster. But yeah. juggling is really, really difficult. Yeah. Uh, the timing is, like, insane, and you have no notification of when you need to start the attacks. Yeah, not even the Japanese runners can get that consistently. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, because, like, the gravity is weird in this game yeah. when people fall. There's, like, certain heights when some stuff will hit, certain st heights when, you know, the attacks don't hit. And every single attack, like the Cliff's Major, you know, when he's sure he's going to do the uppercut, there's always that little bit of lag time to get the factor. And then there's also a minimum distance, which uh, <laughs> I guess I'll talk a little bit about now. Um, so attacks in this game, they don't actually target a character. They target the space where the character is standing. So if the you know space is moving, they're going to move with the character. But once they start the attack, you know, they don't home back in on where the you know target is going to be moving. They stay there. And uh, minimum distance applies when you're using things like battle skills. There's a certain distance that they need before the battle skills triggers. And if you're not within that minimum distance, the character will auto-correct themselves. And this applies to all attacks, including your normal attacks. Which, you know, of course makes this juggle even harder. Because, you know, when you're doing the juggle, you're not thinking, Oh, I'm within the right distance, I will watch the attack. If you're not oh, close I enough, nice. what will happen is your character will run, sometimes in really bizarre directions, because Tri's coding is great. Um, <laughs> And, you know, they won't launch the attack when you think they will. So the timing gets very, very tricky for the juggle. So getting, like, six or seven hits is actually really, really impressive. So I'm very glad our boy I got to show off his mad skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any any juggle in that fight makes it faster because you're able to do a lot of damage to him very quickly. Yeah. And he doesn't uh, do anything because he's in the air. Yeah, exactly. That's the, that's the big thing. Because your gauge can break in that fight really it easily. Can. Yeah, it can break in any fight where you may potentially take a hit. And it is possible to break in, in the Norton fight. And Norton shoots with a gun, so he hits you multiple times when he shoots mm. you. Mm. The um, I guess the one thing that you can note about the juggle as well is that if you know you fail the juggle, the secondary strat in that fight is uh, you actually want Norton to fire his minor attack a lot because uh, hitting him while he's stunned with Cliff's uh, short major does about 250 points of damage. And if I recall correctly, he only has around somewhere around 1,250 HP. So six of those will take him out. Nice. We got the bunny yeah. upon 99% uh, completion. There's that our, will count as 100%. There's our bunny. So we're going to be selling that poor fellow. He's going to bring us Temula. 
Tim Ula. Yep. Oh yeah. Were we able to name Cliff as well? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. what's Cliff's name, by the way? So John we'll Cena. be cutting off uh, Cliff. Uh, name right now so yeah. is it possible to get Cliff's name yes indeed he will be named John Cena yeah. John Cena John Cena God, I hate John is it also that? possible to come in with a few uh, donations while you're naming uh, yes, yes. Yeah. okay so we have a ten dollar donation from anonymous by the way, you're skipping the E in John Cena. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what we were going yeah. for. Okay. Yep, go. got it. So we have a $10 donation from Anonymous that says, Let's get the salt train rolling. I'm poor, so I only have $1 for every tri-ace. Oh, oh, God. And so can we also get Nell's name as yeah. well? Yeah, we also get a uh, Nell's assassin. Name? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me refresh that really quickly. Nell will be named Maddie. Maddie. All right, how do I spell that? That is M A D D I E. I am going to say something about the guy who's going to donate a dollar for every trice. Uh, that doesn't mean you're poor. Just so you know, it means that you've got a lot of money. Because <laughs> we're going to see those things. For, for anybody who doesn't know, a trice is when the game fails to load. Yeah. Uh, it fails to load a scene or an area. And instead of crashing, uh, the game just tries to reload the sequence. Which. In and of itself is pretty impressive that they were able to have the foresight to realize that there was this issue was going to arise because this game does push the PlayStation 2 pretty hard. Yeah, it runs actually at 60 FPS consistently. Yeah, and uh, the which graphics. Is very impressive. Yeah, and the graphics are pretty hard for nope. an early PlayStation 2 game. Don't break your gauge, bro. Uh, <laughs> so that's what Todd was talking about earlier. He's kind of what's called it, it's not necessarily corpse guarding in this situation, but what he's doing is he's switching between Cliff and Faith. He's mic growing, yeah, because yeah. he wants to avoid getting hit. Yeah. But you know these soldiers, they can be quite trolls. Uh, this fight is. Can be actually really difficult in higher difficulties. Uh, but, you know, having Blazing Sword again, they have significantly less MP, so activating Blazing Sword and hitting him twice uh, will get rid of them. So he's just using Cliff to uh, guard for fate, because, um, you know, when you're standing there, your Fury's going to be at 100%. So if As long he, as they don't hit Cliff yeah, with a major attack. Then he'll guard them and be stunned temporarily, which allows uh, fate to whack them. Uh, every single time you hit a character that also has his uh, guard up, you also lose about 30% of your Fury. Which is uh, useful in this case because it makes them immediately vulnerable to a minor attack. Attacks can also be reflected if you guard. Uh, it can shoot out kind of like a shooting star that's in the other games. Yeah, there's a. Uh, you can stun enemies that way. He'll try to use that against the sand. You use that against Sandman still, right? Before you try to do that. Uh, uh, he is it just, it's just just hammer might now. Like fish. Hammer. Fish. Fish. Yeah, he picks up an item here, uh, which is a an attack item, and then he's gonna slot it into the second slot, accessory slot, instead of the first, because when. Uh, Later on in the game, we get an accessory that's going to go over your first slot, and if you have the item in your first slot, you have to redo the menu. Yeah, the Maiden of Ivory. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Ooh, Jelly Ball. Yeah. Yeah, so like again, you, you don't want to fight random encounters at this point. They're very, very slow, because you do actually have to fight them. You can't run. Um, like, they're not too slow with Blazing Sword, but there are a few enemies that are immune to fire early yep. on. Yep, just to troll you. And as Garrick was alluding to uh, a little bit earlier... Snowboard um, kids. <laughs> when you're... Uh, yeah. Safety save? Oh, uh, yes. You probably want a safety save. No, post this. Yes. Thank you. Uh, one thing to know when you safety save in this game, it doesn't save your battle gauge. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So, practicing in this game is actually really hard because you need the gauge for, like, at the minimum, you know, hopefully within the first hour. But it's never going to save, you know, the battle gauge yeah. for you. So, every single time you want to practice, you do rebuild it. That's how you know approximately how much time you're losing. <laughs> And kind of true to form, experience in this game is split between active party members. Yeah, that's also why we moved Nell. Why they take Nell out of the party, because they're not going to use Nell. Yeah, um, sorry, Maddie. Yeah, unfortunately. Yo, the one hit. One shot. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Very Sometimes nice. you need so two swings. Damage variants could be like 78 MP. Yeah, so right there you saw him block with Cliff, and Cliff reflected the damage back to the boss to stun him for a second, and Fate was able to just run up and finish him off. Yeah, and you saw the little yellow aura that Cliff shot out. So uh, we picked up a tome earlier called the Worm Eaten Tome, I believe, or whatever tome it is. Uh, that allows uh, you to get what's called an anti-attack aura as long as that character joins your party when you have that book in your inventory. Unfortunately, we have to sell the book again. We yeah. alluded to this earlier, we have to pretty much clean out our entire inventory just to buy the sword. Yeah, also, but the uh, thing about Cliff and Fate is that that anti-attack bar is their default. It's called Standard. So regardless of whether or not you have the tome, those two characters will always have the uh, stun anti-attack bar, which is really useful. Yeah, because uh, we have to sell it. 
And uh, later on, for example, when we get Maria and Sophia, oh, I have a dual They nice. won't have the uh, they won't have the aura, so it'll be a little bit less uh, a little bit less useful. Um, there was also the shake that we picked up in the very beginning in the gaming simulator, which I think we all glossed over, and I think a lot of people gloss over. But you can pick up a milkshake. And the milkshake does sell for quite a bit of money. It's like yeah. 400 full, right? It's yeah. 600. Because 600, it's yeah. supposed to be full HP MP recovery, if I recall correctly. But yeah, the, the bullies, I believe, dropped the Jewel of Avarice, which is an yeah, extra 600, that. which yeah. is really kind of nice. A little bit. Yeah. It doesn't really do anything, but, you know, it, it's like just in case you may have forgotten something, that would be nice. Mm. Like, yeah. I, I imagine, like, in a TAS setting, you wouldn't pick up the shake and just. Hope for a Jewel of Avarice drop because that sells for 600 as well. Yeah, it does take a second to pick up that shake because you have a couple extra dialogue boxes to get it, right? You have to uh, skip a cutscene for it because yeah. it activates a cutscene when you uh, go and pick up the shake where uh, uh, Jeff berates Booper for drinking sodas. Yeah. <laughs> Shout outs to, again, really, really good music in this game. This is one of the best tracks yeah, in my controller. Opinion. Feels so good. No, I, He's I don't not actually, actually. He does not have a user. Yeah. That, that text He's just skips a lot yeah, faster, faster than usual. Yeah. It's really nice. It, it makes me pretend that I have a turbo controller. <laughs> it is a very <laughs> long uh, bit of dialogue there. So that's nice that uh, it's able to be skipped fast. Also, you notice that uh, we picked up a Jewel of Refuge. What that allows is enemies on the map will be frozen. Mm -hmm. And some enemies in this game move really fast, and Fate has a deceptively large hitbox. Yeah, so we like to call him Fat Lord huge. God. For this yeah. reason, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, our boy Tide likes to call him Fat Lord God. The, uh, fat Lord God. Fat Lord like God. It, like, like DR was just saying, if you look at Fate's character model, it kind of goes out a little bit past where his sword stops. Yeah, it's it's huge. It That's lets you get hit by things you think you can avoid. Yeah. Like you touch the edge of someone's wing or like the toe of someone's foot, and it's like random encounter. And, and that's, it's like, what? I didn't touch him. And that's a great reason as to why you seem like hugging walls so tightly to go around guys sometimes. It'll look like you can get through there, but sometimes you can't. And that's uh, a big reason why keeping the bonus board is such a difficult thing to do. Yeah, this is the, uh, uh, Earth Smasher is pretty much the Earth. exact same strategy we have for um, the other one, except this time we're going to cancel into an aerial. Uh, so, DDR, do you want to talk no, about canceling? We don't have to. We don't have so, to? Well, we'll talk about canceling anyway. Yeah. Because <laughs> it it'll come up really soon. So, canceling moves is when you execute a minor attack and then hold down X to execute the skill that's assigned to the minor in the skill setup page. And then, if you do have enough fury and press the major button, you can do a cancel bonus and execute your next skill with the damage bo bonus that's dependent Where on where in your combo you are with your that's uh, so hard to cancel skip. boost. That's yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this game that's very deceptive. Yeah. Just to add on to what you are saying, there's some rules about canceling um, that can be kind of tricky to learn as well. There's certain windows uh, or frames where you're allowed to cancel and certain frames where you're not allowed to. Uh, you can actually delay the canceling as well, so it makes for some pretty cool strategies because sometimes you mm -hmm. want to delay the canceling. Um, to see if the enemy will move before you chain a miner, because remember, miner attacks can be blocked by guards. And uh, then we get this part, which is the reason why I rage quit this game every single time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing about Here's canceling the uh, that I think that nobody mentioned was that it just gives you massive damage. It does, yeah, because the, the damage bonus increases 300%. Yeah. So which if you're able to hold it with enough fury, then you can do a lot of chains at that uh, damage field multiplier. Which gives you just like the ability to just deal a lot of a ton of damage especially with the weapon we're going to make later the weapons we're going to make later so this part is uh, awful <laughs> it is pretty does, bad. does someone want to go over this other than me because i just so there's five different types of callers <laughs> we choose we choose the ill nature caller because it goes right, the fastest totally it. but when you choose direction it goes the opposite of nice. what you where you want to go and so that's a very good section that, yeah that is, is actually section. tricky to do that uh we picked the ill nature one because the ill nature one moves the fastest and it doesn't you know Force we, you we to pick directions like uh, DDR was saying. Yeah. So that skips a couple of slowdowns that you have to do, but it makes the timing, especially during that lap part, really tricky. So when the stress level reaches 100, the hauler uh, stops. Will collapse, yeah. yeah. Then you have to restart. Uh, it's actually one of the pretty tricky if you're learning the timing. It's also tricky like trying to get through the turns because you have to slow down at this exact moment or else you'll go down the wrong path, and that's going to be essentially a big waste of time because you'll have to redo yeah, the entire hall section. Entire yeah, it's about a minute lost every time you fail it. So you definitely want to get it uh, the first time. I was playing it a little safe. Like I know the Japanese runners like to do it frame perfect every time, but uh, 
Uh, my controller's not good enough for that. <laughs> uh, I believe there was in the old version of the route, uh, like when with Hal ran this game, uh, she used to use, I think, also the gentle uh, hole is the uh, your other yeah. choice. Uh, but you know, the gentle one doesn't have the ill nature. It's one advantage of you know, skipping over the direction choices. And it, so it is and definitely slower. And slower yep. as well. So it's uh, pretty bad. All right, we get to meet. It's safety, Maddie's man. uh Maddie's boss, Claire. Safety. Well, the how much safety hello? you can get hello? in this game. Hello? This is the best part. Yo, Cliff's just standing there. John Cena just standing there like, no, man. You're not John going to bed. Cena, you're like, you cannot go to sleep. Exactly. <laughs> this might later when yeah. he stands exactly. in front of the inn. Alternatively, you can just talk to Cliff twice and you also go to bed that time. Uh, no, not in the not first this one. Okay. Not, in, not in the first one. The second one, yes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yes. I was a little bit... Uh, and yeah, you have to activate the bed from that side. You yeah. can't activate it from the foot or anything like that. This game has some weird rules as far as how you activate stuff, especially the dragon flute. <sighs> oh, yeah, so we'll come to that part when yeah, we get to it. Baby but rage, there, there, flute. there are some weird... Baby rage. Uh, it may look... Some of the stuff may look a little awkward, and it's just because that's the way the game makes you do it. Yeah, yeah Trias was in love with button sensitivity. Yeah, they in really... A, in a game area where bus, button sensitivity wasn't very good. Yeah, <laughs> they they really made use of the PlayStation 2's button sensitivity. Uh, a little tidbit about the battle system. So you, are, you can see that sometimes in battle that I only do one attack, it's because I softly press uh, either button for attack. So when you do that, you actually only do one attack instead of two. So it's really useful for like, you know, not locking yourself into a corner or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, once you issue a command, you can't cancel it. Uh, so you do want to be careful. Some attacks don't have a very good hitbox. Um, luckily, most of the minor attacks are pretty good. Like Glyph's jabs come out really fast and uh, Fate's short minor has pretty good coverage and doesn't leave him too vulnerable, yeah. which is nice. So you saw Ifair give a lot of space to those knights on on horses because they move really, really, really fast. Yeah. And they're for large. the booty. Yeah. Yeah. And our boy Fat Largard is a uh, fat, so he gets uh he can get back that pretty easily. Yeah. yeah like we said about about Booper is that he just for some reason they programmed his hitbox to be really large. Yeah. Actually, hit the back of his hitbox is actually a bit smaller than the rest of him. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you'll see me dodge things where I I have my back facing toward the enemy and it works. But if you try like going from the front or something, it won't work. This because of the uh, this the portion of fat lock guard of uh, Booper. His name is Booper, sir. No, <laughs> <n> doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> He's still fat lock guard. <laughs> now would be a couple of a uh, good time for a couple of donations. Yeah. We're just walking around yeah. and skipping some events and not getting my gauge broken. Yeah, and just yeah. fighting some minor battles Knock on wood. with enemies. <laughs> uh, kind of this like was actually mandatory. mandatory. Yeah, mandatory. But yeah. It's mandatory pretty much fight. the same thing that you expect. Yeah, I mean, same like kind of strategy. Blazing sword, is sword, MP kill. You're gonna see uh, blazing sword and MP kills for a while. Yeah. So. Although, for the upcoming boss, that boss has a lot of MP, so MP killing is not a viable option. We have to train the Jewel Refuge! Nice, the Jewel Refuge drop. Extra Jewel Refuge drops will be very, very helpful. Oh, don't blink, by the way. Yeah, let's get yeah, to so, Now's a good time for donations. Yeah, now you can donate. It's a very yeah. long place, so yeah. Yeah. now's a great time. Okay, so first off, we had two separate donations from Corvus, one for $50 and one for $25. One was without comment, and the other one states, took time off work just for RPG Limit Break. What you guys are doing is amazing, and keep it up. Well, thank you for your generosity with us, Corvus, and uh, for your donation. We also had a $25 donation from Oasis, and... They say, quick question for the runner, and I'll give him 25 to put towards the other naming incentives for this game. Is there a Star Ocean Community Discord? I've been looking into getting into speedrunning Star Ocean 2 and maybe 3, but I'll be darned if I can find a community page anywhere. If there isn't one, I say we start one. So is there any sort of Discord for... Y yes, there sir. There is a Try mm -hmm. Ace speedrunning club, yeah. uh, which encompasses <laughs> all Try Ace games, not yes. just this one. So there is a Discord. Um, I guess if he has some information, we can drop the link for him. Uh, yeah, I don't have the link. I don't have the link. I don't have the Discord. I don't have the link on me on hand. Yeah. But if you look for Try Ace uh, speedrun speed club, then yeah. uh, you'll find it. There's already a, actually quite a bunch of people on it, yep. surprisingly. Just message any of us on Twitter or yeah. Twitch, and we'll be happy to provide you with the link. The my, only, only my, my name is on the same on Discord, so you can message. Free, feel free to message me. The only requirement is that you bring salt. Don't worry, you'll get some as you run these games. If you don't have salt, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to join the club. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, this is a story trigger. You need to run up here and talk to this girl so you can get the key, which allows you to activate the elevator. Um, because uh, during the story, apparently Nell's two, uh, I guess, subordinates got captured, so we have to go and rescue them. Because she decided to basically be uh, Leroy Jenkins and run in here. This is kind of a theme through all the Star Ocean games, is having these random NPCs that you have to talk to. Mm. Uh, yeah. To oh, advance yeah. plot. <laughs> or yeah. to get We already saw a couple. Too. Yeah. yeah. So it, it does have, they did want to put an emphasis on you like exploring the world and talking mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. and learning about it. So. Yeah, the wor world is actually quite small in Star Ocean 3, so they really wanted you to just take your time and uh, yeah. go yeah. through it. Of course, we're speedrunning it, yeah. so it's... Steel. Because <laughs> this game pretty much uses a lot of its assets, so we'll be seeing a few areas. Again, uh, understood, again, yes. yes. This place uh, is actually a little confusing to run through. Very, very confusing very the first time. Because there's so many areas that look the same. Yeah. Um, so it does take a little bit of practice to get used to where you're going. After yeah, we this get is the all key, muscle memory. Yeah. yeah. So after you get the key, we have to backtrack all the way to the first floor. And instead of going back to the beginning, we go to the northwest side. That's where the elevator will be. Yeah. I guess you can also talk a bit about Shelby, too. Shelby is kind of like the boss that's coming up. And he's really the first boss that you run into that has a chance of killing you. Um, and there's two parts of that fight. The very first part of the fight, you start off in an ambush. Um, and Ooh, during the awesome. ambush, uh, your characters obviously start off with zero fury, which is a little bit inconvenient um, because unfortunately, you don't have any fury to summon uh, Blazing Sword immediately. Uh, but once you get Blazing Sword up, it's pretty easy because you can still one-shot them. And then safety save? Yeah, you probably uh, want to save. Be. Uh, uh, it's save. at the very top. Yeah, it's at the very and then top. once you get to Shelby, uh, it's a different story. I think it was either Gare or DDR who mentioned that. Um, fortunately, uh, Shelby does have a lot of MP. Uh, he has 3,500 HP and 35,000 MP. So there's no way you're MP killing him before you HP kill him. So yeah, this is the first. This is like, uh, and like I said, on disc two, you end up fighting a lot of bosses that have a lot of MP. He's kind of like a disc two boss where he has more HP than MP. Or, or sorry, uh, more MP around. than yeah. HP, yeah. sorry. So the main thing that Shelby can kill you with is an attack called Ice Breath. Mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, it's a minor attack, so you so can you guard it. Back, yeah. But uh, if you do get hit, it's around 7 hits of like 100 damage or something. And you can so, get frozen. Yeah, and you can yeah. get frozen. So it's going to one-shot you pretty much. Yeah. Uh, so you have to be careful of that. He also has an attack where he just whips out his elbows and hits you in the back. Which is useful because that's also a minor attack, so you can actually use it to stun him. Um, and that is a, a way to prevent your gauge from breaking. But if you're not aware of that attack, right? Like, he can do that and then just hit you and your gauge can break, so you need to be aware of it. For the actual fight on Shelby himself, uh, we're going to be using, I believe, uh, it's going to be, is it still um, a, a Blade, Blade of Fury, Fury into Aerial? Aerial. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you I want an HP kill. Refuge drop. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, so we I want as many jewel and refuges as we want. I can't remember. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you did, but and it shouldn't be that much of an issue. No, I'll just juggle him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just juggle <laughs> him. You can't wow, juggle him. Really? The same way I can't way juggle Norton. Norton. You'll yeah. juggle him. All right. Yeah. yeah. Easy, easy video game. My nice first thing meme, bro. <laughs> we need to do is get rid of the ads. Yeah. Like the same kind of ads as we fought in the previous battles before. Ooh, this is. Oh, Cliff has. Cliff is dead. Yeah. Uh oh. You do have up. the fresh yeah. sage. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the reasons for picking it up. Uh, having two characters is much better than having one in this fight. Um, because Shelby will you know, target one person. Allows Perfect the other is very good. Yeah, allows Perfect the other person to kind of hit him. Oh, that nice Almost got him. That's not bad. Yeah, we've almost got him. Yeah, nice. See, and that was the first battle he really starts to abuse the cancel bonus. Yes. He got a huge bonus to his can or to his damage, 175% of the damage. Oh my goodness. It's the urn. It's Christmas. It's actually snowing outside here in yeah. uh, Salt Lake. So yeah. <laughs> that was a really good fight. Yeah. Um, that fight can go pretty ugly. The important thing yeah. is uh, you don't die during that fight. <laughs> Uh, yeah. If someone gets killed, even if you preserve your bonus gauge, it can be pretty awful. Because experience in this game, like when you're not fighting random encounters, you want to milk each fight for as much experience as possible. Yeah. Um, and both Fate and Clip early on do get used quite a bit. So you don't want them to die unnecessarily because uh, that will <laughs> put a little hinge in your, in your plan. You're yeah. going to see the transition from Fate to Cliff as we go on with this one. Yeah, and then yeah, from right, Cliff to Maria. Right now it's a Booper Show. Yeah. The yeah. Booper Show, because the then, enemies have low MP. But then Hammer of Might becomes a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Cliff. Like John if, if you, if yeah. uh, exactly. John Cena, gonna, John Cena tonight John Cena. on WWE East SmackDown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, really, because it will literally become the John yeah, Cena it, show. Yeah, it really does. Soon. Yeah. Yes. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, right? No, but uh, this. I don't uh, want to get sued, though. As I think <laughs> people are trying to say, so uh, Cliff or John Cena, uh, each of the characters kind of has some specialty of what they do. Uh, Cliff is pretty good at melee range, and he does a lot of HP damage. Uh, conversely, his MP damage is a little bit weaker. But the, I mean, up to a certain point, what cancel bonuses and everything, he's just so good that like we don't really care. <laughs> it also doesn't hurt that you can make an incredibly powerful weapon for him early on. Yeah, it has the same attack power as the uh, stuff that you, uh, buy, as the holy yeah, sword that we yeah. buy. Yeah. So unfortunately, his... it is item creation, so it is salt parade. Yeah. yeah. Right. Item creation will explain when we get to it. It is actually getting pretty close for the first session. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Item creation in all the Star Ocean runs, uh, except for SO5, are, is abused in some way or fashion yeah. yep. um, to a varying degrees. Generally, it makes you just be able to blow the game out. In this particular, there's two item creation sessions, one weapon for Cliff and one for Maria, right? That's correct. Yes, yeah. yes and, sir. And uh, what happens is uh, he's going to make weapons that just make them, first off, it's going to make Cliff kind of his, like we talked about, his primary damage dealer soon, and a weapon for Maria that's going to allow her to just kind of blow the game out. Uh, you're going to see some pretty high damage numbers as this progresses. Cause yeah. The cancel bonus uh, on Hammer of Might, Hammer of Might, uh, all, special attacks all have their own modifiers, so some are greater than others. Uh, Hammer of Mites is pretty good. Yep. And uh, it's it, like his starting ability, if I remember right. He starts with Hammer he of Mites. He learns at level 10. Uh, yeah, okay. It's really yeah. yeah, it's really early, and it's one of the best abilities in the game. <laughs> it yeah. is. Uh, it has range, it, it hits really hard, and it only costs three CP points to equip. Yeah. So CP points we haven't really touched on. Um, it used to be a lot more important when you're using Fate, because <laughs> uh, he has to equip a lot of skills to kind of set himself up right. But essentially, every character reaches up to a point where they have what's called a 15 capacity limit. Uh, and the battle skills you set all cost a certain amount of capacity points. A lot of Cliff's battle skills actually cost a ton of capacity points, like six or like five most of the yeah. time. Um, but unfortunately, Hammer of Might is only three. Yep. Yeah, so it's, it's really easy to set. And yeah. it hits kind of an area effect as yes, well. Yes, that too. It, I mean, yes. it's, just, it's just a really, really, really good ability. And it knocks down enemies as well most yeah. of the time. So it's, it's, it's pretty it's much interrupt. the best ability in the game. Um, I mean, it's very, very the good. The downside to Hammer of Might is that it is fire elemental. And as Aether touched upon, there are game, there are enemies early game which immune fire just to troll you. Uh, so you know that's kind of one tidbit you need to be aware about Hammer of Might. Yeah, and it's also kind of a slow start of it as well, so that's kind of a disadvantage. Yeah, you can yeah. get hit while you can get hit out. Of yeah, it. there's sure. no invulnerability frames for it. Yeah, very, very uh, a couple just those couple of negatives with all the positives. It's it, it does end up becoming very very useful. Actually, uh, yeah, all the battle skills are like that. There are certain advantages they have and certain advantages, disadvantages they have as yeah. well. Some, um, are, some are definitely not created equal, though. Yeah, so he's selling uh, additional items he picked up because yep. uh, we're about to go to item creation. Yeah, that's um, So he's going to create an item called the Damask Gauntlet. Uh, so this weapon has, if I recall correctly, 200 attack power, so mm -hmm. the same power as the Holy Sword. Uh, but in order to make the Damask Gauntlet, the item creation process in this game is a little complicated. For one, uh, you are not allowed to choose the item you're creating. Oops. You have to randomly select the correct price value uh, in order to create the item. And I'm not kidding when I say you don't have any choice on what item you want to make. You would literally see Aether mashing that button looking for the correct values. Yes, it's, it's pretty much a lottery lo roll it, at this it's, point. Yeah, it's a rolling value, so it's very... like. The, the payoff is that item creation is extremely un unbalanced in this video game. It really, really it uh, breaks, it. breaks it. Breaks it, yeah. yeah. yeah it, That's it, a trade-off. It breaks the other games in various ways, but it's it's really, it's really, really, really broken. Yeah, this game. so yeah. the other problem with that is uh, certain items will have the same price value. Uh, so in this case, if he's running at the same price value, he won't know which item it is because you can't pick which item it is, which mm. contributes to the frustration. And on top of that, even once you select the correct item, you're not guaranteed to get it. You have to go through the creation process. And the way that works is that each item has a hey, item watch. quality rating. I and uh, the item quality rating determines the difficulty of, of making the item. So each character has uh, what they call different talent levels at different skills. And um, those values, uh, when they're summed up together, are matched against the item quality. 
So as long as the talent level is above the item quality, you have a chance of making the item. And the success rate for that is the summation of the talent values minus the quality value. So for example, if he's making an item that has a 50 item quality value, but his talent, talent level of all three characters is 86, then uh, he'll have a 36% chance of making the item, at least on the first go. You do see the quality meter at the top that indicates, like, you know, it modifies the success ratio. So the lower it is, the lower of a chance he has to make it. And he did save before this because he's not guaranteed to get this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Many times the run will die at this point. <laughs> Unfortunately, item creation in this game, though it does punish the game by allowing you to make completely ridiculous items, uh, it is a lot more random than the other games. Uh, in Star Ocean, you know, Star Ocean 1, for example, we kind of, we know what we're trying to make. We know we have certain patterns we utilize to try to make it. So he canceled there because it was costing, because the quality was too low. Yep. Yep. So he's trying to reset that real quick here to try yep. to get the right. Because again, that's, right a, that's a modifier. And he's just looking at his notes to make sure he has the right item value. Yep. So the uh, range for that <laughs> is 1378 to 1523. It's, it's not a direct range. Yeah, it's not a direct range. It's approximate There range, are certain yeah. values in there that will look like they work, but they'll actually create a different <sighs> item. Yeah. Gonna run out of money. It's okay. Let the salt running. flow through you. <laughs> yes. It's, the it's gonna come out. Not, this, not like uh, this. Imagine, this, imagine this Emperor Palpatine unfortunately the hardest. shooting salt instead of lightning. That's yeah, what this is. is. <laughs> unfortunately, this is one of the another. You know, you get through the bullies. You get <laughs> through tries. all these guys. <laughs> Two more tries. He has to um, unfortunately get to this point, and it is pretty painful. Last one. There uh, is a route. Um, this is a thirty-five percent chance. Yeah, by the way. there yeah. is a route where you well, don't. Unfortunately, have to, we have to reload the save. Yeah. There is a route body. where you don't have to do this item creation process, like. This game has been through several reroutings. Um, After you know, rebuild the gauge too. If you, yeah, because oh, you reloaded. That's true. If you remember uh, when you know I did this run at different uh, other marathons, he used to use fate instead of cliff for a majority of the game. Yeah. Um, and fate route doesn't have to do this process, so it's a little more consistent. But you know, cliff is but, stronger, so if you do yeah. this process, you become faster. It's just you know you have to go yeah. through this again. Yeah. 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 Also, this route to me is a little more interesting than the fate route. And honestly, as far as like watching it and as having seen it some a few times, it's just even though it's a little frustrating as far as what you're trying to do, it is more interesting than sidekicking everything to death for the rest of the game. It has yeah. a little more micro. The that's for the sure. fate yeah. route is also a lot more exp dependent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because fate is an exp hog. Yeah, he needs to be he needs to be level 21. Ah, there yes, we, we go. Got it. We got got it. It. All right, cool. Oh, so so save again. Doing, yeah. <laughs> so you're else. making a tricky really? duck ball. Yep. You're going straight yeah. for it, not saving. All right. <laughs> we got the hard part out of the yeah, way. Yeah, Tricky Duck Bomb is uh, 65. I still yeah. think you're tempting Fate Man. So That's just anywhere me. from I'm 361 to less than 400. Booker. That's what we're looking for. So yeah, he's making an item called uh, Duck Duck Bomb. So Tricky they will. Duck bomb. Yeah, they, Tricky Duck Bomb. They will. Is it the one that does MP damage? Yes. I know it stuns. Yeah, it does MP damage. Um, and it also stuns at the same time. So it's okay. very, very useful uh, coming up for a couple of fights. Um, but again, yeah, his success rate is not guaranteed. I think Nell has. Six of these, I dude. think Nell has like four engineering, <laughs> yeah. so Nell really contributing to the team there. <laughs> yeah, Maddie, <laughs> go ahead with uh, any donations. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, we have five dollars from Henry, who says, "Not sure if anyone has said this, but an hour ago, Square Enix announced this is coming to the PS4 on the 23rd of May." And oh. I just and I just Googled oh, that, and so it happy. does indeed seem to be the truth. Oh. So if this oh, is a man, I have to learn this game now. Yeah, I told I've my word if it came out on PS4. <laughs> <laughs> I've already so that's not this. that wasn't very. Can we go back and act like that didn't happen? <laughs> I, I am quitting this game forever. Oh. <laughs> we also got twenty five dollars from Anonymous mm. without any comment. I just wanted also to mention that we do have multiple ins naming incentives coming up. For example, in Mother, or uh, you might know it as Earthbound Beginnings, we have yeah, well, names well, that you can donate for, such as Anna, Lloyd, or your favorite food. Also, after that, we have Secret of Mana Any Percent Co-op, which has a post-run glitch fest that we are raising money for. So if you want to see some glitchiness and some fun there, please put your money towards that. We are we are missing about $1,000 to meet that goal to see that post-run glitch fest. We are also missing about $1,000 to reach 50k, so yeah. uh, if you want to be that guy that hits 50k, now's your time. I mean, you okay. can snipe it for an easy $802. Yeah, a lot of HP values. Boom. Yeah. What? Yeah, give it, give or take, give it take. <laughs> yeah. 
the one with the salt, my friend. I'm just waiting for Anonymous to show up with those deep pockets again, man. He's, he's, he's one Anonymous the one with the salt. Powerful. Rich, very rich individual. The one with the salt. The one with the salt. We should have. How, you need six of these. Uh, which bosses are you wanting to use them on? Uh, I he don't actually remember. wants to use them, I believe, on the random soldiers that appear outside the uh, mine. No, I want to use them on the trees. Cause I'm gonna trees. Solo. Yeah, the trees. Uh, oh, right, right. Yes. You're going to solo with Cliff, I forget. Yes. Yeah, because in the Fate Row, you fight the trees with using Fate and use Blazing Sword. Use Blazing yeah. Sword. Yeah. Uh, but here, we're gonna, we want Cliff to uh, kind of uh, soak up the experience. Yeah. Uh, one of the things is that you pick up a battle skill called, well, not battle skill, but a um, tactical skill called Berserk. Uh, and Cliff gets this a lot earlier than the other characters. And Berserk is very, very useful because it actually halves the fury cost uh, of your battle skills. It adds 30% more attack power at the expense of having 30% less defense. But defense is pretty insignificant, at least in many of the Yeah, we never games. buy armor. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> no, no, no. This, this defense defense is, uh, in any in any tries game is basically useless. Yeah, this game is very similar to Valkyrie Profile 2 that you just want to go ham and do as much damage as possible because uh, eventually Please. you're eventually you're just not going to be able to soak damage in the run anyway so it doesn't matter the hero, since we had to restart the bonus gauge has resets yep it's not as bad now having two characters and Cliff yeah. having Sphere of Might because Sphere of Might hits multiple times. You saw him like be able to get multiple hits on his 90%. So you got about what, 40%, 45% of your I got gauge 50. back? 50% of his that, gauge that's back. That's kind of what I was saying earlier. Like if your gauge breaks like super well, that's back attack. If your gauge breaks super early, uh, it's really difficult to rebuild your gauge because you don't have these multi-hit battle skills. But you know, once you do, right, you're able to build the gauge much faster. So this is yeah, like not see, as slow as before. You can see Cliff just being able to get monster amounts of gauge back because of Sphere of Might. Uh, I guess the one tricky thing he has to be aware of is that he has to be careful not to accidentally use a battle skill as the gauge is about to fill, because that will give him the increased recovery oh, bonus nice. instead <laughs> of a uh, instead of the triple exp bonus that he's looking for. I forgot to change this back. Yo, what's up? Okay. Yeah, that's also important. Okay. Auto is faster. Right. And in the next uh, area, we're gonna be removing fate from the party. Yep. Yeah. See a fate. I mean, Booper. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's the, last, that's the last part he's going to be encountered, right? Uh, so it's just him. Uh, I think he's going to be part yeah, of that. He's, back in, he's coming back in the mine. But yeah, then afterwards, uh, Uber's going to sit up. Over. Because Legion Dragons is very, 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 very tricky. A as so far well. as uh, damaging and killing enemies is concerned, that's pretty much the last time Fate's really going to help out a lot. Uh, I, well, I does do. it still help against Wervins and stuff? Though, uh, right? Yeah. A yeah, yeah, little I bit need, against Wervins. You need both. Not bad. For sure. I forgot that, too. That's always interesting. Yeah, there, I actually do micro between them both in some battles. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies in this game and boss fights specifically that have like multiple enemies involved in them. So it's good to have an extra person there, even if he's just going to be throwing a healing item or again helping with MP damage right now. So. Yeah, unfortunately, all of us are not very good at microing in SO3. You need to watch Japanese players to it's very, truly appreciate it's very, hard. very, very skillful. It's very hard. <laughs> truly watch the microing in this game. It's amazing. <laughs> it's not. It's not an easy. Uh, it's not necessarily an easy skill. It does take a lot of practice to get used to. Absolutely. Once you watch it, you're like, all right, I'm done, done this game forever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, or you do the, oh, I can do that, and then you try to do it, and it's like, wait, that's what? a disaster. Yeah. So it's a disaster. So here we have to give the water to this fairy and pretty much heal her because she's going to tell us which trees are actually monsters because we're going to have to fight a few of these to move on. Yeah, the trees will be blocking the path, and that's also why we made those bombs uh, earlier. So in the Fate Route, you use Blazing Sword and whack them because they're weak to fire and they have low MP. But again, Cliff doesn't really have good MP, and we want him to soak the experience. So, uh, you know, we made those bombs for those reasons. Yeah, I think you want, yeah, you want to build gauge. Yeah, he finishes his gauge up, yep. and then he's going to throw a bomb to kill it. Yep. Uh, the reason for that is, is just because, uh, fate, like we said, Cliff is very, very good at dealing physical damage, but he's not so good at dealing magic damage. Yeah. So, uh, or as far as MP and HP damage. So, right there, those trees have what, like. 3,000 HP? Is that right? I don't know. Remember, I can't I don't remember how much yeah, HP, but they have 360. Uh, no, not 360. They have you, less MP. Which is Marissa, very, please. very, very Marissa, tricky. Shout out to the yeah. She moves yeah. very fast, and yeah. if she's stuck in the middle of there, then... Oh. Oops. I almost got baited. Oh. <laughs> if you can run to this encounter, you're probably going to die. Yeah. Because uh, that witch do does a, MP damage. Yeah, they do a lot of MP damage, and Cliff has really low MP. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, some there there aren't a ton of... Like Tide said earlier, there aren't a ton of enemies that deal MP damage, but the ones that do are da yeah, they're terrible. Dangerous. They're very dangerous. Because so, yeah. you never... Uh, not, not even just in the speedrun, but 
even casually, you just never really have. I mean, the most MP you can have is 999. And if they do, you know, 200 MP damage to you, which I've seen happen before, it's not pleasant. It's, it's, it's more than 999. Yeah. You can oh, hit like 30,000. 30, can you hit yeah, 30, but not yeah. early on. Not early on. You can't not hit not that early on, though. No. Because the highest I ever had was 999. Yeah. And now we have boulders. Get bouldered. If Fate gets hit by the boulder, he just resets to the beginning of the zone. Yeah. Whoops. Still made it through, which is good. This force is a little bit of a maze. It is. Um, but, you know, once you kind of know where you're going, it's not terrible. Um, and he also set a skill called No Guard, so No Guard will allow um, his character to not flinch when he's taking a hit, as long as uh, it only does, uh, I think, like one fifteenth of his current HP or something. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And he's also, um, uh, what was he called? He used the Jewel of Refuge there, so that stops all the enemies uh, from moving. Because the next area is really tight, and there's a lot of enemies that move really quickly. Um, so if you don't have it, you're like guaranteed to run through three enemies. <laughs> One zone in particular is pretty bad when it comes to enemy placement and yeah. their enemy speeds. I think there's map. one with a witch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, where, where, where if you don't right move, here. you're pretty this much guaranteed right to run into into her. It's like, uh oh. There's another zone where there's uh, two non-witch enemies, but they're just so uh, tightly packed. And yeah, you can't dodge them. Yeah, yeah. you can't really dodge them. Not without a dual refuge. Yeah. So we actually. Have to use those root jewel of refuge that you probably, you know, kept in your inventory forever. Hopefully. And just a reminder, he can't escape from these battles or else his bonus his gauge, gauge will, break. will break. Yeah. yeah. Um, to be fair to Cliff, I think like even on the fate route, if you run to a witch, it's like you're dead. Uh, yeah. You really don't want to run into a witch. Marissa is OP. <laughs> yeah, and the bombs are much. You'll notice that these bombs are just killing these trees immediately. The bombs are much faster than having to kill them with fate. Uh, just because fate has to hit him twice. And he has that's to activate Blazing sometimes. Sword, too. Yeah, yeah but, but, but sword. it's not necessarily yeah, these two enemies here do, on this map. You do have to deal with the item creation time yeah. to make the bomb. Normally, um, I... Uh, Cliff doesn't really have to deal... Uh, I mean, fate doesn't really have to yeah. deal with that problem. Yeah. I'm just doing this because I want to make sure that my ESP is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mainly. Because Cliff will need as much experience as possible, and... Yeah, the ideal thing to happen is that Cliff will learn an aerial assault by the time he hits Shrine of Kadan. Uh, but that requires pretty much keeping your Actually, gauge yeah, yeah. The, the entire time. Okay, uh, so, so little, Man, little hope there. <laughs> here's Mud Man, who has like killed like a billion. Like, Are you not save saving? Yeah. You're not save saving? My, uh, yeah, we should save. Not save? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally yeah. tempting fate. Tempting Cooper. Fate? Yeah, fate. <laughs> Gotta go man mode. <laughs> I mean, it's safe for this run because I have the MP bombs, but you could still hit me because I have to use two. And, it, and there's an item recharge in this game, yes. like in any, like in any SO, Star Ocean game. There's a, it, I, I don't remember how long it is. It's, it's a couple not seconds. That long, yeah. It's like five, yeah. ten seconds. The yeah, nice thing not. about item usage in this game is that, like, it's when you use it, it's miss. instant. Yeah. Like SL1. Although Original. the disadvantage <laughs> yeah. of that is that they have this throwing animation, which essentially leaves them open to attacks. It also costs you one fury when you're doing it. Yeah. See, as you can see, this is what he was talking about, how he could still hit him, because the enemy still comes at him. Mudman, by the way, he has extremely long range. Uh, he also has, like, 600 MP or something, so two bombs will kill him. Yep. So when you fight him with, uh, when you're doing the fate route, you actually have to do this fight solo as well. You use Blazing Sword to take him out. It's actually a really dangerous fight if you don't fight him with the bombs. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's, it's pretty scary. I've seen him kill fate in, like, two hits before, I think, or three. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And he can also stun you, which is unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he can uh, get their hit stun uh, with the Damask gauntlets. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. I'm trying for, like, PB or world record or whatever. We make the Gatling gauntlets. Yeah, the Gatling gauntlets, which is 15%, and they cost, like, 4K about. Basically, Aether's motto is YOLO at that point. Well, you might as well yeah, go big or go home more exactly. or less. It's like your Damask gauntlets only 35, right? Yeah. You yeah. might as well go for the bigger one. Yeah. If, you're, if you're really going to do that. If you're really going to try and go for a good time. It offers 20 more attack power than the Damascus Gauntlet. Yeah, but the yeah. thing about it is the early on, it guarantees hits on, especially on Mudman, which is really important. Because Mudman can just instantly counter you. Like, like I, I know Claude of FFT fame always complains about his game, you know, always being about max punish. But this game, this game is max punish, like, all the time. Like, this game will punish you. Yeah, if getting, it can. getting stunned by a boss usually means death. 
getting your gauge broken too early is the run is over. It's a little mm -hmm. bit better later on in the game, but early on, like yeah. the first hour or so, this game is hard. Because you just don't have access to a lot of restorative items either until, I mean, you that have is, some now. That is true. Um, we like, did buy a few. We did yeah, buy we a few, some, yeah. We have some right this minute, but early on in the game, anything can go wrong. Anything that goes wrong, like them reflecting, you pressing the wrong button and then reflecting an attack or something like that, and you're dead. The biggest problem in this game is that during the first hour, if your gauge breaks, like your time just goes down, goes down the gutter. Yeah. Uh, like you just slow down so much, it's incredible. Like you lose somewhere between, I think, again, like 10 minutes rebuilding your gauge, like super early. Mm -hmm. and even later on, when you run into different encounters, right, if you build the wrong bonus by accident, you have to break the gauge and retry again because it takes a while before you get the right bonus if that happens. So like Ither said, when this game punishes you, it does punish you quite a bit. Uh, not necessarily with death per se, but you know, in terms of the time cost it takes you to get back on track. Yeah, like uh, actually surviving through the run is not a really big deal, but getting a good time is, is hard. A big deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard. Definitely. Okay, so so much that has to go right. I have to save here because this fight stinks too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the dragons. Dragons. Dragons are the best enemy in the game. And by the best, I mean the most annoying. Yeah, we're still within the first hour, so that's how you know. You know, this is the uh, the man mode part of the run. If you want, you can actually pick up a perfect berries along our in Arias as well. Yeah, I don't or an extra need safety it. net. I don't need it. Also, starting from this point, Wait, you also. Oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> whoops, I forgot a trigger. <laughs> uh, event yeah. trigger. So yeah, this is what it is by random triggers that you have to go through. Yeah, and sometimes it's hard figuring out where you need to go. Yep. Just. I was thinking too far ahead. I thought it was uh farther than I thought. Yeah, that happens. Like you're thinking Oh yeah, so you have to go here. Because yeah. you, you're, you're seeing this place like a bunch of times, even on this too. So it's like, oh goodness. Yeah, you have to talk to this guy to figure out you have to pick up copper. Yep. Yep. We have to pick up copper to make a giant laser yep. cannon. Which we're going to strap onto his giant flying dragon. Oh, we, we're not part of that. Yeah, we're not at that that's part yet. Well, they, that's going to happen. They just want to <laughs> make an iron cannon to fire at the other guys. What are you, what are you making <laughs> the iron cannon for? Because <laughs> you have two nations in this planet, uh, Eric Glyph and Aquios. So they're at war right now. Glory to Eric Glyph! Yeah, exactly. This is why we turn off battle Yeah, bosses, exactly. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the death animation doesn't finish until after they're done. Yeah, after their voice is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it doesn't load the victory screen until the voice is played. Yeah, they're, they're telling your life, their life story right before they kick the bucket. Yeah, like, some yeah. of them are, like you were talking about. Like the glory you know, Luther, to Luther. Yeah, and Luther, Luther at the end of the game is Luther, like, yeah, just great. Data. It is pretty entertaining, <laughs> leaving the battle voices on, though. Yeah. It matters more in, I think, in J, where you're taking the timing at, you know, when the ending finishes playing. I mean, timing for us stops I, the moment the final blow is kind of dealt. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't matter as much. In yes. the Japanese version, they also had to do a bunch of different triggers to activate the Sophia ending. Because uh, when, you, when, you, when you beat this game, there's actually like eight or nine different endings depending on which character Fate has the highest relationship with. Yo, and some. by default, uh, Fate has a very high relationship starting with Sophia, but not quite enough to get him into the ending mode with Sophia. So you actually have to do a couple of story triggers to get that ending because Fate uh, talking to himself takes like five minutes. Yeah. It's really Because it adds weird. an extra scene, that's why. It's like he talks to himself and he monologues. It's like, hi, I'm Bart Larkard. Hi, I'm Booper. Booper. Yes. I'm the guy who's here <laughs> who beat the game. Yeah. You may remember me from, you know, you 20 hours ago. Jewel Refuge? <laughs> Giving his we life have, story at the um, ending. Healthy stock of jewel refuges. Yeah, we, I have think we have way too many. Yeah. Because we got a lot That's of That's the them first the time. Someone write that down because he just said he has too many jewels of refuge. Yeah, I will never say that ever again. He apparently. will never say it. Most of the time, it's why have I not gotten a jewel of refuge drop? Yes. <laughs> exactly. So after this event, we fight two dragons, two legion dragons. These guys have oh, master combo, and they have fire breath. Oh, shoot. Fire breath. Oh, no. Oh, it is. That is. All right, yeah, so that time was one hits. hour. So whoever bet one hour in Twitch chat, you are the winner of I don't Absolutely. know what. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but you win. it is KO. So, uh -oh. yeah, we have to be very, very careful. Flying sure. enemies in this game are 
pretty annoying. Yeah, yeah very annoying. they are, because most of your characters, you know, they're not really built to hit aerial enemies. In particular, Cliff's not great oh, at hitting nice. them. The yeah, double hit. Um, yeah, double hit. Fate's okay at hitting them. The character who's really good at hitting flying enemies is Maria. <laughs> yes. And you yeah. don't get her until much later in the yeah, game. Maria's the queen. By the way, that name's still up for grabs. So. Yep. Correct. If you yeah. don't want it to be called Trice, now's your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how much is... Uh, What's how's the uh, Maria name looking, by the way? So believe it or not, Triace is not leading the Maria oh, name. Oh boy, uh -oh. Maddie, a uh, second Maddie second, is. Second Maddie, I see. <laughs> so uh, if you want, if you don't want to have two Maddies in the same party in the same game, donate for Triace or any other name, or put your own name. But if you like the idea Maybe. of having multiple Maddies, donate more money to Maddie, please. Excellent. I think uh, the person who did for Maddie heard you when you said that Sophia is not really going to be used. Well, like, Sophia is going to be used, <laughs> but... In this round, yeah. Yeah. She's actually uh, relatively important. Oh, no. Yep. What are you more HP than top of That's right. That way more HP than MP. And then in the Fate route, uh, you do Blazing Sword and you whack them twice and they die. Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm going to do this menu where I switch their positions because I'm oh. smart. Yeah. It does actually matter because um, it puts... Uh, different characters into different starting positions, which affects enemy aggro. Yep. Um, so, you know, it looks like it's, why are you switching just character positions? What does that do? Uh, it affects formations, that's what it does. Yeah, because uh, just in case I get like a lizard and they can cloak. Yeah. Yeah, so, see? <laughs> oh, okay. Lizard. Oh, baby. So you saw uh, Ifers, uh put Cliff out of party, then back him. That resets him as leader, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It puts him into the center, which will draw the other two enemies. Because Blazing Sword has a really long startup animation, so you want Fate to run away uh, while Cliff is kind of distracting two enemies. Another lizard. Okay. You don't yeah, want to get Yeah, it's hit. always going to be the same. Three. One thing about this game is they have those environmental things that yeah, go Yeah, the environmental hazards, really the boulders. Yeah. yeah, boulder. They have here in Star Ocean, the second story as well. Yeah, they're kind of irrelevant, but they happen. Yeah, yeah they they can actually. Uh, they're very disruptive. Ruin you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, these dragons are. Yeah, they can actually so cause game overs because uh, they have a breath attack that can paralyze. That can you. paralyze you. And paralysis and doesn't necessarily cause you game over to game over, but you can't do anything about it. And see, that's kind of what we mean by like you need you need clip to kind of distract the enemies because fate got knocked out with laser sword. Yeah. And he's building. He's just building games. Oh right yes, now. that too. So that sequence there, it's three counters that you have to fight back to back to back. And this is what you need to do to progress through the dungeon. Get through this sequence. And you notice that he equipped the Lightstone earlier. There's going to be one part of the Becquerel mine where he's going to be tra chasing a guy. dragon around. He's looking for the bat. There's a bat right there. I see it. Big yep. bat. Yep. Shout out to the Shout big bat. Yep. Yes. <laughs> the bats are by far the worst enemy in this uh, area that you can get the force encounter with because um, they have very tiny hitboxes. Um, so it's actually very difficult to hit them. Mm. So the puzzle solution there is that you see the two torches there, line them up, and place Fate in the middle there to line up the shadow uh, shadows. Or to okay. open the door. Okay, yeah. over there. One thing in general you're also going to see. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh dear. I got baited. Now you, now you have to fight them. Yeah. Or you run. Are you going to run? No. Oh, fate is low on MP. Six MP. Yeah, see, you can't hit them. <laughs> One thing that uh, you notice that we're going to do a little bit more. Yeah, these uh, enemies are very tiny. We're going to be picking up more uh, survive. More uh, money because we need that for the second item creation that will be coming up soon. And, um, you know, item creation uh -oh. uses up a lot uh -oh. of money. Yeah, that's bad. This is why the bats suck. That's why you don't want to fight bats. Indeed. Item creation uses up a lot of money. Unfortunately, you have to do it. I mean, theoretically, it's possible to beat the game with minimal item creation uh, and still get a decent time, but if you want like, a really good time, you have to item creation. Okay. Yo, oh. Blade Tail. Look at that uh, area effect. What? Uh oh, MP damage. Yeah, that's the annoying thing about bats, too, is that they can do MP damage to you. Uh, Fate can one-shot these with Blazing Sword, but again, the problem is you actually have to hit them first. And they're very, very obnoxious. Oops. Yeah. It's a little tense with these bats. Oh, extra experience is nice, though. Yeah, the extra XP does help. So we use Nell here just to heal yeah, our characters. First, Maddie. At yes, least so. as far as we know, yep. we'll uh, 
will be our heal bot for a good chunk of the game. Yep. So here's the dragon that we do chase around with the light stone. Yeah, yeah, before we grab yeah. this, this is money. To. money. You need the money because um, <laughs> once you get to item creation, you're never going to have enough money, pretty yeah. much. Uh, it, as it much drains money, as we money can. like super fast, and unfortunately, yeah, our you, gauge broke too. You so. absolutely need that uh, weapon, so you pretty much you know have to get the money chest that we do. He's also luring this dragon in a very specific way. Yes, that so. uh, gets him close to the entrance, so that by the time he reaches, uh, the dragon actually catches up to him. You've already reached the exit, so you don't have to relocate yourself and find where the exit is. Yeah, because after you beat this battle, you get a key item, and you use that key item right away because you're at the area where you use it. Yo, Yo nice we are preserved, which will activate almost right away. We're pretty big, pretty good now. Yeah. I don't really need aerial assault. It's just yeah, nice, it's to, nice have. to have it. Yeah. He has to de equip the light stone here yep. for the puzzle. Yeah. Puzzles. Puzzles. Yeah, the gimmick here is that it's really dark. Amazing gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. It might be very hard to tell where you're going on stream. I look at the mini dark. map when I run the this mini map part is a very good because uh, my, the contrast on my TV doesn't really allow me to see oh. where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. So I just that. look at the mini mini map and it's like, all right, this is where I have to go. It works. Yep. And there's you want to run to the left here because there's an enemy on the yeah. right. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, this is a little. Uh, oh, it's not before the. Oh, this is a puzzle. Yeah, so, a puzzle. in order to get to where we want, you have to deactivate the torches that uh, are at the doors that you do not want to go to. So, leave that door, leave the torch uh, lit up uh, at the door that you want to go to. Otherwise, uh, the door will close on you and you have to reset the puzzle. Yeah, so. it's uh, based on where Fate Shadow hits. He just restored his MP there because he needs Blazing Sword coming yeah, up. Yeah, I yep. need to defeat the giant rooster. I Are we going to safety save you before that? Defeat or? The demon yeah, I will. Because okay. you can die to him because of uh, petrification. petrification. Yeah, petrification. That's why we buy, I think it's Sage that yeah. uh, we do, yes. cures petrification. We, we actually buy like 10 of every status yeah. curing item because like... So we've got Basils here that, re that uh, heal paralysis. Mm -hmm. Lavenders that heal frozen status, I believe. There are various uh, attacks in this game that cause status effects. And the interesting thing about this game is uh, your HP can run to zero and still get affected by a status effect, yeah, which yeah. is very or annoying. Or MP zero as well. Because you can't uh, revive your guy and you know, get rid of the status at the same time. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice get bouldered. <laughs> that actually might have made this you. fight harder. Oh, get really? Bouldered, sir. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think he was going to stun or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. oh, it's still good. Yeah, so yeah. He's just going to do the long major into a kick and then double stab it. That will yep. kill him. That is the jump. That oh. kills him uh, normally even without the uh, st without the stun that we correctly. So we get these materials we need for item creation later. So we got uh, synthesis materials from Mudman and also from this fight. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be using synthesis a lot. For, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for quite a bit. Yep. They're also yeah. uh, the only items that you can't buy in post game. So that is true. Make if good, you're good doing a, if you're doing a casual run right now, I suggest you save them. Save them up. So one thing that um, you know we're talking about materials. There's different uh, item creation like parameters or like different things you can make that are sorted categories. And uh, synthesis is the one where you're just adding like factors onto your items. Um, so that's kind of the one that's like super important because that's where we'll be applying a lot of the really good factors onto our weapons. Um, for now, though, he's also looking for machinery materials because we need those to yeah, uh, you only modify guns. There's actually only two in the entirety of disc one. Yep, because uh, you don't get Maria until late. You do get a lot of. Oh, you used to pick up four smithery materials with uh, Fate and Cliff. Yeah, uh, you notice you sold one. Yeah, they, yeah. they use um, smithery materials for modifying your yeah. weapons. Maria mm -hmm. uses it. Um, engineering. Uses, yeah, materials. engineering. Yeah, machinery yeah, materials. Machinery materials. Because she's the one with a unique uh, weapon type. Yep. She uses uh the the guns, man. Yeah, she uses guns. Guns are guns pretty don't cool. use smithery. Guns are pretty good. Yeah, the increased range is pretty hot. So are we gonna take a store point or no? No. Okay. Nope. You I can't. Just gotta you man it up. Yeah, just let's go. Okay. Because the upcoming fight here is a bit tricky. Uh, I'm, not Maddie. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is worse with Fate than it is with Cliff. It's pretty bad though. Uh, you don't have Berserk with Fate, so it's a little annoying. Oops. So this is the easy part of the oh, I don't have gauntlet. No, this is the oh. part that's like really annoying with um with uh, Fate, because like you need your battle your bonus gauge to last the entire time until you defeat Demetrio. And uh, unfortunately, 
getting through these fights with your battle gauge breaking as Fate is really, really hard. There's time. And uh, the reason why he needs that experience is, as we alluded to, Fate's an experience hog. Yeah, like, yeah. if you keep your uh, battle gauge up to this point with triple EXP, uh, Fate will learn uh, Berserk at this point, which you want, obviously, due to the benefits we mentioned. Yeah. And so as you saw, Cliff already learned Berserk, so he's like, meh. Yeah, you can see the power of Hammer of Might already in the, in the last fight where he's comboing into this, and it just kills the enemy. So we have more Legion Dragons here, along with a big guy. I think this guy's dealt to oh. Trio. Yeah. Salt Mitrio. So what you want to do is preferably get rid of the Legion Dragons first, and then the Mitrio, oh, but hurt. you can get rid of uh, multiple of them at a time. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Ooh. Nice counter. I uh, saw that coming. That's so the full double, double yeah, fall. Yeah, yeah. And triple you expect at the same time? Well, that's double uh, fall yeah. does help with the item, with item creation later. So it does, that's, yeah. Because yeah. the money you get does build up over time. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to hear this song too long, you know? Yeah. yeah it's it's be over by now. Alright, so that's the second regular Legion Dragon. Yeah, Sun Demetrio here. Like Demetrio. Should be okay. This fight is uh, the one that causes the most salt. Right, we've got and again, him. the reason he was using switching between his special attacks is to get the cancel bonus. Yeah. And you to can hit delay him the cancel bonus. Is yeah, if I, you want. I didn't yeah. delay it as long as I wanted yeah. to. Yep. Again, there's certain anime uh, frames where you're allowed to cancel certain frames where you're not allowed to. So you can do what's called a delayed canceling because of that, which <sighs> activates your battle skill a little bit later. Uh, that's useful for either hitting a guard that's about to come up or to delay it such that when the enemy's knocked down, you know, as they get up, you hit them with the Are you going to fight a random here for the gauge? Or? No, no, they I, get, I, no, I, I they can't. get no gauge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't. It's depending they, on difficulty, and at this point, he's way above their, their, uh, their level. level. Yes, yeah. Their level. Oh, yeah. Your best bet is probably to actually build it on So the we're not clear with the boss got left yet. Now we have to fight Aldo Knox. The best character in the game, right? <laughs> I think you mean Crispin Freeman? Crispin Freeman. Oh. He comes with two soldiers. Black Brigade soldiers, yeah. yeah. And again, what? He's... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Stun bro. I got I got stun. That was that was scam right there. Yeah. Sometimes when you're hitting enemies with combo, they just regenerate their fury gauge to full, and that's like one example right there. They will happening. regenerate fury if they kill something, yeah, um, which kill can be yeah, annoying. Kill but yeah, in that big. case, that didn't that happen. Weird. So yeah. it was just it was just try his programming, Luther, please. Uh, oh. Please fix this patch. Ouch. Oh. That's fine. Got a Fate doesn't need the experience anymore. Oh yeah, that's true. Hello. Yo, nice oh. job. Come please. Okay. Hello. All right, we've got him. Yeah. And down he goes. And uh, as uh, uh, Garrick mentioned earlier, experience in this game does focus. So when you only have one character, that character soaks up all the experience. Yep. And Cliff needs as much as he can. Yep. Because at this point, we're not really going to be using Fate anymore. No booper. Yeah. It's just like John Cena to take all the glory. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that he does that, but he does that. You know what I mean? Oh, gosh. So, but that fight is a little bit different than what you would have seen with Fate, obviously. Yeah, in Fate, um, you want to try to trap him in a corner and then sidekick him to death. Yeah, you pretty it's much... It's really slow if you don't have Berserk. Yeah. Uh, with Berserk, it's okay, but sidekick has a really weird hitbox. Like, it's kind of tiny. Yeah. yeah, and sidekick doesn't always uh, do what you want. Well, at least Fate is invulnerable when you use sidekick. Yeah. The sidekick uh, strat, I feel... Uh, you know, we, there's always been kind of this... For a long time, I remember when I first started watching I Theory do these runs, was there was always the talk of the cliff route becoming more of a thing than it was, and eventually they kind of determined that it was better to use cliff. Which obviously you can, uh, again in those fights, you can see how much just damage Hammer Might is able to put out. Yeah, um, the different characters again they have different strengths, different weaknesses. Um, Cliff's obviously going to be a little bit better in some fights than Fate. Uh, and in that particular fight, that's one instance where Cliff is definitely better. Uh, Fate has a rely on psychic chain cancels, and human enemies in this game tend to have somewhat smaller hitboxes, and it's just a little trickier to kind of get all the hits in psychic to connect. Uh, you have to do like weird delayed cancels, and you want to actually try to trap Elbow in the corner, because then that, that uh, causes psychic to be positioning every single time he does it to kind of not move around as much. And that's kind of hard to do specifically on Albel because it of the is, way yeah, he attacks. He moves a lot too. Yeah, he, his regular attack is that slash where he kind of slides across the ground. 
And it's uh, casually, he's one of the, in my opinion, is one of the more annoying bosses to fight because he just kind of was all over the place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so imagine trying to have to trap him. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 one of the fights that can really frustrate you because it's right after that gauntlet too. So yeah, there hasn't been really a whole lot of you, you fight that gauntlet, you get through it with your gauge, and then Albel's dumb and crits you or something, and your gauge is broken. Or... I mean, the good news is if you're playing a fate route, if, you're, if your gauge has survived past Demetrio, you're usually safe. Yeah, because you have berserk by then. Um, but like you know, if not, and it's like you just got your gauge rebuilt, that gauntlet is just a massive pain to rear because you can lose it again like right away. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and like we talked about, the hammer might does do splash damage, so he's able to a couple yeah. times in that little gauntlet in that little section, he's able to hit multiple enemies with it. Like he killed two of the dragons in one of the fights with it, and killed two of the two or three of the soldiers at once with it. It's a really really good ability. That's actually one of the advantages of this route in particular. There's more area of effect attacks. So for a lot of the bosses, as we were saying, they have some support units, um, you know, ends up being faster because you can catch them with the splash damage. In the fate route that we used to use a bit more, um, it was a lot more single target focused. Mm -hmm. So against groups of enemies, it was actually a little bit worse because you had to hunt them down individually. Yeah, unfortunately, sidekick cannot kick multiple enemies. Uh, it can. It's just yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just, the I mean, hitbox is just not it, great. It can. Like I can, you know, jump pretty high sometimes. You know, <laughs> it's, it's it's really hard. I've seen it happen. You know, like you're saying, but yeah. they have to be. They essentially yeah, have to be stacked together, right yeah. on yeah. top of each other. Mm -hmm. There's no. There is no leeway. Whereas hammer of might is. Pretty much as big as a splash looks like, yeah. so it's pretty easy to control and determine when you should be spamming it or whatnot. Yep. Uh, yes, and then we have to go to the story trigger. Oh, and Sphere of Might is also really good because it hits an area and it hits multiple times, and so yeah. it's uh, also quite good. And yep. if you do the glitch, it can become unblockable as well. Yep. Oh, there's a. I didn't know there was a glitch. Yeah. So what is, is the, what is this glitch? Explain if you the glitch. perform a like major battle skill like immediately after a minor battle skill, if there's a possibility for the minor battle skill to become a major battle skill, oh, and uh, it causes the minor to become unblockable. So yeah, that. So there, that's a way for uh, you might. I think we we probably already seen it where it's broken guard before. Uh, it, maybe it already. tends to happen with projectiles where oh, the okay, battle okay. skill lasts longer and it's on the field. Mm -hmm. So basically, as soon as the major battle skill activates, whatever battle skill is on the field becomes a major ah, battle skill. Okay, so it's like it can't um, deter differentiate between the two yeah, skills. Like, I think it's so. really skill. it's really a glitch that Cliff can take advantage yeah, of, but Fate can't. It's really yeah. more of a glitch for Cliff. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to yeah, John because Cena he's instead. blocking the way again. Yeah. once again, John Cena, John Cena I just is not go letting to sleep. you sleep. So not only does he take all the glory, he blocks your advance. It sounds a lot like this is John Cena. <laughs> The, this is like exactly who he is. The, like. the glitch is useful even in Fate Route when you're fighting Shelby because you can actually do an unblockable setup such that uh, he will Out guarantee the eat the next minor attack when you start your chain off. camera to Southwest. Yeah, that too. But, um, you know, it, in general, it's any projectile attacks that are uh, linger on the field can take advantage of it. So Nell is also actually really good with that because Flying Guillotine is a projectile, for example. Yeah, the the mo most uh, well known application of it, aside from uh, Spear of Might, is the uh, having a, what was it uh, max shockwave on your miner. So oh yeah, so you that's can. That's in uh, the post game though. Yeah, that's in the yeah, post game, but that's like one of the more famous applications skill. of that. So we're walking through this epic battle scene. This is actually a really uh, confusing area to walk yeah. through because, because the map yeah, focus, it centers on yeah. fate, yeah. Centers and on you don't fate, know where you don't you're going. Yeah. yeah, and, it, and it's, uh, pretty, it's the same map as Granat oh, oh, nice. Hill, but uh, Iron Hills, Cursal Hills. Time to build your game. The mini map oh. is just wiped out. Oh, I could have. Huh? You could have, yes. <laughs> Time to build your game. But I don't think it's particularly nice because of the Legion Dragon there. Uh, f I think uh, Vox is going to give you a much bigger try for it. Yeah, yeah I think so. So like, yeah. whatever. And speaking of Vox, there he is. We're going to be fighting him right now. Vox is much easier than Demetrio. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, it's because so. we only have we only have him, and pretty much does the same attack anyways. Also, uh, for so there's how are we looking on so. Maria for the name inside? And there's the no guard. Yep. That's no guard in fact right there. Because I think the cutoff for it's approaching. It is, yeah. yeah. Well, for Maria, Maddie is still in the lead with $25, with Triace in second oh, with 10, and then Taiho with $1, and Jeff with $1. So if you want to snipe that, you don't have very much time left. So you want to make a change? Donate now, not later. I'd be preferable if you got the gauge completely built there, but we'll take what we can. Yeah. yeah right definitely. now, I'm more uh, worried about Maria's EXP now. Yeah. yeah. 
Because she joins at, I think, the party average level or something. Does she? No, no, no. She joins at 21. Oh, oh, guaranteed fix. So she's guaranteed to have Berserk. But the thing is, I want her to learn uh, Magnetic Field as yeah, fast as yes, possible yes. for this, too. Because Magnetic Field is a very good skill. Yes. That we will see a, a lot of uh, coming up. It's a wide area effect. Again, this route uses a lot more of those. And uh, it slows down enemies in uh, the area where it's hitting. And, and hits uh, multiple times. It hits multiple times and it paralyzes. And it can hit any vertical height. Yeah, yeah, it has infinite vertical coverage, which, which is really nice. Flying. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of flying enemies on disc two. Um, yeah. Again, Maria. I mean, Maria is the uh, aerial specialist. So she right. deals with aerial enemies a lot better than the We're other We're about figures. to cut off the uh, new star, the name for the new star of this run. Yep. So if you have many last minute donations, go for it. At this point, it's like last second. Yeah. No, no, we still got it. Okay. Because we have, we have, to, we have, to, we have to complete the Amina, the uh, Amina side story. The Amina side story yeah. is the worst. Okay. <laughs> Some people are going to get mad at you. That, yeah. Pardon me? <laughs> Some people are going to get mad at you for that one. <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to get mad at me because apparently I talk bad about this game all the time. You do talk bad about this game all the time. <laughs> exactly. You do. It's, That's but why they should play better YouTube, games dude. like Shadow Hearts from the New World. Look. <laughs> One of, those, one of those is a good game, <laughs> and one of those is not a good game. You mean uh, Shadow Hearts in the New World? Yeah, I totally agree. It's <laughs> not a good game. Jeez. We should get back on track with this. <laughs> no, no, we need to have this conversation <laughs> right now. Because we need to clear the air, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so everybody, a lot of people have played Star Ocean, right? You've played Star Ocean 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 at this point, right? Uh, I hope you haven't played 4. But wow, when this guy is sitting here and you he, say, "Look, that. I have nothing against. I like wow. DDR, but he, we can all agree that's a bad game." Yeah, right? I think DDR. Is can I get a consensus too. from the room? <laughs> Star Ocean Four is a bad Star game. Star Ocean Four expert, do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> he just nods his head like, "Yep." I'm not. It's a great speed run. I have wasted it's my just time in that game, but I regret game. nothing. The speed run is like miles better than the actual yeah, game. In it, my it is. It really is really good. But the, you also, again, as Aitha was saying, if you haven't followed DDR, you really should. Yeah. Like he's really good with uh, the Star Wars Four Mike. Yeah, the really Star Wars Four run is really really good. But uh, you know that would be you know you'd say this is probably the second best Star Wars game. I think people would argue that it's the it, second best. So right. At least second best. We picked up the, uh, Whereas what was it, the hammer of from the new world. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. going to be the first uh, uh, disintegrate item. Uh, so we can do Wait, some yeah. neat stuff with yeah, it. There's yeah, there's a there's a thing called the room reset, which you can actually do with it. It's one of the few techs in this game that's pretty interesting. So you activate the box for the disintegration items by pressing square, and you can remove certain obstacles on your way that are highlighted with a green out outline, outline. Pretty much, yeah. And we use the disintegration. Uh, Boxes reset feature to get back to the beginning of the room yeah. because we pressed the switch there and then we reset back to the beginning. It's faster. To block it saves back. a few seconds on like every seconds, single time yeah. you can kind of use it, so it, it does matter over time. Yep. Um, the really big thing about doing the room reset uh, is that when you, whenever you do it, because you're not backtracking as well, if there's encounters along the way, you completely skip all of them because you go back straight to the exit. Yeah. So it's like super useful. Very good and it's, for that. it's triggered by letting a box fall on you, right? Like you uh, just no. Integrate no, no, that's, that's <laughs> not. What I don't want boxes. Yeah. 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 No boxes, please. Yeah. Well, would you, the, not, not not like whatever the just the. Um, like if you impediment is. Oh, I don't want to say impediment. That's not what I want to say. All if you right. recall. Uh, from the right. not sorry to interrupt you, sir, but let's cut off the Maria naming yeah, incentive yeah. right now. That will work. We're about yeah. to go into the menu. Yep. All right, here we go. Here's the menu, guys. So, what is Maria' go name going to be? Should we do a safety save as well? No, not here. Okay. It looks like someone sniped Maria. Oh, 420, oh. no scope. All and right. they got it up to twenty-six dollars for Triace, barely beating out Maddie at wow. twenty-five. Is there a dash in the middle for Triace? No. Oh, it there's is. no dash. I don't see no it. No dash. So spell it, it out is. for me. Uh, Capitalization included. Uh, yeah. So lowercase Tri. Triace. Tri and the Triace. totally uppercase is Ace. Yo, shout out Tri to Triace. Tri Tri yeah. Tri there you go. Tri and yep. can we get some donations in real quick? Yes, we yes, can. of course. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so when we have twenty-five dollars from Genuine Corruption, who says, "Hey, Ether, I saved my money for this run. It's great to see you back on the SO3 scene. It was great working with you in the past, and I hope we can maybe continue routing for the blind run someday." 
May the salt be with you. I, uh, May the we'll salt see. be with you, my friend. <laughs> I don't want any salt, please. The salt okay. is always with him. It's in his heart. <laughs> Actually, funnily enough, we did we did pick up salt. The joke was that every single time we failed item creation, we'll throw salt all over our shoulders for a little bit more luck. No, we're gonna get a cook out, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're not there's doing not that. A, there's not enough salt in the world. <laughs> there's not enough, enough salt for this game, really. We'll just pretend the snow that fell outside earlier is it's salt. salt. It's salt, yes. Yeah, exactly. We also had uh, $15 from Yester Carley uh, that says, Go for 50k! Thanks to the couch for this amazing commentary. Much appreciated. And I do have to agree, this couch, you guys are doing an amazing job explaining stuff as it goes along. So th thank you very much for your hard work there. Yep, thank you for the donation. Um, the one thing I should note about the <laughs> the hammer of this the the hammer of disintegration um, is that you know the feature they created was because I think originally they felt that if you you know destroyed an item that you didn't want, uh, you could reset the room to destroy a new items. So it's just a feature that we can kind of take advantage of. But later on, we get an upgrade of the item called the Ring of Disintegration, and it's actually a little bit worse uh, because every single time you disintegrate something. Um, bonus yeah, you get a you get a bonus actually, like a, a synthesis item. Not synthesis item, sorry, a item creation item. Usually cooking usually, ingredients. <laughs> it's or, usually something useless. Yeah, and it just takes time uh, getting the bonus item, but we can't avoid it because we have to use the ring of disintegration. Yeah, so many we can't times, keep the hammer, particularly in the final dungeon. But we'll get to that. Yeah, we can't keep the hammer. Yeah, and uh, you also saw Ither use charge there over hammer of might. Charging yeah. cliff is. Uh, actually, one of the old routes to standards as well, because uh, charge comes out really quick. And yeah, actually, you on can chain many, many charges together. Yeah. And you can a, on, get a lot of damage in. On full active mode, it's actually kind of the way to go, because Cliff just charges so fast and it just basically rams into the enemies. Yeah, this game has an active and kind of a weight battle system kind of thing. You can also see the minimum distance applying there. Like every single time you see Cliff walk back, he needs to readjust himself to recharge. And uh, on full active mode, it removes the minimum distance, so Cliff doesn't need to move back. He just mm -hmm. slams repeatedly yeah, just, into the enemy. Yeah, you just smash buttons really fast, and you just go like uh, like Sonic, pretty much. Yep. Yo, Cliff is Sonic. Sonic. John Cena. John, John Cena. Cena the Hedgehog. John Cena the Hedgehog. <laughs> The champ is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did have to fight these uh, kind of these crystal statues. Yeah, crystal yeah statues. you had to fight these guys. Mandatory. These guys are very, very annoying. They like, are. They seem to be very like immune to stun or have no guard or something. They're oh. also oh. really, really fast. Barely got off the power up. They're so really yeah, fast. you can again see Cliff's just like raw power here. How yeah. fast he is. The no trade. guard activated there, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, increased MP damage. Yes, yeah, so increased MP damage will be used for a few fights in particular. Just one. <laughs> just, just, just one coming up. Just I, one, yeah, because... Uh, normally, I would have it for those fights, and that's the fastest way to kill the, yeah. uh, the, the floating armor fight. and the... Uh, the, the No, the uh, floating armor, the statues, and the uh, Vendini soldier. Well, yeah. Vendini soldier's fastest way is to do aerial assault, but... We, we might, that requires yeah. I don't your think bonus gauge not breaking game. ever. Yeah. Because there's so two, two, boss, two mandatory fights that we did not have triple EXP for. Otherwise, we would have aerial assaults at and this he, point, I think. Yeah. He's just sitting here because he has to wait for this trigger yep. to cause the wall yeah. to uh, become breakable. With, you know, if you're playing this casually, it might be something you're like, where am I supposed to go? Yeah. Don't worry, that, that happened to me too when I'm learning. I'm like, I'm supposed to go here, but there's no door. <laughs> like the heck? Like we talked about earlier, this game was designed really heavily with the please explore everything. They wanted you to do like map co completions, oh, and that's why they reward you. And another critical thing about this place is you have to fight the crystal statues that's and correct, grab that green yes. chest. You, you must have yeah. the amulet, otherwise Crystal Cerberus has no hitbox, so meaning he's invulnerable. Yeah, yeah, and you must defeat him. Although, if you do fight him without having that key item, you can't escape and yes. go back and, Thankfully. Get, and get the item in order to beat him. Nice. Ooh, nice block. Get stunned, yeah. bro. Oh. Yo, the trade. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Crystal Surface is nice so annoying. This used to actually be way more annoying with Fate. Because, huh. like, two of them would just hop, like, Fate will hop around, and then okay. Crystal Surface cool. would be flying all over the place. So, like, you have two characters that are basically flying all around the battlefield, and, like, it's never stationary. <laughs> And you can actually get triple sur uh, crystal service to basically teleport, like to the other side of the field, because he just goes into the corner, and it's like, oh, I ran out of space. Guess I'll just uh, just clips through go to the, the other side. 
And you can kind of see, like, enemies start having a lot more HP. Yeah. Um, and get a lot stronger. They, 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 because remember, we have a, a stronger weapon than we probably should at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, we're fairly decent level. It's not the highest level you could possibly be, obviously, because we're not grinding or anything. But um, we also have John Cena. So Is it time for MP damage for John Cena? That's right. It's, it um, so you can correct. see that the uh, enemies start getting a oh, lot more Otherwise, we'd have HP. aerial assaults. Hammer might. Yep. Yeah, that's the setup for the Schwarmer fight later. Yep. Schwarmer. So I only have uh, one thing to change later on after this fight. Yep. <sighs> Green Earth Smasher is. And hello? Yeah. That's another thing. They reuse enemy. Check out that big hitbox. All the time. I hope my boy Fat Largar can Ooh. actually walk beside this guy. Yeah. You can should do it. Fine. Yeah, Booper. Should be fine. Booper did Booper. it. Come on, Booper. Yeah. Booper has done it. So here yep. we just opened this. Chest just for earthquake. Yeah, you need just to cause to the, the trigger to appear. Again, this game has a lot of random triggers like this. Including now we just, to wait around for a bit. Yeah, now we just backtrack because by activating this earthquake here. Oh, oh Fat Lord Guard we strikes this, again. Right? Oh, there's two oh, of there's them. There's two of them. I am going to run. Okay. Rip, yeah, yeah, this is gauge. a little hard to deal with for if you have two of it's them. Okay. You could. Yeah, if you're short on EXP, you could fight a single one of them. But since there are two, it's not feasible to fight them. So, I mean, I could have, but yeah. no. So upon activating that earthquake sequence, you have this part here, which would not have been there. Like, we wouldn't have done anything with the uh, hammer disintegration because they would not be activated. Like the wall would not be cracked over over there. But yeah, enemy placements are very annoying in this place. We're gonna re revisit this place later, so. And the enemy positions the we time. place, yeah, will yeah, be the same places. Actually, it's better the second time we see D20s <laughs> and flowing light balls. Those are not good things. <laughs> D20s, <laughs> man, that summarizes this game in a nutshell. You yeah. just roll D20 for item creation, <laughs> and it Anyways. lands on a 20. <laughs> All yeah. right, we got it. Anyways, these crystal statues are here. We can just uh, go can, around them and... can also skip this. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to, or what the game wants you to do, is it's they want you to them. divide your party and go through each of the doors. And do a solo fight with them, which gives you a talisman of uh, pa uh, petrification, whatever, which stops stone attacks, which is important, I think, because uh, the next enemies do have petrification. But I mean, it just takes way too long, and like Nell has long, no yeah. Nell has no experience, and Maria's weapon right now is really junky, so Try we're not going to do it. We're thankful that we can skip that part yeah, entirely. Yeah. Pretty much the only the point of that is just to give you a the talisman. Uh, yeah, the talisman that makes you immune to petrify but you only get one so it's like okay oh, the door yo nice again doors you have to it's like anything like that yeah anything that requires you to interact with you kind of have to interact with it at exactly the right way or my favorite work. is when you run to the door and then fate turns around then you have to turn around again yeah that looks pretty good and it's like you're wasting three <laughs> seconds because fate's like oh i'm opening the door the wrong way yep yeah it's like i need to fix myself hold up so yeah <laughs> it's like, wait, it's like, i can't open the door behind me so yeah, we had to activate that uh, red gem there to gain access to a pretty infamous uh, zone. The old box room. Right here. Yeah, the box room. The box room. The box room. This so is uh, these DDR's are, favorite part of the game. So these red glowing Hello. boxes, will if you touch them, uh, Faith will just void out a la 3D Zeldas and you'll be more back to the beginning. Yeah, and it's it's a, it's a pretty long animation time too when that happens. Yeah. It's actually well, it's really kind of annoying because um, I think the <laughs> boxes happens. have certain patterns. Yes. Like I've never yeah. played this enough to figure out what the patterns are, but I so. knows what the patterns are. So and uh, there's certain the there's certain patterns that work and certain patterns that don't. Uh, sometimes it can be really annoying because they will just hover around the door and you just have to wait. And some of them will just be parked there in place. So yeah, it's, it's uh, going to be annoying trying to see. It's pretty great. It's, it's like this. Yeah. It's like this. Random we amount of time fine. loss yeah. that you're gonna get, because uh, you don't know where the box is gonna move. Yeah, they could move into cooperative places. Or not. Yeah, you don't know what the pattern is gonna be until you like see like the rest of the room. Yeah. So yeah. it's still pretty much random. And the worst part about that is like you don't have the map for this area, so you're gonna have to uh, just go for it at least once just to get a little bit of map. And you saw earlier that Ifair picked up uh, a. Very, very high money chest. Yeah, 54,000. 54, Again, he needs all the money he, need, he can get for item creation. And uh, we have increased MP damage on Cliff's jabs here. So Cliff's normals, uh, we haven't really talked a lot about normals as much, but uh, his uh -oh. normal jab is actually really, really good. 
it comes out super quick. Yeah. Um, you can. It's it's you pretty much it. like a chain cut effect. Yeah. You can see it like it's like a machine gun. Yeah. He just jabs them to death. Killing them through MP damage again. Right? Yep. yep. That's why we have increased MP damage on yeah, the Storm Miner. I mean, in uh, if in the optimal scenario, you have air assault. So uh, Cliff just jumps into the air, dives down, then they all die. So, um, yeah. <laughs> they, now that we're done here, yeah. we have to backtrack. But Going we have to visit. Boxes. Yeah, we have to visit one particular area to uh, grab a particular item that will need for item creation. Yeah, so you can uh, recruit third-party NPCs uh, for item creation. Oh, oh well, I made a there's the animation. And, uh, when you <laughs> he get gets the, uh, out. When you get the third-party uh -oh. NPCs um, to join your party, they don't have the same uh, talent levels as the PCs. The PCs all have uh, talent levels across the board. Oh, wow. Um, but a for oh, man, <laughs> that is a thirsty Trap. box room. <laughs> but for the uh, creators, they all specialize in one particular talent. In this case, we're looking for the alchemy talent because oh, we have to create an item called the Ori Halcom. So uh, people who've played SO3 a lot uh, are probably familiar with the name of that of that item. Uh, it is one of the strongest items you can make. Uh, and we'll talk more about the Ori Halcom when we get there. But for now, just know that we need to pick up the Book of Prophecy, which is what DDR was talking about. Uh, because we need it uh, in order to recruit the guy that will make it possible. Ooh. If yeah. you don't have it, it's actually not possible to make the Ori Halcom this early, I believe. It's because we need the NPCs with the highest alchemy levels. That's correct. Yeah. That we can um, recruit. Like, I mean, at, at, like at this time. point, I think if you don't have him, your chance of success is literally 0%. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> everyone else's alchemy <laughs> skill is like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At most. Like the, the good ones that you get are literally on this too. So it's like, oh, yeah. well then. Like I think there's a guy called Oslin or whatever who has like 99. Yeah, Ansela like, has 99. Literally this two only. Uh, Sophia, this two as well. I oh mean, yeah, she uh, has this Jeff, two character. Yeah, Jeff. Um, uh, who else? Pepita is also very good at uh, Alchemy. Well, you guys are backtracking. Can we read a few donations? Yes, yes, yes. definitely. Um, so we had $16 from Linux that said, putting this donation toward Aether singing the credits song. That's not a donation <laughs> instead of, I'm sorry, sir. Well, uh, it sounds like that, it is to me now. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it is now. <laughs> Although they, they put that to naming, uh, uh, getting rid of the second Maddie and naming Maria Triace. That ah, was, that ah, was the don sniped. donation that, that sniped it. All right. Um, Makes sense. An <laughs> anonymous donated $25 without comment. Uh, That's the item we need to from yeah. the prophecies one. There's the room we set. So there's that anonymous guy showing back up again. Yeah. yeah. Any more Poor donations? Girl. Uh, we have $25 from Luna T. Knox saying, always wanting to support the speedrunning community and the charities they champion. Go visit Lincoln Samus and meet your heroes. That was put towards uh, some donation incentives in Super Mario RPG. That run will be coming up later, and one of those incentives is to meet Samus and Link in those games. Also, we had a $5 donation from Lick the Ceiling Fan. Interesting <laughs> name, I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. um, Sounds that, unhealthy. Yeah, that says, just a quick donation of the favorite food incentive for the mother run, because why eat a mango or Jeff if you can have the freshest of memes that they donated to have the favorite food as memes? <laughs> and finally, Adventure Academy donated $25 simply with the comment, his name is unbearable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, what's funny, he, he's talking about singing the little final song. He sings it on his stream. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard true. him sing it. That's true. It's happened. Yeah. There is actually And a he has a VOD. magnificent voice. There's actually a VOD of Ither singing the ending credits. Oh, yeah. So gosh. for all of those that are following him, you can check that out. Yeah, or that was with uh, a bad mic, too. <laughs> yeah. And he's, he, he, some have called him the songbird of his generation. Oh, it's goodness. happened. I don't know about that one. It, no, I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> I've been in your chat when it's happened. Anyway, so you saw that on the way back in the sealed cavern, uh, we, he, we used the hammer of disintegration to pretty much take a shortcut back. So we're going to be using that uh, shortcut later because we're going to be returning to the Shrine of Kadan. Yeah. And we're going to be avoiding, uh, you know, uh, you remember the big uh, section with the moving up and down of the rocks? We don't, we don't have to go through that any anymore. Time to play as Young Trace. Yo, mm -hmm. Young Maria. Young she also Trace. moves really slow. Yeah. The transport ship, Radish. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a that's an, a uh, 
mistranslation? It's no, a it's a meme. Uh, it's a meme. <laughs> it's a reference to the Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta uh, uh, <laughs> Battleship. Uh, Radish. So, so it is See a meme. Hanker. So it is, it's a meme. <laughs> It's a meme. It's a meme. It's, yeah, that's why I said it's a meme. <laughs> I think, it is a meme. I think Little Maria yeah. moves faster than in Battle Maria. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's how uh, slow Maria again, is. Again, characters have different strengths and weaknesses. Uh, Maria's move speed is extremely slow. You'll see Aether turn around and do back dashes uh, when he's controlling Maria because Maria's back dash is actually one of the fastest. Um, and she covers a good amount of distance and there's a good amount of iframes on it too. Uh, moving Maria forward is like... So I only do it rarely. Yeah. It's so bad. And only if I need so to be slow. in a specific position. For you something. Is you so can slow, adjust your battle formation so that Maria is a little bit closer as well as Cliff. So that Maria, you don't have to do as many uh, dashes to get to the enemy. I think someone once timed it uh, by going to the versus mode. And uh, yes, there is a versus mode in this game uh, to see how far characters take to walk across the field. And Maria comes in last place in like 31 seconds or something. And Ty, Fate comes in like first place at like 14. We're not going to talk about the versus mode. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to act like that didn't happen. Oh, man. Versus I hope the mode. versus mode on the PS4 version has internet play. That'd be oh, so goodness. bad. Yo, Star Ocean so 2 bad. versus mode for EVO 2020. <laughs> EVO 2020. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> but yeah, there is a versus mode in this game. There's some weird quirks in this game. That they added. Mm, yeah, they they were really experimental with Star Ocean. 3. First game that had the battle trophies. Mm -hmm. Battle trophies, Dan's game. Yeah. There's one yeah. for leaving your PS2 on for two hours in a battle. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like really? <laughs> yeah. The achievements were definitely in this game before the achievements were a thing. Yeah. That's for sure. This game also has two discs as well. Yeah. yeah. Has, yes. Which was pretty big for PlayStation to. 2 games. PlayStation 2 games mm -hmm. had. Uh, didn't have as many multi-disc games and towards the end, until towards the end of its life cycle. Mm -hmm. So what year was this release again? 2004. 2004. Yeah. yeah. So pretty early on in the cycle, and the graphics when it first came out were top notch. I mean, they really are really good. I know the the character models and some of the stuff is samey, but as far as like the cinematics in this game are pretty stellar, even still now. All right, time to go to uh to shop. Yeah. Shopping guys. And the Ruins of Ozella afterwards, I believe. Oh, yes. Yeah, this, this part is like just me dodging enemies. Pretty much. It also contains the one bathroom break in the entire game. It's like 45 Although seconds. Although we can't really take the luxury of taking that bathroom break in, in this setting. I don't yeah. know how you manage to take a bathroom break in my, 45 my, seconds. My restroom man. is like right next to me in my computer, dude. It is. Yeah, yeah it's weird because you can hear him going to the bathroom Ooh, on the stream. Enemy placements. Oh, that was a little tricky there. Fat Largard almost ran into an enemy. He no, should be alright. The, the placements here. for those two are like. Yeah, they can be really close enough. together. Yeah. It'd be kind of tricky. It's. That's, these guys are. I remember these particular enemies being kind of weird as far as their hitbox being yeah. set up. It's then we not have like. Harpies on the next screen. They'll just swoop down. Oh, well, before that, we have to fight Schweimer. He Yo, does not Schreiber. have a boss theme. He just has the regular theme. Yeah. He's such a, he's such a noob that he doesn't get the boss theme. But yeah. I think this is the last set of Legion Dragons that we fight. I believe you're right. Yeah. So, say goodbye to the really annoying guys because, well, these guys go down really fast because Cliff is much more powerful now than he was before. Yeah, and again, you just see the power of Hammer of Might. Yep. He's able to kill nice Schwimmer and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the in battle triaces. Yeah, the again the triaces is just when the game fails to load and has to reload a sequence, and it may take. Anywhere, what was the longest? Like two and a half minutes? Uh, uh, or could even no. crash the game. The infinite it's is the longest. Yeah, the or infinite infinite well, game, obviously, yeah. the, okay, that doesn't way, that, count. That, that, that happened that during count. the Tri Ace <laughs> Marathon uh, when I couldn't play my game and I thought was doing this as a backup and then it froze on him. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's right. Was, right? That's <laughs> great, it was 10 out of 10. Yeah. 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 10 out of 10. It was great because I was like, I've been up for basically like almost 24 hours at that point. And I'm like, yeah, Hell. most <laughs> a lot of Tri-Ace games do suffer from some it's kind of mainly like the uh, PS2 ones that, that this happens to, like Radiant Star Wars Stories, 2 also Star has this effect. Three, uh, Valkyrie Profile 2, can they all have tri yeah. uh, And in case you're wondering, yes, the infinite tri can happen on all three games. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty great. And even on PS3, Star Wars 4 in particular has pretty bad uh, hard lock problems. And I've lost plenty of runs to that. Oh, luckily, Resonance of Fate doesn't have triaces. <laughs> but my good. controller can randomly disconnect, so it's like a fake trias. <laughs> <laughs> Star Ocean 1 is Pseudo on the PSP, guys. It's, <laughs> I don't wanna, it's not a complaint. 
It's not a contest, okay? But Garrick is selling his game. Play this game because it doesn't have tries, as guys. He's no, so no, right don't. Yeah. No, it, the face problem. Emoji it right just, now. It's just a really slow loading process on that on the system. And uh, he has and to run no. through the desert here. You can so you refill see, the water a yeah, page with these ponds over here. If you actually stop, but as long as you stay in the water, uh, your gauge doesn't go down. He does have to. You make have it to recharge it yeah. at least once, or yeah, else or fate collapses basically. Yeah, he just takes a moment to stand still there, then fall face first. And then he just collapses. Yeah. And yeah, you and you're pretty much returned to the beginning of the zone and redo this entire section again. It's my favorite animation. It's like watching Titus get zapped by lightning. It's like so <laughs> cathartic. It's like yes. Yeah. Huh. This is what you deserve, game. Wow. So coming up is this uh, back room break of sorts. Yeah, this... 25 second back room. It's very, very yeah, short. Yeah. Go ahead and watch the timer while the, um, the cutscene is going on. Yeah. Actually, oh, this is also a really good time the timer. for uh, donations because we do have to watch this cutscene. It's yeah. pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So if you have any, let them come in. All right. Well, we have $25 from... Pair and Novi that say, simply says thanks again to the runners and organizers. And we also have a $30 anonymous donation without a comment. I also just want to mention that we have had uh, several uh, donations come in recently that without money set to any incentives. So j during this event, you'll hear us talking about incentives and prizes. This means that you get to vote with your wallet to name characters get our runners to complete difficult or ridiculous tasks, or help pick which story you want to see in certain games. You also will become eligible to win prizes donated by community members, and all donations do go to NAMI. So if you want more information about what you can specify your donations to go to, simply check out the tracker. All right, so that scene is just uh, kind of a hint to how to solve the puzzle in this dungeon. In case it wasn't obvious, it's a rock paper triangle system. The wizard beats the knight. The rock knight paper beats the thief. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's it's early scissors, in the morning, scissors, please. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Yeah. Anyways, Is, the, the wizard, yeah, okay. I heard the it. wizard I wasn't beats the knight. The knight beats the thief, and the thief beats the wizard. That's what you need to know. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, minor, major, and a a thing in battles. So here and we then you have. And you get to watch this cool animation. Boom. You have to choose Got the right it. statues to defeat these statues to yeah. pretty much unlock the the center room. What a, a excellent security system this is. Yeah, yeah it, it it's it's not so good just because it shows you how to beat it, but <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Well, it's I like, mean, it is try security though. So. <laughs> I don't try try, try, yet, is, try try security, security is, is pretty serious. Yeah. Try security is <laughs> actually yeah, pretty we, good. we don't mess with Square Enix. We don't, we don't mess with Square Enix. Try security is actually pretty boss. Uh, so here we're going to have another money chest, 40,000 fall. So we've gotten pretty much over 100k fall from yeah, chest alone. That's going to disappear, though. Yeah, yeah. It may, really yeah, fast. Yeah. It may seem like a lot, but it, it's like, going to it does drain go. by the time we finish item creation. And that knight was, that, he had no mercy for that thief. He was just nope. like, yeah. getting wrecked, yep. nerd. Just slashed him to death. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You too can become a chess master. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually a mini game in yeah. uh, later on in the game that does use this, as well as bunny races, which is like the best and worst thing in this entire game. Bunny uh, races, yeah. <laughs> races dance game. Yeah, pretty bad. Yeah, that's why uh, <laughs> people were like, go buy a turbo controller for this video game. Bunny races in the fourth game are a little bit better. A little bit. Yeah. You should have made that a those donation instead of no. go play bunny races. That only mash that button. Mash that button, yeah. We just, <laughs> we, it would be basically the same as the chicken race, though. It's pretty from great. From earlier. People love that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We can, <laughs> we can bet some Neo Shekels on it, you know? Yeah. You have any fall off on Bible Fusion? Yeah, no, right? <laughs> uh, this guy this guy moves really fast. As you can oh, see, he's just really hello? quick. Yeah, and what he just returned to his original the position. The use. Yeah. So there are spots where we will use a jewel of refuge. But um, this since is this place them, is yeah, shorter, shorter we don't enough, really use we don't them need to it, avoid yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Even though all these enemies here move really fast. They're also really obnoxious we actually trying to fight them casually. I mean, you have yeah, 100 jewels of refuge, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> weren't, you weren't you complaining about how there many are better, There are better places yeah. to use them, honestly. If I had, like, another one, maybe. Oh. One more, he needed yeah, you one, can't more. Grab one more. You actually can't grab one more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, and after you go through that dungeon, there's a few item that they give that we you. Can... Uh, well, the item, the dungeon gives you an item that removes the water meter, so now yes, you can actually yes, yes. explore the desert. Yeah. Um, but on the way back, we have a few the, chests yeah, to grab. The most important thing we have to grab is uh, this item called the Alchemist Stone. 
which gives you a flat 20% increase to the alchemy talent. And it's actually super important because uh, the line you use to create the Ori Alchemy, if you don't have the Alchemist Stone, is only 5%. Pretty Sorry, great. 5. 5%. Single digits, friends. Yeah, 3% because we use a Nell. Oh, 3%. 3%. Right. So even Saka, worse. Yeah. You wanna, oh, right. you just want to save, uh, save money. You want to crash anybody else's dream? Do you want to be like 1% now? Can we just say that so it just wouldn't happen? We got the third of the synthesis materials here. Yep. Nice. And one more chest here. Yeah. That's going to contain a machiner machinery materials. Is that all of them, or do we need one more? I think we need one more. There's one check. more I think we need. Let's check. Yeah. We have two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. We only get two. There's okay. only two oh, in yeah, the yeah, entire, right, in the right, entire right. disc one. Yeah. For whatever reason. You can only get two in this one. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I guess the idea was that Maria, Maria so gets... Maria so good. She only needs two. Yeah, that's she only needs two. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to get a little lucky with um, item creation yeah, later. A little lucky. Just a little. So we s we have 128k fall. It's going to disappear so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we talk about the different characters. Uh, There's like a like a tier list of how good some of these characters are. Hello? Like Maria uh, and Cliff are like top tier characters. Okay. Yeah, this place is pretty particularly uh, annoying because these enemies move really fast. But, yeah, but the, again, uh, this area is short enough that it's not worth using a dual refuge. The lighting also doesn't Yeah, help. the lighting does not help at all. Like some of the enemies just freaking camouflage. In, yeah. <laughs> they Especially the snake they later on. You can't even yeah. see Oh, the no scuff snake? Yeah, yeah I just like, I just like whatever. These two enemies are very, very well blended in. I'm just going to run for it. If I run into him, then well, whatever. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah oh pretty much. Well. So here we're backtracking again. my time again. in this game is bad. So... <laughs> Would this be a good time for donation comments then? I yeah, think if so, we yeah. have any more, you can, you can let us know here on the couch. Yeah, we're just running back to, we're going back to Aqua, or so Attorney. Yeah. Right Attorney, and then we're going to head all the way back to Eric Liv. We, oh, we yeah. do have one donation. All right. mm, that voice. Mm. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have an $11.19 donation from o I Oasis that says, that was driving me nuts. Give me even numbers, please. <laughs> That's right, everyone. You heard him from now on. It's two or ten dollars. Nothing else. Two or ten dollars or two thousand, you know. There no are, big deal. There are no even numbers, but at least this game isn't like Shadow Hearts from the New World with really weird HP figures. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Shout out to 2020 HP. 2020 HP. Yeah. Yeah. I think there, there are probably some like references into some HP in there. Because I know be, like yeah. Japanese developers like to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, interestingly enough, 2020 HP, I think 33% of that is like 666. <laughs> so maybe they were like, well, you deadly poisoned that guy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anyways, I'm reading too deep into it. Yeah. <laughs> you... Back to this game because Shadow yeah. Hearts is done. Yeah, we, were, we have to go into this rabbit hole first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cause, this uh, rabbit hole? I, yeah, because I'm sure the people who, who are watching, this there's is... a good amount of uh, you who know what oh, I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Right? Oh, oh, oh. The, uh, oh, it the, the grand twist. It begins. The grand twist, so which will make Twitch chat very angry. We have not <laughs> talked much about the story of this game, and uh, mostly because it makes my heart sad. <laughs> is there a donation in Instead of to watch that scene? No, no, no. Okay. That's, that's, that's too long, minutes. dude. Okay. It is like it's like 12 minutes. Yeah. The thing about Star Ocean after Star Ocean uh, two, Star Ocean three, four, and five all have really long uh, it cuts cutscenes, cut exposition cutscenes. Yeah, uh, for that. So, I was alluding to that earlier. Yes. Yeah, they uh, they have a lot of um, like their exposition dumps are vast and mm -hmm. deeper than they probably should be, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, we're coming up on the uh, twist that yeah, literally killed the series. Oh, wow. Killed the series. It killed dead. the series, dude. It's dead. I just want my 4D-person game, you know, <laughs> with dating sim elements. <laughs> you know, that... that where you go to high school? Is it when you go to high school? Where you go to high school and become the best MMO player in the world. It's like... You, you, you can write me a check later. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to become Luther? Are you, listening, are you listening, Square Enix? Because here's you your gonna, next big AAA title right are here. Are you going to become Luther? Did yeah, I name yeah, my splits like, appropriately when I named the final boss on my split Ither? Oh, my exactly. Yeah, you become, you, you, you're going to become it's Luther. A, it's a prequel you're where you're me. playing as Luther <laughs> Lansfield. Yeah. yeah. Truly it, amazing. Yo, I would totally play that prequel. <laughs> it that would be an amazing prequel. <laughs> It is kind of hard to talk about the story of the game just because there's so much other stuff going on. Yeah. I mean, we're an hour, we're almost two hours into the run. Uh, yeah, and a lot has and, happened. And a like, lot has happened. And uh, not only has a lot happened, but we've had to explain a lot of the mechanics mm -hmm. as well. So Because there um, are a lot of 
the the battle system is actually quite it's quite deep, deep. Yeah. and it's very like it's not it's not apparent at first cuz you're just you know pressing buttons like oh, I don't know Yeah what I'm after doing. after SO2 you can definitely tell they really put a lot of effort into the battle systems of the subsequent games yeah. so, I feel like this so game I, was yeah. better than 2 and then <laughs> 4 was better than this game as far as combat's concerned and then I think 5 was kind of somewhere in the middle There there's a, a, a not necessarily me but somebody once said I thought Star Ocean was just a reskin of Tales and <laughs> I think for the beginning, like the first two games, as Garrick was saying, that's probably like a the fair, case, yeah. accurate saying. Shout out yeah. to but the Tales as, of Community. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout out. So I think it's starting this game, as we're well, saying, that's kind of when it started to change. The guys who made Star Ocean 1 were the ones who made Tales of Fantasia. The main crew who were the programmers and developers, and they left Square mm -hmm. uh, after some creative differences, and they went and made Trice, uh, who, or no, they made Enix. No, they made Trice, right? No, they made Trice. Yeah, yeah, Trice. Look at this history lesson uh, from a boy Garrick. Yeah, they made Trice. I can't because uh, Yo, it's and Sanic. they went and they went and made uh, they went to Enix and they made you know they partnered with Enix who published the game and uh, they made uh, Star Ocean One, which was essentially just like everything you could possibly get out of the place that the Super Nintendo Star Ocean One tried to do. They had voice acting. Uh, to an extent, you know, they have voices in combat and mm -hmm. uh, trying to do the higher higher end graphics and things like that. So, um, Sanic also has a really big hitbox, by the way. Deceptively big. We are going to run into Sanic most likely. Yeah. That's good. Though. A lot of the enemies in this have really big hitboxes. Yeah. Uh, some of them don't. Some of them have, like, weird hitboxes, but um, a lot of these enemies, like, have pretty big hitboxes outside. He runs area, to the so. left there, by the way, because uh, that stops the lizard man from like uh, aggroing onto me. Yeah. yeah, which is pretty interesting. Like the first time in that room, I didn't even know it. I just ran straight. And oh, then you and get caught. And yeah, and like, then oh, I was no. like, "Why are you not running to the left side?" I'm like, "Dude, he's like right there." It's like, dodge no, the no, aggro. No. Just go left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just go left. It's like, oh, it works every time. I have a question. So, yes, is there instead of for naming Albel? No, no, there's okay. not. Because we don't keep Al Valley. Yeah, we, Although he is in the party. He's though. in the party, but... <laughs> we don't use him. We don't okay. really use him. Well, he's in the uh, he's our, creation yeah, line. And, like, you <laughs> yeah, he is in the creation and line. And we beat him sure. anyway. Uh, <laughs> and it's like... He's not very good. Yeah. I mean, he's just not very good. Yeah, there he is right here. Oh. Look at that smile. Auto Isn't that... Auto battle. Yeah. That's like the smile Do you give on like a really assault? bad picture. Uh, is he 25? He's 25, he has a year assault. No, he doesn't have No, I don't. He's 26. Okay, so... Is it worth grind? No, I no, don't think so. I will yeah. be charged. Yeah. Gr grinding is never worth it. Yeah, and grinding is never worth never it in this game. It. I've tried it it's like a bunch of times. It's never worth it. So for this boss here, this guy has this uh, poison cloud there that deals MP damage to Cliff. And since Cliff doesn't have that much MP, it's going to run out pretty fast if you... Uh, oh, oh, wow. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. You, he can't rocks. get killed by a boulder. I yes, have a bot of this. Uh, so yeah. if he does enough damage and gets killed by a boulder, it would be pretty great. So yeah, the best way for this strat is if you go to the front, the, the poison clouds do not could be as present as in the back. So that's a pretty good fight. And again, he's yes. just exploiting the cancel. Yep. If you have a uh, aerial assault, it's oh, actually super do fast. Ice I think you kill next. him in like two moves. So here we grab the pulse gun, which we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be using that yeah. one. Are you gonna we're use? We're gonna be real? using yeah. it because Cliff doesn't have. Um, yeah. There's a deal with uh, Robin Wind pretty okay. soon. Yep. Which uh, is a pretty good stopping point for a lot of players as well. Mm -hmm. It can be really frustrating. Yeah, pretty much anything that flies and is relatively fast in this game is pretty annoying. Yeah. And Especially this boss in particular flute. is kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, the dragon flute. Yeah. It's my favorite part of the game. No, it's not. You're just <laughs> saying that to trigger me. <laughs> I also hate that part of the game. It's also why I don't run this game anymore. So it's pull easy. Out, like, All you have to do is watch my hands, sir. Yo, I say that about rings, and you're like, no, man. Rings are hard. Rings are Rings hard. Rings are hard, dude. <laughs> like, like and, and, and yeah. Shadow Hearts 3, yes, they're, they're hard. hard. They're hard. <laughs> Especially the way that you guys do it. No, it's just hard, yeah. dude. That's legitimately hard. I'm just hard. bad. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> next area is going to be the Bar Cave. So you saw that he went one way in the Bar Caves. Now that, like, in the second map that you entered, uh, there's the east path. We're going to be taking that path now. Yeah. And a, to uh, the of ruins here. of Mozo. Uh, no, not that. Not uh, Ruins of Mozo. Uh, Ruins of Bar. Ruins bar, bar yeah, Ruins of Bar. So we're going to be using the Dragon Flute. So there's going to be four different co color doors. Oh, so the yellow oh, door oh, here is, God. it uses the pressure sensitivity. So you have to be pressing or uh, holding on to circle. So for the yellow door, you need a soft, short circle press. And since we have two yellow doors here, uh, we can just get past that right away. There's a blue door, which we're, we're going to need to 
press the circle button hard for a short amount of time. I think this one is blue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Short hard. Yeah. You can't really tell if it's blue on first on first glance, but green ones are very green. And green ones, uh, you need to soft press the circle button for around two seconds. And red door there is the hard version of that. So press that for two seconds. Hold that for two seconds on hard pressure. Too long, don't we? Try, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Why how they do changed this? this puzzle for the PS4 version. Yeah, that's one thing I'm curious about. Yeah, because I, I hope you it just doesn't select have, the right uh, option and he plays the flute. Yeah, Come like, on. Yeah. This is also a red door that you have to open, even though there's a cutscene there. It's like pretty different than others, like appearance wise, I guess. But it's a very important door that we have to open for sure. All of them are. Yep. Also, Fate yeah. just picked that flute up and immediately knew how to play it. He was just like, I got this. He has the music one. talent that's hidden. <laughs> yeah, creation, he has music talent. Item creation doesn't let you create a violin, or Faye will be swinging that violin like a boss. <laughs> so yeah, another part of this uh, of this place is that there's this uh, large yellow cross puzzle that we have to uh, light up. So there are these rooms in particular that we have to go to to light up the squares so that the center room will have these particular squares lit up. And also a reminder to grab the other uh, uh, item for the second NPC that we'll recruit. By the way, if you get into a, um, if you play the flute incorrectly, you get into an unescapable battle. Yeah, you have you to, have fight, to that. fight it. And uh, it costs anywhere between like two to two minutes at the very least. Yeah, um, it's, very so it's costly, a very costly mistake. mistake if you make it. Um, so you really, really want to figure out how to do the button sensitivity if you ever yeah. plan on running this game. So here we grab the spirit stone because we're going to be using that to recruit Misty Lear, who we'll see later on. Yeah, we need her as well as part of the alchemy team. Yeah, the um, alchemy team. If you don't have uh, Misty Lear and Mako, you can't create the Ori Halcom on this one. So we're just finishing up here. He needs to pick up the dragon cranium, I believe. Yep. Yes. And that's going to be that's all the, the way back. The puzzle, yeah. yeah, it's a key item that we'll need to finish. Yeah. So we need to offer the premium once we lit up the entire yeah. puzzle. And he's just uh, kind of doing a disorder because it's the most um, efficient. I think we grab another item there as well. There's a synthesis yeah, item. Synthesis synthesis materials, yeah. And again, do you see the room we set afterwards because you can get out of this room without having to backtrack all yep. the way. Just saves a bit of time not yeah. having to walk so back. So the seconds add up um, for sure. It's like It doesn't seem like it's a lot, but you're doing this over the course of a three hour run. So it definitely saves time overall. Yep, and we, uh, we toggle the on and off switch for that tile in particular because, well, by the time we get back, we can just light that tile back on and we can just offer it to Cranium right away. All right, it's time for uh, Robin Wynn. So Aiming device. Yeah, yeah. This is, I think this is one of the only instances you have aiming device on. Uh, it's because Maria's level is not high enough to learn magnetic field. Well, or I'm not going to have magnetic field either way. It's yeah. mainly because Cliff Robin, does not have aerial assault. Oh, that's Robin, true. That Robin too, wins yes. MP is uh, yeah. low, much lower than his HP. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, if Cliff has aerial assault, you can just aerial assault him. Uh, without you use the kind of fate rail strategy where you just poke him to death with the device. And this is a very common source of your uh, bonus gauge breaking as well. Yeah, Robin fight. Wind is really obnoxious. Thunder player. Thunder <laughs> player. If you if you cast it up here, yeah, that would be pretty good. You can Ooh, see the stuck. back step there. That gets Maria in position much faster. Oh, what? You, you don't, don't have, have Berserk, Berserk set, yeah, bro. That's right. Yeah. You don't have Berserk set. <laughs> Yo! Ooh, the hitbox on that is the, uh, pretty... The stun. Stun off the uh, 250 Amy device. So yeah, this is going to be an MP kill. Yeah. Oh. It is Ooh. possible to juggle him with Amy device it's if you are uh, Nico Japanese players. And Nico have, Japanese players. Have got yeah. like uh, execution. <laughs> we yeah. unfortunately suck and we can't this do it. This is a pretty good fight. <laughs> yeah, it went pretty well. We There's aerial aerial assault. Assault. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to be using that skill quite a lot. Uh, well, not anymore. Not right? anymore. Oh. Because uh, that it, was it, the last yeah. boss with John Cena. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you, used it, you used it a lot more uh, early on again because the okay, lower yeah, MP yeah. values makes area assault a better skill than well, you a lot actually, of this other stuff. You actually HP kill most of the bosses that you use it on. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. the HP modifier is just so insanely massive on aerial assault that. It's disgusting. So here we are in the Ursa Lava Caves. <laughs> Don't equip uh, the gutsy body, bro. 
Yeah. Don't I know equip. you won't, but I'm just saying, <laughs> if you do, equip. I'm going to laugh back to you. Don't, don't equip, bro. Did you use the jewel refuge already? Yes. He did, yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I used it before I uh, yeah, go into the right. Because these enemies here in particular, uh, this guy is slow, but he's so big. He, his hitbox yeah, is his really hitbox big. Yeah, his hitbox is huge. But these guys there, uh, yeah, they're very fast Demon-looking enemies moving. are very fast. So very fast you got moving. your nice mix of really big enemies and really fast enemies. Um, so when he grabbed the rabbit ear chalice key, you need that key to open the door at the this end of this. door here, yeah. Because yeah. you need to talk to the bunny yeah. at the very end of this area. Uh, Pink which bunny will, guy. Yeah. Give you the, Many rest in peace. He will give you the ring of disintegration um, when you get the items necessary for him and you pay him You will right have fee. to backtrack to get the item that he wants to make the item disintegration. But you yeah. need 10,000 fall at least for this part because That's correct. you if need you, to you, offer him If you offer him only 1,000 bucks, he laughs at you. Yeah. I'm Booper. He's this like, ha, ha, no. <laughs> These guys are all also here. I have a name. <laughs> Albo. What a, what a party. <laughs> yeah. Albo talks twice. Plus. Yep. There's Maddie. Yeah, so, so yeah. he, he That's will. That's the second option. He will tell you that he can make the ring to remove the really big boulder, but uh, he needs the items. And yeah. You can offer him a price. If you pick the lowest one and be a cheapskate, he just laughs at you. He's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, no. you're a cheapskate. <laughs> He's like, ha, ha, no. Um, so you have to offer at least uh, $10,000. Yep. Giving him more money doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't really so don't do give much. him 30 grand. Yeah. yeah, you just lose 30 grand. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah, get, the, gutsy you get the gutsy bunny, and I was referencing that beforehand. So if you equip the gutsy bunny, it increases the difficulty significantly by making the enemies have a lot more stats, and they're a lot more faster and more aggressive. Um, so typically, like, nobody ever has made this mistake before, but I'm waiting for the one guy who, when he does his <laughs> menu, isn't paying attention. It just sets oh, the gutsy really bunny. <laughs> Gutsy sets the gutsy bunny. bunny by accident, and it's like, why are the enemies killing me in one shot? I'm waiting for that to happen. He's probably gonna be me. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I haven't made that mistake either when I was playing this game. Yeah, I guess it's so, so we're done for now here. Yeah. So the way you get to vanilla is like the camera just focuses on fate in front, so you have to use the L stick to aim fate. Yeah, it's, it's the pretty, movement's pretty kind of weird. Yeah, yeah you, I use the mini map. So do I. There. I use the mini map. And just, you know, just oh, use that. And here we backtrack we oh, talk to, Misty, to Lear. Misty Lear and Recruiter. Yeah. So if you don't do this, yeah. it's like a three and a half minute time loss. It's the, pretty costly. The, yeah. the story here is that uh, with Misty Lear, it's kind of a sad story. Uh, yes. What was it? Her daughter died. Yeah. And so she was trying to create something like the Spirit Stone so yeah. her daughter can rest in peace. I'm like, yeah. wow, geez, that's really, it is. Trice, that's but, something. Uh, <laughs> Trice went the Valkyrie profile route when designing backstories for the NPCs. Yeah. So he, we assigned these guys to Eric with yeah. because that's where we're going to be going for our item yeah. creation. So before we grab what we, uh, Vanilla is looking for to make the ring of this uh, we're going to be doing the big item creation. You, the uh, big item creation. Yeah, you kind of have to go back to Aeroglyph anyway because yeah. the plot requires you to, as well as you like you need to. Stone. Yeah. So you just move the inventors there because it's just convenient. Yep. Yeah. It's yep. not the end of the world. You move them to the wrong store uh, because wrong you can move you can the reallocate back. Them. Yeah. yeah. yeah you it's can just cost them. time. Yeah. Now would be a good time for some donations. Yeah, definitely. definitely. To walk back. All right, we have a few here. First off, we have twenty-five dollars from Chilled Like Ice saying. Having a great time watching SO3. Donation goes to naming Anna in Mother after Smefunia so she could continue her grand adventure. Also, we have $5.23 from Meta Sigma directly behind me, and he simply said, I love it when a bit bid adds in cents, just so he could mess with our donation tracker, I believe. <laughs> and he's giving a proving thumbs up. Some incentives there. Yeah. What an incentive. Also, um... Is percent now, awake? Now, everyone, <laughs> now everyone's incensed. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So yeah no, I, 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 the grounds so. are fine. I'll take it. <laughs> I deserve that one. We also have $20 from Aurelix, who simply says, OS Komodo. And we might uh, mention mention some of our oh, community so artists, man. such as LLK. That's your heart I hope you have a safety okay. save just in case. <laughs> We're sorry about that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there that was. that was a really bad choice, Price, by yeah. the way, because it was right when you opened the menu and it was on a save, so it could have soft locked. Yep. <laughs> and if it did soft lock, I don't know when the last time you saved was. Oh, it, it was before, really uh, awful. It was before uh, Robin Wynn. 
So we apologize for interrupting. Yeah, yes, sorry. Apologies no, yeah. to that person. Yeah. No, that that's totally totally understandable. I could see why you would get emotionally involved with that particular try. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty yeah. painful. It will happen yeah. really bad if it's soft Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that's actually the same point as Softlock doing the Trius Marathon, didn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember it was before item creation. I think remembers. That is burned into his soul. It was at a... Uh, Here we <laughs> expand more lines. We also uh, invest in Synthesis, and Engineering, and Alchemy. So we want Cliff, Fate, and Albo on line 3, Maria on line 2, and the rest of the guys on line 1. So. Yep. The values you're looking for for uh, alchemy is between 5,415 to less than 6,000 to make the Auric Alchem, which has a 23% uh, success rate, I think. For Maria, she'll be synthesizing the... Oh, oh she's equipped it, so... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to yeah you have to recycle time. for the uh, yeah. price value again. That's yeah. the <laughs> amazing thing and about this game. <laughs> yeah, take out the Warrior's Brace as well. As well. Okay. I only need three. Yeah, you just need three. But yeah, we'll have to recycle for the uh, for the Oracle value. That's good. That's good. And we'll synth a pulse gun with warrior's bracelet. We're gonna do that three times. In engineering. We're gonna be making duck duck bombs. Our values will be between 35 to 39 uh, cost. That's good. So an important ah. thing to note. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, you, that can happen Although, sometimes because everyone you know, fell asleep. This what is this heck? is an excellent All game. Right. Um, so you're, we you're one. <laughs> so we need at least three, but we're gonna be patterning the, the duck duck box later, anyways. That's two. Albert went to sleep as well. Oh yeah, my but God. that doesn't matter as much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this Ooh. can happen randomly during item creation. Your guy can fall asleep, and then his talent level is not added to the line. Yeah. So it's really bad on the alchemy line because you need all three. <laughs> Yeah, and it was that, like, I, I wow. don't think that's happened before. <laughs> so that's the Duck Duck Bombs. Yep. Yeah. Each of the characters also have sometimes bonus factors. So Maria has cost minus 10. Uh, Nell has a time minus 10, I think, which just increases the speed at which it creates. So the overhead cost decreases. Uh, one of the that's big good. things about item that's creation good. is that synthesis cannot fail. Uh, but all the other item creation sets can potentially fail. So synthesis um, also use when you synthesize something, the cost is also variant depending on the base weapon you're using. So in the, the uh, too. yeah on the fate relic, it's also why you use the simple sword uh, because if you use nice. the other weapons, it can be really expensive. One more, please. Um, yeah. In this case, you know we're going to be using the pulse gun, so the cost is a little bit higher, but it's not too bad. So and yeah, if you see the happy face, it means yeah. it succeeded. So yeah. he has one already out. So Ifer right. is going to be choosing to use to get two orc algums. Or I have to get lucky. Yeah. Depends on how many fails I get. That's also why we uh, say beforehand, this is one of those parts where... Very uh, RNG heavy. Very, very RNG heavy. It's also the part where most runs die. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Because if you don't <laughs> make the item, you can't re That's really good. continue nice. on. We've got both Aura Calcums. All right. We're going to... Oh, like, wait. I should just synth everything first. Yeah. There's some weird... synth everything, then, then save. save. Yeah. Yeah, because this is part one of the RNG. There is some weird... Um, like backup strats you can potentially do where you can make a single aura calc yeah. and hope to duplicate the factor three times. Yeah. You can also I have um, more success that way personally. You can also buy like an end of the game weapon if you really want to and then resynth everything onto there for a stronger weapon. But I mean like all of those cost time. You want yeah. to do the session as is. And, and as you can yeah. see the cost is escalating. So yeah. you know that it's exorbitantly <laughs> high to synthesize the aura calc here. You see the hundred grand we had, it's all gone. It's yeah, all gone. gone. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd all my money go? And as you added more fa factors, the cost does go up. Yeah, he's yeah. also s recycling it just to get a lower cost. Lower cost, yeah, for sure. Nice. Okay. All right. Save. Save. Okay. Now, here save. comes the RNG. Yeah. Here comes the RNG. Plus so, so everything that's just happened is made that gun very, very, powerful. very, very powerful. Yeah. Uh, it's the like Ori Calc how much caliber. is it? How much? Uh, five hundred attack. Five hundred attack per Ori Calc. Yeah, right? per factor. Yeah. So, so we get four. So yeah. that ends up being two thousand. So and two Ori Calcums, then we duplicate two more using engineering specifying plan. That's why we have the machinery materials. Yeah, and, and if you want a frame of reference of how strong that weapon is, um, the post game weapons in the bonus dungeon of this game have about two thousand eight hundred power. The weapon that we're going to be making is about that level, if not a little bit stronger. So we're basically going to crush the enemies uh, with this weapon really badly. <laughs> yeah, it the weapon and item the weapon creation in most of the games is completely broken. In in this game, it's a little bit 
different because you're kind of like customizing the weapon and adding things mm -hmm. to it, whereas in the other games you're actually just creating a specific item. Um, you can also create stronger weapons in this game, but I mean, like... You don't need it. You don't yeah. need it. Yeah. Like, the synthesis portion is really the part that's really broken. And again, just again, recycling we want for the, lower cost. Yeah, lower costs. Um, having Dell and, and Maria reduces overhead as well as cost, which is useful, because... Uh, Again, he, you know, we started with like 150 grand or something. Now we're down to 45. Yeah. By the time this is done, we're probably gonna have zero. Yeah, close to zero <laughs> for sure. And by that time, money won't be a huge problem because yeah, once the shopping we do uh, is not gonna use as much fall as the amount we'll get throughout yeah. the run. Once you have the weapon, you're pretty safe. Um, I mean, if you don't have the factors correct and you do the backup where you resynth everything, it will cost an arm and a leg. Uh, but if you're doing everything in first shot and it works, nice. it works pretty well. Very yeah, good. you got lucky too. Yeah. What a lucker. What a lucker. It's very good second right. half. I would yeah. save here as well. No, I gotta go get the glowstone yeah, first. Yeah, the glowstone is uh, the you area can't exactly aqueducts. die from that. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> can't exactly die from getting the glowstone. Yeah. Well, you can well, fall through the ice, but you, we you don't could, actually okay. need to walk on the ice. You could try ace and then the game can solve so, yeah. like, it. We need to use the bomb of disintegration, which is different. Here we grab the glowstone, which is the item that uh, Vanilla wants to make the Ring of Disintegration. I think he gives us the Bomb of Disintegration to uh, he does. allow he us, gives you the bomb to, us to, to get you the item and blow through the ice block. He icicles, gives you the location as well. Iceberg, whatever it is. Um, yeah. When you get the Ring of Disintegration, like, he tells you where to go. Yeah. yeah. So now we're just going to be backtracking all the way back to Vanilla. Uh, we're go are we saving first? Yes, yeah. I would save because yeah. I don't want to do item creation again. All right, same. So, yeah, we <laughs> there, there was that run that you did where you did item creation and then a soft lock, so you reset and had to redo item creation again. Yeah, that was again. pretty great. Yeah. That was like, wow. Yeah. This I game doesn't it. want it today. <laughs> so now we're going to walk back and get the Ring of Disintegration and then move on from there. So now would be a good time if there are any more donations. Yeah, definitely, because we're, we're going to be backtracking a lot. And the game's about to go 0 to 60 real quick. Yeah, you're actually... Yeah. Gonna go straight to space. I will point out before um, beforehand though, you do talk to this guy because that prevents backtracking. He just right. takes you straight to the mine. Yep, go ahead. All right, well, speaking of space, we have a $20 donation from Lucy that says, I can't in good conscience wish you well when you're not using my wife, Nell, or my husband, Albel. But thanks for the laughs. Good luck in 4D space. Oh. We also have. See a space cowboy. <laughs> 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 Rip. We, we also have $25 from Delfringer, who says, I always love to watch RPG Limit Break and finally had the chance to donate. We might also just uh, take a moment to thank some of our artists, for example, uh, LLK, Carrie Fry, and Mega Weasel, who are responsible for many of the emotes that you gain access to uh, by subscribing to this channel, RPG Limit Break. All revenue from subs and any ads that we run on this channel will go to help run future RPG LB RPG Limit Break marathons. But do not think that uh, your donations do not simply go towards us. All any donations go directly straight to Nami. All right. So yeah, we are heading back to the, the rabbit. To get up the Ring of Disintegration. Uh, but the story reason for why, again, is you need to break like a really big boulder that the hammer doesn't work. So he tells you, oh, I can make a ring that can that can break the boulder. So that's why you have to do, do yeah. this little trek. We're gonna, we're gonna strap the ion cannon to the dragon's back. <laughs> if but it first, sounds silly, it's because it is. But first, we have to beat him. Th that's and that's why we need the Ring of Disintegration. For... I think strapping an ion cannon to a dragon's back is totally feasible. That is the Just grand, to... grand plan they have. Just to destroy alien uh, spaceships. Yeah, we're gonna strap a dragon to a dragon. <laughs> strap a dragon to the cannon, or a strap a cannon to a dragon. I know, right? It's, it's like which one say. is which. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's still kind of silly. It is. All right, we're going to right. the item. Price. More gods bracelet on Maria? No. Oh, uh, you don't need it? No, you do not. Gutsy bunny on Maria? Yes. <laughs> yes, please. That sounds like a completely great idea. A real man, I, I hope a you real have man a would do donation it. Donation incentive later on. That's like five thousand dollars at some point. It's like, we'll equip the gutsy bunny the entire time while we have it. Just um, die yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great 100%, idea. That's 100 how you mercy kill a run. Sir. Hundred percent fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just get really good at the game, bro. Yeah, no, just play perfect, dude. Yeah. Just do combos. Ooh. Juggle every single enemy so they can't count. See, that was an example of a weird hitbox. <laughs> yeah. Where it looked like you 
might not be able to get by the enemy, but he was able to do so. Okay, so here is the... Uh, uh, did you this one switch boss. to Scatter Beam, or are you still on aiming device? Oh, sh ah, that doesn't really matter. Yeah. I think you're on aiming device. Yeah, yeah I think I you're on aiming device. Menu. Look at that Dargan. He's big. And Yo, look at that juggle. Pro you, juggle. You couldn't see the damage, but that it, does, that, yeah, it was a lot. The last hit. The last yeah. hit was like 15,000 or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's the... That's the... That's how much damage you'll be doing for the rest of the game. Yeah. This boss has 35. I love this, this boss meme. <laughs> yeah. So 14,000 damage is about one third of his life. Yeah. yeah. And this boss is pretty difficult casually. There's a great opportunity to build a gauge. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, yeah, we're not going to get the triple ESP from this. And see, 28 HP. HP. Clutch. Yeah. You're Yo. also almost out of MP, so then you can't use aiming device anymore. Yeah, aiming device uh, consumes MP, scatter beam consumes HP. So different skills in this game, we, uh, we uh, forgot to mention that. They can consume uh, HP and MP depending on... Uh, is it dependent on if they do HP or MP damage? Or? Uh, th this it just depends varies. on the skill. Really. Uh, it just depends yeah. on the skill. The major okay. thing is that the major's battle skills always cost a percentage yeah. of your health. Yeah. Um, like aiming device, I think is eight percent of Maria's max MP, so it can be pretty costly when you have yeah like, the you know, stats are seven below. grand MP. Then it's like oh, aiming device costs like what a thousand MP for me to use. Yeah. It's like yeah. wow, it's percentage, yeah, which is really annoying. It is. I mean, in the uh, Japanese original cut version, <laughs> it was a flat amount, so you can literally do like you know crazy combos that mm. you can't do in this version. Yeah, uh, but the problem is there's they, no there's chain no cancel bonus. Bonus. Yeah, there's no chain cancel, so you so. So a Japanese runner, SO3 runner, he uh, he deleted all his you know social media stuff and stuff. Rip, so unfortunately, guy. I can't send you to where he is. But he did a speed run of the original Star Ocean 3, and it was like the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> like, cause pretty much what he did for the entirety of this two, well, after making some weapons, was literally one aerial assault, one air raid, one aerial assault, one air raid, one aerial assault, one air raid, and the battles were really long. <laughs> Yep, because you can't uh, you can't cancel. you can't chain in the original version. So, thank you, Trice, for sending us this version instead. Because <laughs> this is way more fun. And in the castle, we picked up. Uh, I think it's the last jewel of refuge. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah, you pick up the uh, free ones that you can get whenever possible. So then here we just have to talk to everyone and then make our way back to where we just uh, where we were when we skipped the event after beating up Crossall, the dragon. Yep. yep. Yeah. So you might have noticed our estimate is 3.30 and we're already two hours into the game and still on this, this one. This one is this very, one is very, very, long. very long. Yeah. This two is not only shorter, but because we also have a really powerful weapon. Fights uh, will just go by really, yeah, really fast. Yeah, a lot of those bosses are just going to get obliterated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, pretty much before you blink, they're going to die. And we're about to get to this, this two switch point. And we are on the ship. D We're in space. Low. We're in space. We went from medieval to space. So now we make a safety save up here. Yes, and please. prepare to switch this. this I think Garrick will do that. No, <laughs> not yet, sir. You mean, really? Give, give, on, give, I see it loading. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't want to corrupt the save. No, I don't want to corrupt the save. All right, now it's time. Oh, there we go. Best girl. Hooray! Trace. Trace. Yeah, getting... um. Get, you can get different endings, as I mentioned. Getting the Maria ending takes a little bit of footwork. Yeah, he ended up getting the Sophia, Sophia ending. ending. <laughs> was I, was, I was baby <laughs> raging. Because I'm like, I did all the events. You did Why did this work? I think you have you, to make you, items you to reduce the ending. You can't do game facts, Skip, dude. Game facts. You can't do game facts, Anyways, skip. we have to talk to a few uh, NPCs just to get through the uh, like the events here to get to the next place. Yep. Like we yeah, have to talk to a bunch of random, these guys random are, people. Yeah. Again, these story triggers in this game are kind of weird. You yeah. have to talk to like random individuals. John to get Cena. Yeah. Yo, John Cena was the captain of the ship. Yeah. Like, here like John you can Cena. talk to like, a few, but we talk to the ones that take the least amount of time to mm -hmm. talk to. And then well, after this room, yeah. uh, when we go back, uh, there's going to be like a telecom thing. Yep. And there then, we go. Yep. That activates the next part of the story. Yep. Now we can move on and listen to bad music. I'm not looking forward to this part, gents. Yo, it does. Diplo music, music is so good. <laughs> but it's so high tech. The next not, battle not the theme. Diplo, yeah. The next battle theme is what is I'm talking about. Yeah, it's really. Yo, bad. this battle theme 
was so good. I can't no, believe not you don't one. like it. Not no, this one. It's not, not this one. one. What, it's uh, the next one. Yeah. I can't believe you don't like it. Are you serious? It's the best battle theme. All right. So we don't have magnetic field. Otherwise, we'd be using it here. For, because magnetic GG. field would pretty much take care of these two guys in, like in one shot. Hit, yeah. <laughs> And again, but this, these guys have very little HP, anyways. Uh, yeah. The route change uh, is more area effect focused. So um, against groups of enemies like that, like you just destroy them in a single hit. In the fate route, again, you're more single target focused, so it takes a little bit longer. So you notice that we were back here, and all the enemies, the enemies have, have changed. changed. Yes. So all these the robots in particular are pretty bad. They move really fast. And when you seem really like dangerous. you'll be clear, they'll just swoop down on you and pretty much uh, get into a counter with them. They're hard. I don't think they're particularly nice to fight either. No, they're really dangerous. Yeah. Like any mechanical enemy in this game, especially spider bots, like oh, you run away. Tiny spider bots. You and run big away. <laughs> so yeah, we have they to backtrack. They will destroy you if you pretty let much them go back do to anything. where Shelby was. Yeah, yeah th pretty much. that's where we have to go. So if you're Maybe backtracking through this casually, you might not know where where to head unless if you skipped all the events as well. I will say this is also a good time for donations. Yes, yes, yes. Because we are just backtracking. But it's like we have one group of. Oh wait, no, more. no. The, the the best battle theme according to Tide is coming up. Uh, I thought you did like this battle. Theme. I don't. No, I'm no saying one it's likes according this to you. Theme. Yeah, <laughs> and according to this me, it's great. It's horrible. It's great. How it's can you awful. not like it? It's so bad. How can you not like it? It's almost as bad as John Cena's <laughs> theme music. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy. <laughs> this guy. I'm just saying, like, I have to. I just tell. Call it like it is, dude. It's call it like it is. Tide. All right, here we go. All Look, right. Just listen. Shh, shh. Yeah. Tide, you were literally the only person on Feel Earth who liked sensation. this music, dude. Even Feel the people the who made this music are like, we shouldn't have made this. The lyrics are what the same we... as... I say, hey, hey! Fun fact, the s lyrics for this song are the same as the dormitory theme in Persona 3. Sim Shin Mikami tends to Persona 3. And Not oh. neat. Oh, that's bad. But yeah, I knew it was going to happen. My Sentai attack war. Don't hurt nobody! Yeah! And that wasn't even from b wake himself, was it? No, it was no. from the... Yeah. From random guys. Random dude. Yeah. All right. After that theme music, we do have <laughs> one donation we could uh, read off here. Yep. Go ahead. It is fifty dollars from Gunarm Dean. It says, "I ether everyone on the couch and watching the event. I love a good pun, but sadly there isn't a favorite thing option for the upcoming Mother Run. So I'll unleash a PK pun alpha to get everyone warmed up." Lloyd walked up to Teddy after a show and said that was a pretty good Geiga just had there at the club. I'm feeling really peepy peep pipe after hearing your song. I want a sword on a set of cool shades like you. Ted rep Teddy replied, Thanks, kid, but I'm thinking of changing my name to Sega. After all, I do things that Nintendo don't. Uh <laughs> Sophia, good about the rest of Star Star Ocean Three. You're doing so, great yeah. so far. So. Oh yeah, yeah we. Uh, I think we got Sophia back. Yeah, right? we do. Yeah. Yeah. Sophia yeah. finally this returns character. on on Jeff, this too. Jeff is back. Jeff, Jeff is back. better. <laughs> so I, I do think that you take the prize of stuffing the most puns into <laughs> one donation yeah. comment yeah, for now. Yeah, I think that wins for now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do get to hear this amazing theme music. Oh, this I, is I this is probably the, the best track in yeah. the game. Yeah. So Jeff Estita is back at the party, and here we do take Pepita. Do we actually name her at all? No, because no. we don't take her. Yeah, she yeah, joins but she is the party right. here. Plus, but like, you we can't have... name her at the beginning either. Uh, do we have anything for uh, Mirage and Audrey later? No, or we don't we really do use not. them either. Because they don't really yeah. show up in cutscenes after. That's true. Yeah. Like, Audrey doesn't show up in cutscenes at all, so it's like... Because I wanted to choose people that you'd like see. Oh, that makes sense. Cutscenes, yeah. so it's like, oh yeah, there's my name. <laughs> and right. we base, there's gonna be a fight coming up that this just can be dangerous. It but can, yeah. but I mean, but since you'll probably win before. Oh, you this is just battle theme. Also, also a really good, good battle theme. Yeah. I don't know, man. Better dance kind of wins. Yeah. Oh, he's going for some huge. Yeah. Yo, oh, nice but nice. Oh, yeah, look yeah, at the yeah. damage. Rip. Yeah, all that yeah. damage. And scatter beam is really fast too to chain into. Yeah. Which means they go down. Hey, really. she gained 13 levels. You might be yeah. able to use her now. 
not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> this no. round, we definitely no. will no. use Sophia for something. Yeah. But are we actually going to use her? Or? Uh, Sophia, yes. Yes, okay, yeah. we do use her. I just removed her from oh, the party for, yes, for now, yes, for so I can run from the battle if I yes, need to. Yes, because, because if Sophia being there, at being a lower level, she pretty much uh, is a hindrance if we, want, if we uh, run into a random here. Yeah, running away factors in your average level to the enemy's uh, level, so if Sophia's in the party, she's going to bring the average down. And then she'll die, too. Yep. Yeah. And you also we don't really want to fight these, ooh, these run, guys, yeah. Really. You also notice that we picked, uh, or rather, the Mado no Irisa, uh, which have we got from it? the NPC. It is set. Yeah, yeah it's, it's on set it's on Maria. Maria. Okay. Uh, and that helps increase escape speed, so that is equipped pretty much the entire time as well. Okay, yep. Oh yeah, we find out that Sophia is also a uh, special child. So well. the free special, I mean, special child. Special child. Mm, Jeff. Yeah, because uh, I believe the so term is genetically manipulated. The genetically modified. The, the game yes. talks about this. Yes. Yeah. Symbol. Yeah, so genetics. Fate, fate, Maria, and Sophia are or rather Booper. Have, uh, yeah, Booper, Booper Jeff, have special and powers. Trice. Trice yeah. have uh, some some. Symbolo symbology embedded into them. Yeah. That yeah, special yeah. powers is what it is. So fate's destruction, uh, I think. Uh, Jennifer's dis destruction. One Jeff of them's alteration, creation, and then the other one's creation. creation. And uh, alterations, the other one. Tri Trice is alteration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trice alteration. Which makes sense, because Trice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Trice. And yeah, these powers are going to be used to get to. Uh, get to the next plot points. Pretty much plot powers to to see the creator much. supposedly. Yeah. Yep. Uh, through the time gate from. So yeah. do not take Pepita with us. Yeah. Although, slow you down. We don't yeah. need a eighth party member. I She'll have not seen down. the scene where you choose not to take Pepita. I imagine it'd be pretty sad. Uh, pretty much what happens is uh, what was it um. He just tells uh, her. I yeah, think face yeah. like you gotta you. go. You gotta go. You know, stay with your yeah, with your family. You she know? says something like, "Oh, the people of Moonbase need like uh, some form of like entertainment so they can cheer themselves up as well." And like hmm. he convinced Peter to stay, pretty much. Okay, it's not sad as I thought there. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like tell her off or guy. anything. Fate's eternal good guy. Yeah, he's that's pretty much like his defining plot point in, since the beginning of the game. It's like, oh, he's a good guy, yeah, you know. Information, escape. He's okay. salty. Yeah, salty because goes. the next few battles are going to be yeah. really, really difficult. And we need clone generators on. I would and say they're really on John difficult. John Cena and, but, and uh, Jeff. But they're, it, but they're very obnoxious. Uh, you can die to them if, it, uh, if they're not giving you the time of day. It can be hard to recover is the yes, thing. Yes, that yeah. too. Yeah, this fight coming up is pretty high chance of dying. Yeah, so. it's, it's pretty obnoxious. And clone generators are there just, to, just for... Uh, John Cena and Jeff to tank more hits. Yeah, they're, yeah, they, they're uh, auto life items. They'll break on use, and but they, they'll restore your and, HP and energy. And they don't have any... Uh, the, the problem with them is that they don't have any uh, cooldown to them, so if like they die... Yeah. Like, it'll just use it right right yeah. away. Spot, they, and like if I you can take another hit, both, that, yeah. Yeah, they can use the clone generators right away. That could be a problem for sure. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we will be buying more clone generators yep. later on. Yeah, uh, pr pretty much after this. Cause yeah, because the shop's right there. Yeah. All the life accessories are pretty OP. Yeah, it's shout outs to the uh, Japanese runner that I was mentioning earlier. He's the one who uh, yeah. used them first, and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Yo. I like it. I'm going to totally steal it. Yo, Nero Takaneko developed the uh, Shadow Heart strat. <laughs> Which Where, one? Uh, the lady one with the replacement man. It's the oh, same thing. Dang. Auto life. Uh, auto life. Auto life is really, really good. Apparently. Yeah, so <laughs> Who would have thought? Don't neglect the auto life items. What, Who would have thought? Especially any, in speed running routing. Speed, even in casual, yeah, casual, casual yeah. game, it's really nice. Like unless you're going for like a speed kill or something, you know. Go so, all ham basically. So here we take the shuttle, aptly named Caldas from. Uh, so two, all the Star Wars games will have Caldas at least once. And here we are in a staple of Star Ocean series, Planet Sticks. Mm -hmm. Planet Sticks has a really good theme in this game. So the, the, the plot of this game essentially is that uh, Fate is, well, Blooper is a, like I said, genetically engineered human to have symbology like in his DNA that gives him superpowers. Uh, he is essentially a cheat code yeah. in the game to take down the creator of the game. And we see that with uh, Child Maria, the cutscene that we skipped, mm -hmm. that she used. She found out that she's uh, symbol symbolically genetically modified. 
because she used that to destroy a ship on her own or something. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. Like well, not really child Maria. It's more like teenage Maria. Yeah, but teenage yeah. Maria. Close, yeah. Enough. Close enough. And it this all stems from symbological research done in Star Ocean Five. Yeah, and yeah Star Ocean yeah. Five like kind of expounds on like, oh, where did this yeah, come from? Yeah, it's like the yeah. origin of that story. Funnily enough, uh, Cliff or sorry, uh, John Cena gives away his position as captain of Quark after seeing uh, Trius destroy a ship. Yeah. Uh, that's the event that caused him to resign as uh, the leader of Quark. So John Cena recognizing uh, <laughs> when he's outmatched. <coughs> Excuse me. There are a lot of uh, intricate plot points and interactions with the characters, but for overall intents and purposes, essentially the universe this game takes place in is a video game. Yeah, and, uh, that's, yeah. We that's were the crux of the events that you skip here. Yeah. It's the Matrix, man. We're and all we were, inside the Matrix. Uh, the characters, the and three characters you were... Tri 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 security. <laughs> Essentially, sorry, security. Uh, this Ow. is the actual security they oh, have at their building. Uh, if you around. go there uh, un unrequested, they will uh, yeah. shoot laser beams at you. Bad. And it's not, yeah, getting changed. Ooh, it's that's, that's a bad crit. Uh, oh, Trice is down. Right. Try is taken down by Try his security. This game, oh, by the you way, see this it? part. This is what we're, we're talking about with uh. Mm. Yeah, nice okay, timing but on that. Nice thing yeah. about items, as I said, it's instant use. Like it instantly comes out. So this battle on higher difficulties was just absolutely. Kill There's you. magnetic field. Uh, yeah. cause this is on like standard difficulty. On higher difficulties, those guys would just like one chain people to death. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, you. But the idea is that you have proper equipment at least. Yeah. So having a cliff with um, not only clone generators, but with the damage gone, which is really useful because those guys do have somewhat low HP. Yeah. So he can one shot them if, uh, you know, Maria gets, uh, you know, basically wailed on by those guys. And like we talked about earlier, the modifiers, you can see that like, no, a lot of fate, or a lot of John Cena's okay. modifiers have 1.5 damage. And magnetic field, you just put on Maria as a 2.0 modifier. Yeah, um, we equip it right away once you get it because it's going to be very, very useful for the upcoming fight and the, pretty much the rest of the game. Welcome to done that 4D later. space. Welcome to the Matrix. Yep. This is uh, the real world in this game, by the way. Yeah. This is apparently the future of game development where game developers have uh, infinite absolute money. Authority. Yeah. <laughs> infinite money and absolute authority over yeah. all of society. It's yeah. true, though. I mean, in the story, what happens is uh, apparently the society is these people. They either play the game or, like, they sit around and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. only the rich and powerful are allowed to work. Yeah, so uh, Triace, Triace literally controlling the world at this point. Yeah, it's, it's a really – it's an interesting uh, concept, but it it is very clumsily done. Because, like we talked about, disc one of this game has a lot more development um, and a lot more depth, whereas disc two is pretty short. So here we buy uh, physical enhancers, analeptics, which is a multi-target uh, fresh sage. We refresh the fresh sage sock and sock up with clone generators. Yeah, he's just buying items he needs to finish the rest of the game. That's yep. pretty much the last shop that you do. Yeah, we only yeah. shop like twice in the entire game. Yeah, run, basically. there's a there's an option you can talk to the pink bunny when you're returning to um, Elocor later to restock again. Uh, but typically, if you're doing everything right, like you won't use them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done it because I'm bad at this game, so. You can also buy uh, some neat weapons yeah. for your other characters. They're pretty strong weapons. They're useful for, like, again, if you need to uh, do backups where you're resynthing things because your item creation session went bad and you needed more money. But, I mean, in general, like, if everything's going well, you won't really talk to them. So, yeah, so this is 4D space, and everything that we've been to before 4D space is called the Eternal Sphere, which is pretty much the video game that these guys are from. And also yep. the weapon. And the from weapon from Star Wars 2. Star Wars 2. Yeah. Yep, and Maria's just reprogramming their uh, data. Tries is reprogramming their data. Yeah. <laughs> They're reprogramming their data and DNA into the game so they can become administrators. Yeah, become GMs, dude. Yeah, GMs. And it allows them to go GM wherever they power. want and things like that. So We just pretty much take the first place we uh, choose, which is the first planet we went to, and just go back yeah. because all you the plot points are at 4D space. Yep. Yeah, you just have to go back to any planet, so the first choice is going to be your fastest. Yeah, because you can go back and finish up side quests and things like that that yep. are available. Yeah, the ones that are, uh, yeah, pretty much start to be available as well as in uh, higher the inventors that are available as well. For this there's, too. Yeah, there's like a bonus area which you technically can access in this one in the Ruins of Lozo. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 
like a secret back area in the rooms and bozo that you can access at this point. And then there's that underground that's post game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's really... going to be returning there anyways. We've a lot. Yeah, there's not a ton left as far as what happens. Yeah. Um, we pretty much yeah, just they... do the last little bit of cleanup and then we fight the final bosses. Yep. Yeah, I would say before. But most there. of it is pretty much fi fighting the up higher ups of Tri Ace. Yeah, yeah. pretty no, much. We're, yeah. we're fighting Spear, Comp uh, Spear Square Company. Enix. Square <laughs> Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. <laughs> yeah, they call it Spear Company in this game. But, but it's, it's really awesome. Square Enix. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. I, I like to believe that there is a security guard called Zazer, and then there's actually two uh, bodyguards called Yozobub yeah. and. Uh, so here we go to Sphe uh, Sphere yeah, Company, yeah. and we're going to have two fights coming up. And then uh, we're going to deal with Square Enix security. Yeah. Well, great. this is pretty much it. Yeah. These guys are a little stronger than the no, man, security uh, fight. These are the these are the security guards, and then you have like the managers and like the you know higher ups, executives up there. But these guys are a little stronger than the first counterparts. They have more HP. They don't go down one magnetic field. You need like more. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, and it's the bad music again. Yeah, no, it's it the is good that. music. <laughs> it is the good music. I can't believe you don't like it. Yeah. And yep. as you can see, the damage from magnetic field is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. There's a machinery materials, but we don't need it anymore. Yeah, we don't do any more item creation, <laughs> yeah. thankfully. Thank and God. here is a Zazer, who only deals MP damage, by yep. the way. He is the only boss that focuses on MP damage. So yeah, Cliff will pretty much die to him. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 13. Oh, there's, there's some HP, I guess. But very good fight. And again, you can see that just the massive damage that Murray is putting out because of that ability. Of charge and charge chaining into magnetic field. Yeah, you yeah, thought so I was gonna do way. scatter beam, huh? He uses uh, <laughs> charge because charge uh, will dash forward. So whenever he uses the magnetic field, yeah, getting field, getting into position uh, with magnetic Maria, field, Maria will actually will dash backstep. back. Uh, so over time, you know, she's going to be too far away. And again, yeah. you need that minimum distance to launch the battle skill. So charge just repositions you very nicely. Yeah, otherwise you'll be using your long major reminder, uh, long range major reminder skills. I think you'll still be in range, but Maria will have to run. And yeah, oh my god, yeah. Maria running. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, my Maria god. Running in yeah. 2017. It's really weird because when you think about it, well, I don't understand why they have security here because they shouldn't be worried about anything. They really shouldn't. Yeah. Yes, but they do. They oh, have tanks. spider robots. They have spider tanks. It's great. Yeah, they These guys literally have all this military technology and yeah. they're a game developing company. I like yeah. to believe this is actually Square Enix. I like to, <laughs> I like to think, <laughs> like you go inside and you see spider bots. Yeah, and, and like security guards, guards like that like then, juggle uh, you. Centaur robots too. Yeah, exactly. Robots. And it's yeah. really weird because you, you think about it, it's like this is what tri thinks of Square Enix, that they're a military industrial complex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, So we pretty much have to navigate through uh, this maze of Sphere 211, which has 211 floors, but in a normal game we only access the uh, first 100 floor, access like First six. 100 and it's like the first five uh, and then last the top floor. Four. Yeah. yeah. So this would be a good time for yeah, donations because be. we're say. just we're, we're just, running around. we're just running through the dungeon right now. Yep. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> he does not want to run to spider bots. Spider bots are really scary. Yeah, they're really hard. Spider bots make me nervous, dude. Yep. They make you baby rage. Not baby rage, it just made me nervous because they can kill you because they deal pure MP damage. Yeah, and I they know. have a huge hitbox. They make me baby rage. <laughs> At least they're slow <laughs> in moving. They make yeah. me baby yeah, they're rage. Yeah, they're slow, but they're long range. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know about that one. I don't want to get sniped here. Learning this part, by the way, can be kind of confusing. It there's is so confusing, many corridors yeah. that look exactly the same. I was learning this a few days into the event. Yeah, and Arthur and I were done. going over this, and it took us, like I think, close to 30, 40 minutes to figure out like, what the layout was. Did I not? Oops. I had forgotten something earlier, which was to patent the bombs. Oh, okay. But it's okay. It's fine. It's I didn't really have to use them. So. It won't really kill you, I think. Yeah. It's a nice to have thing. Yeah. yeah. Really just add it safety. Because I was like, oh, for the fans, you know, here's Welch. Because you, you have to see Welch to, you know. There's a lot of dialogue that it. goes on, too. There is. Yeah. You have to watch the slot machine tell you what the item quality is, and you're like, I just want to patent the thing. Now you can skip through it. Can you? Yeah, you, you can. You uh, press circle. Okay. Interesting. Mass circle. I thought you had to uh, watch it. I'm just no. like, oh my god. All right. We're coming up to this. another boss here. There's going to be two enemies. And ideally, we we'll want to chain both of them. Yeah, let's get pitted reversed to them as we do some butthead. It's pretty accurate, to be honest. They, they, they will start with me. It's a uh, kinky Burial whip guy and, and crazy missile guy. Yeah. 
Crazy Missile Guy's the dangerous one, by the way. Yeah. He's, uh, he is a bulb. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Yo, look at all those misses. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. That's, that's pretty unlucky. I also like how um, Helio's just ramming straight into the guard. What? Oh, Fury. Nice uh, hitbox there. Yeah. Yeah, this is a rough fight. It wow. is, yeah, because you have two people. And uh, as I you mean, can see... In a sense, they're kind of like a Vesper or Dekus in this Sarge 2. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the equivalent. Yeah. Vesper and Dekus and Stars 2, for anybody who don't know, are a pair of incredibly Ooh. difficult uh, bosses. You can see uh, Magneta feel slow down B is above there, which allowed Maria to chain another charge into him, which is useful. I need a... Uh, you need a physical hit. Yeah, get pretty CXP. Soon. There we go. Yeah, so once you take down the Missile Guy, uh, this fight's pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, missile Guy's the really dangerous one. Although, um, Virio can be very annoying because he uses his major attack a lot. It can be kind of hard to chain him because he can often hit you in the mid, uh, mid combo. And he's just doing a last set of menus for John Cena. So yep. those are the that's going to be the final yeah. sets. Those are the oh. fi that's the final set John Cena will have on him. Yep. And I remove Sophia again for safety. Like it, in a PB attempt, I, I wouldn't even bother doing that. Because I shouldn't be getting, you know, running into enemies, but so, you know that's not always the case. Because some of these enemies are. Well, she's also for of the party. Uh, yeah, but very, for this part, because we want to escape from encounters, even we get into the. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's why uh, I've removed Sophia here. And I don't put on the clone generators quite yet. Quite yet, yeah. Although it, for an extra safety measure, you could do that. So yeah, that would be for Cliff. Though. Yeah. Oh, oh these we're just, guys are very uh, dangerous, actually. Uh, Trice this is gonna be security company. Nice, uh, nice I would say if there's any donations, yeah. this is a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Since while we you're didn't really, we didn't really get to go over them. Yep. So we do not have any donations at this moment in time, but we could just mention that we are raising money for NAMI, and NAMI stands for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. They are a charity that works tirelessly towards cracking the code of mental illness through various means, such as education, leadership, and increasing the availability of care. Please join RPG Limit Break in supporting such a worthy cause with your, with your generosity. All right. One thing uh, I forgot to mention, or rather we forgot to mention, is that when uh, either is controlling Fate, uh, anytime he has to make a 90 turn, Fate actually loses momentum. So you really mm -hmm. want to make sure that he's running in a straight line, or you're going to lose speed. Not like this, dude. Yo, that spider Ooh. bot is just like, no, man. Oh, no. You're not getting on the elevator. Yeah. I want to go on the elevator. <laughs> the spider only, bot is The uh, only security guard in no. the entire place It's like, no, no, dude. Castle Crush update. Ride your elevator update. Ride your <laughs> elevator. <laughs> Do you still get the prompt at the very top if you uh, don't have Sophia in the party, actually? Yes. Mm. You do still get it? Okay. It's weird, but whatever. Yeah. So you go it to the asks top you if you want to rearrange your party, that's why. Yeah. You can rearrange it to place Maria mm. in the second slot. Mm, it's not really... It depends on the formation you have set. Formation which you're going to set right now. Line. That's what I use. Uh, I know uh, DDR likes to use another one. Yeah, guard is pretty good because Sophia is at the back. Yeah. I do that one later. So he does use the recovery here. There are three bosses that are coming up. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, they're not too terrible. Um, they can kill me though. They yeah, can't they kill, can him, yes. kill you. Like everything can kill me. Like that's the thing. You're glass cannon at this point. Oh yeah, another thing that magnetic field can do is inflict paralysis. It and can. Yeah, yeah. and it's pretty on the second rare, guy, though. you can't paralyze him. It's pretty fun seeing him just being stunned there. Stunned you do like want that. to use different uh, abilities on Depen them. Yeah. Uh, the second one, because he'll be really big, you want to use scatter beams. Yeah. For Normally the other two, you would not be using magnetic field on him. For the other two, you're gonna be using um, charge into magnetic fields. The yep. main uh, bread. You could get there. your bonus gauge actually for triple EXP here. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that's not triple E, though, unfortunately. Okay, we don't yeah. really need it. It's nice to have, though. He was yeah. waiting for the uh, guard to drop, by the way, if you're wondering why he stopped a little bit there, because yeah. uh, he needs to start with charge, and again, charge is a minor, so it's going to get uh, stopped by the guard if the enemy's not attacking. Yeah, like you notice the purple aura was interrupted. Uh, aura attack wow. was interrupted there. Went for oh. Maria. 
Yo, Maria is an easier kill, apparently. Dark Spear. That has a chance of instant killing. Yeah. But since it has this long animation time, we don't let it go off. Uh, Dark Spear is kind of something I want to see, though. Yeah, because it's like stuck in place. Yep. Yeah. yeah that's a really good stuck thing about it. Stuck in place, and his fury is going to be below 100. Yep. So. Here we have uh, Cliff on auto because he has a very good chance of using Fist of Fury. Oh, but he's been interrupted a lot. But it should be fine, yeah. Really very good nice. fight. Yeah, good very fight. Nice. All right, now we have to make our way back out. Um, fortunately, when you're making a way back, back out of it's sticks... It's different on yeah, the first zone because the, you have to zigzag your way back. The formation is different because, like, Luther, like, who's the administrator or whatever of uh, the Eternal Sphere, uh, basically installs some destruction programs. To, antivirus. Yeah, anti anti <laughs> antivirus. Norton antivirus. Thank you. Norton. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he installed so Norton in Smantech or something. That ridiculous. basically causes the you geography. You thought Norton was over with in, in the beginning <laughs> yeah, we, of the game. He juggled, he's back. but he's back. He's, he's back, back in post-game. Oh, oh, so, yeah. so it causes the geography or landscape of this area to change. So the, um, the layout is completely different and the monsters are all different as well. Yeah, all the monsters have now changed to, like, Really yeah. hard, so really he's, annoying. He's going to enemies. wait until like the second enemy before dropping the jewel. And again, this is one of those parts where oh. if you don't have the oh. jewel of refuge, like there's no way you can avoid enemies. Oh, like they're just they cover like 90% of the path you need to go. That's fine. But Sophia's in the party too. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, Made it for <laughs> turn around and ran towards the enemy. <laughs> I yeah. see ya. <laughs> All right, now we should be using the jewel refuge. Just and dash past them. Yeah. Yep. Uh, skill set. Yeah, I think uh, it's attack just, on Cliff now. He's just pumping up uh, his other stats. So if you're wondering what the attack and defense parameters do, uh, they influence the AI. Um, so defense makes them more likely to be uh, they'll take on a more survival instinct. So when they're low on HP and MP, they'll be more defensive. Uh, whereas attack increases Oops. their aggressiveness. And uh, leveling up attack basically increases the probability of getting chain combos and the um, AI basically using your battle skills smartly uh, for whatever that's worth. Um, since we do put Cliff on auto a couple of times, it helps nice. set his uh, AI to, um, or sorry, it helps to level up the attack parameter a little bit. And you can see here, this is what I was talking about, like the enemies just cover like 90% of the screen. Like if you didn't have the Jewel of Refuge, this area from just getting- You would, you would lose a lot of time. Yeah, it yeah. costs like anywhere, I think somewhere around like four minutes. Yeah. It's like ridiculous. So you have so, to run from everything. Yeah, you have Sophia in the party too. It's a little better on Fate because the enemies, you're a little more leveled, oh. but you're, it still takes a while because you're running into so many encounters with mm -hmm. the jewel. And uh, the jewel has a timer, by the way, so it's not like you it's can just. It's a very short amount Yeah, of time. it's not you can just use it and then just all the enemies stop forever. Exactly. They'll, yeah. they'll start running after like 30 seconds. So here we saw the first instance of Happy Squid. Shout out to Happy Squid. Happy Squid. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's, he'll get a red variation later. Happy yeah, squid. Red Happy Squid. Yeah. Happy Squid. Hoppy squid. Hoppy squid. squid. Oh goodness, no. Sounds awful. I want to avoid those two sitting over there. Because you'll like, activate a cutscene. Yeah. Uh, cut cut and you cannot skip that. And Maria hates you yep. after you. Uh, because uh, she dislikes gossip. Yeah, she dislikes gossip. All right. You do have, have to talk, talk to these, these guys in again. Particular. Yeah, it's like weird random NPCs you have to talk to. <laughs> like I don't know these people. Why do I have to talk to them? <laughs> Pretty much. I, I, you talk to Cliff. I mean, John Cena, but that's it. Yeah. You always talk I don't, to John Cena. I don't talk know how John. you're going to talk to him when you can't see him. <laughs> always going to talk to John Cena. Yeah, talking to John Cena, then we have to talk to Mirage. Mirage yeah. yeah. Then we can go back to Elicor. Yep. And uh, that's pretty much the final, uh, leading to the final sections of the game. We mentioned Again, that we're going to be returning to Shine Rock Dawn. That's where we will be going because we have a key, there's a key item there that's going to be allowing us to go to the final area. Yep. And again, um, this too is much shorter than this one. Oh, the yeah. majority of the stuff happens on this one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's a it's pretty story heavy. Um, I mentioned that Japanese speedrunner before, and uh, he did a uh, all cutscenes run of this game, and <laughs> it ended up adding like 12 hour extra hours. It was like 13 hours or something. It ended up being like 16, I believe. Pretty great. Yeah, and that's just because of cutscenes. Yeah. For Star Wars, the last hope it's shorter too. The cutscenes overall. Jeez. Even though there's like a 35 minute cutscene. And, the ending. and the ending. And the ending. Don't control, forget the ending, dude. Yeah, where a controller turns off if you just leave it alone. 
and yeah, you can see we're kiting the enemies. All the enemies have changed. Uh, this part in particular, for whatever reason, also lags really yeah, badly. Yeah, so there's lag reduction. You can see, <laughs> there's the this. lag. lag so, yeah. oh, it's like I'm playing Super Mario 64, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't uh, look at him, don't look at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fat Lord Guard became the Mario. Came the Mario. Blue Mario. <laughs> Blue Mario. Yo, uh, uh, Fate has those uh, sneakers, right? He jumps super yeah, high. He, he is totally he, Mario. He's a, according to the lore, he's a basketball player in college. Yeah, he also has the aerial where he jumps up yeah, like 50 feet in the air. His aerial, like, it Dunk doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have infinite vertical range like magnetic field, but he jumps really he high. He jumps really high. high. It's pretty great. Like on, not this battle, but three, bo three boss battles afterwards, there's an enemy that can fly really high up in the air. Yep. And on if you use Aerial, you aerial so yeah, he spanks him down. Jump straight up and slash him. But unfortunately, we will not be able to see that. Yeah, yeah. that's that's literally like the the funny the only like major variation from like sidekicks from uh, Fate Route. Yeah, it's because of how high the uh, enemy can fly up. In the I don't air. know if you're like me. You said blade enchantments. <laughs> blade yeah. enchantments are pretty great. You could. You could. Yeah. I'm not a fan though. You're not a fan. Not yeah. a fan of blade enchantments. Because you have that wind up. Do you up. even get ice blade? Uh, you you do. Okay. Yeah, you get ice blade. Because that's like I think that's the next tier. And yeah, there's pretty much sword, that's, which is post-game, That's the I best think. one before uh, Divine Blade, I Yeah, believe. Divine Blade, that's what it's called. Which is what you get in a post-game. Yep. I believe it's from the maze? I think uh, so. Something like maze that. Tribulations. Yeah, I think you're right. Although, you get Ethereal Blast, I think, in... Um, Max Shockwave is in Sierra 211. Yep. Yeah. Max Shockwave. I believe Max it's wave. Max Saltwave. <laughs> I ain't getting too strong. All right, much. there's Red <laughs> Happy Squid. <laughs> and the shortcut we took to exit the sealed cavern earlier, we can just use to get back to the Shrine of Kadan. Yep. So that saves uh, having to go through those uh, up and down uh, crushers. Oh, there's Happy Squid again. But Happy there's a thing that's just a different. Uh, something different this time. We have to fight uh, a few eyes, eyeballs. Yeah, this is. These guys are dark eye. Yeah. A bit prominent in Star Ocean uh, decorating the tables this in the post uh, oh. Uh, oh, Cathedral of Oblivion or something like called. Yeah, these guys are there. Straight for the ma major. Yeah, no, nah, that was a mistake. If they didn't register my thing. Oh, I see. But yeah, ooh. Ooh, nice petrify. That's petrify, yeah. Does she have a. Uh, mm, she doesn't have power up yet. Not power up, uh. Thunder Flare? No. Not Thunder Flare. Uh, Restoration, yeah, whatever. Cure condition. That's slower. Cure condition. That's slower. It is. Because she has to cast it. It's not All instant right. like the item. If you fight that battle with the other characters, again. I believe it's actually a little trickier with Cliff, because he doesn't really have a, an, a good anti option. You have to use Duck Duck Bomb. Yeah. yeah. If you're using Faye, you just set Aerial, and again, he just... He has like the yeah. Nikes, he just jumps straight up in the air like 50 Yeah, the feet. eye can flow up uh, high in the air when he does his, uh, I, I forgot which circle moves. It's yeah, the circle, circle moves, moves yeah. yeah. So it, it, again, they have characters of different strengths. So Maria, if she sees those, you know, Magnetic Field already has infinite vertical tolerance, but she also has a gun, so she just slaps them down. It's you ever great. fight these dark armors, uh, just Magnetic Field them because there's multiple of them. Yep. Now, yeah, now we have up. power up, so we can buff Maria. And again, you're going to see why Our Magnetic Field better. is really good here. Because you have three enemies, and this is area effect, so you just hit them, and it's pretty great. He's just restoring his HP, that's going to need to activate battle skills. Yeah, magnetic field does cost HP. Ooh, that's close. One more. Probably need to heal yourself again. Yeah, yeah definitely. Unless the charge will kill him. No, it's not that. Uh, it was out of range for magnetic field. No, no, no. Um, if you activate a charge short minor and it killed him, then it doesn't matter what his HP is. Oh, true, uh, yeah. Minor battle skills cost very little MP. Uh, yeah. HP, sorry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's really nice to have Thunderfly for that fight in particular. Cause yeah, you can stun them. them. Yeah. yeah, you can stun all three of them. Yeah, Makes them easy pickups. There's a the T20s. Cam. D20. There so there's blue D20s, yellow D20s, and white D20s, I think. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, the white yeah. ones are later. Because they're not really enemies, per se. They just no, there's, there's a couple there's the, the There's the boss we yeah. just fought. <laughs> As a regular enemy. Now uh, here's a uh, blast from the past over here. Yeah, from like two hours ago. No, oh, it's uh, Crystal Service. But now he's Crystal like Service a, cousin. That one cousin. was darker. This one's lighter. His cousin. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, except now we can't. We don't use charge. And yeah, still as annoying as before, because this guy can't be stunned. He moves triple around, XP. That's like, cool. Really fast. So. It's a really annoying part. If we can trip, keep that triple XP, it'd be nice. Please. 
And yeah. Oh no! Amazing. I just got it. <laughs> Yo! Amazing video game. Uh, that's unfortunate. Goodbye, Battle Gauge. What the heck? Yeah. All the Crystal Server are Crystal Statues. This fight looks like it's really tough with these guys, but on um, Fate Route it's even more annoying. Again, Fate uses a side kick. So time not only is yeah, it's not only this guy moving around, it's Fate also hopping around like an idiot. So like you're just warping all over the battlefield. That and sidekick doesn't hit him all the time. Yes, because yeah. sidekick's hitbox is also not you know great. So yeah, it's, it's, pretty it's, small. it's pretty bad. Oh, it's yeah. one of the more safe, though. So I guess so. Yeah, it is one of the more annoying fights in the game for sure though. So when we head back, we're going to be using a jewel refuge again, just yes, to. Yes, we got some yeah. extra ones. Yeah, that's correct. Just because these guys are really fast, fast moving. Yeah, he's starting to oh, upgrade MP on the other character. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. have to. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's just added safety, because uh, enemies do. A couple do of bosses do start hitting MP at this mm -hmm. point. And this is another eye, the evil eye this time. Evil eye. Dark reskin. Reskin of tails, dude. <laughs> you see him turning, um, switching AI, yeah, between. AI between uh, manual and <laughs> auto because sometimes he wants Cliff to help stun lock and sometimes he doesn't want Cliff to do anything. Yeah, I don't think Cliff here would help because he it's an yeah. aerial enemy. It's gonna fly up in the air. That and I think this guy does MP damage a lot too. Yeah, He's gonna yeah. well, his circle moves. So it's yeah. just like you can't, it can't really kill do much. You, so. So that's all the bosses oh, for the uh, going back to Shrine of Kadans. Uh, but we still have to go through our favorite rooms. Yep. The, return, the, of the return of the boxes. Return. So I think Sophia is going to be used now, now that you have Thunder Flare, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm so going to be microwing her. That's going to be where uh, Sophia takes. takes so uh, that's uh, Jeff's party job. Party. Yep. Yeah. To dish out the Thunder Flare. Yeah. So the, the thing thunder. is with the characters. Um, Maria is not very good at stun locking people as well, yeah. uh, so she needs the additional support from Cliff and Sophia. On Fate route, like Fate doesn't really use it. And I think on Cliff, he, you know, just charges into them. So there's two P colored Mari Sakuris on me. <laughs> two P. <laughs> two P. All right, colored. dude. I didn't know about that one. <laughs> I, don't I know. Yeah. We also saw I glowing. Saw, that's supposed to be one P. We also saw glowing silver balls. Yep. Yeah. Glowing silver balls. Glowing yeah, silver balls. There, there's yeah, a yeah, there's an enemy <laughs> like that in the post game dungeon. In, uh, Yo, oh it just yeah. Wrecks you, you have to fight. I think you have to fight them or you I don't do. You have, you have to, to fight like yeah. eight sets of them. Eight of them yeah. <laughs> you have to fight it, but um. Oh, oh no. Sam! Oh, oh. oh, they just moved out of way. Yeah, I just, I didn't you just know. assumed they would sandwich to, you, though. Yeah, yeah, that looked pretty that bad. Looked, it was so. gnarly. Looked like I was about to get owned. Yeah. You're getting Pac-Man to death. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Pretty much. Pretty much. But yeah, we have to grab a key item here. Yep. <laughs> he just walked up. Yeah. yeah, there we go. There <laughs> that, we that's go. the <laughs> position we were talking about, but yeah. it's not the most ridiculous case. Yeah. Yeah, most ridiculous one is when he's So like we grab backwards. a sacred ore because we need that to go to a particular place that's in the ruins of Mozo and use it to access, gain access to the final dungeons. Yeah, they call it an out of place artifact. Yeah. Pretty much. So basically, it's a MacGuffin. Yeah. This game likes to create really fancy terms for yeah. stuff that we it's already a space know. Game. <laughs> yeah. It's is this a space a game? game? Yeah. Uh, I. Funnily enough, we don't really spend that much time in space, sadly. <laughs> that is actually that's the pretty a, funny that's part. That's the theme in Star Wars games. Yeah, I'm you like, spend like give 50 me more space, or more please. percent of your time in a medieval world. Yeah, it's like, ooh, that's that's bad luck when I'm bad. Ooh, no, uh, uh, that's not you're too yeah, bad. you're good, you're good. All right, we're out of the box room. Yep, that's yep. the last like last of the box rooms. Last of the box rooms. See ya, boxes. See ya, yep. exactly. Two See ya, never, dude. Now would be a good time for any donations we have because, again, we're just backtracking and going to the final dungeon. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. We've got a few of them here. We have $25 from Anonymous who simply says, Great games. Great commentary. Glad that you enjoy uh, what you're seeing. We also have $5 from 13 Lightning that says, I love Star Ocean 3 and I'm excited to play it again on PS4. I'm enjoying watching this run. And as has been mentioned, I think in a few comments during uh, this run, that it was just recently announced that this game will be coming to PS4 later this month. So if you enjoy what you're seeing, maybe you could consider picking it up when it does come to PS4 if you don't have a PS2. Yeah, and uh, we do have a Trius Discord, as we mentioned earlier. Yeah. So if you're interested in getting into the scene, learning more about this game, we'll be happy to talk to you. Yep. Yep. And we'll refuge. 
to dodge the yeah. servers there and the D20s. The, yeah, D20s there. Yeah, it's about to run out though. Yo, yeah, the, the D20s are some of the though. meanest enemies in the game. Man. Yeah, they're deceptively <laughs> mean. Like they look harmless to you, but they're just gonna be rolling D1s. <laughs> like yeah, they, they just time. roll on top of you. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's funny the though. There's the D20. Yeah. It's funny to see though. All the really strong enemies in this game, like there's a really big experience imbalance in this game. Like really easy enemies give you a lot of experience, and then really hard enemies like D20s give you like no experience. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's also why like fighting randoms is never worth it in this game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, especially on this two now. Yeah, this two is kind of like, yeah. especially that Sophia's got oh, uh, red, red skill. happy squid. Uh oh. Red happy squid. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, happy that's squid. good. Yeah, we did it. Happy squid. That movement is like. Like, I, I wouldn't say it's like as tough as, say, something like Final Fantasy 13, where movement is really hard because mm -hmm. of all the enemy dodges and stuff that you have to do in that game, but it's pretty similar. I want to say, like, this game, like, really, really redefined the action RPG genre because, you know, Star Ocean 3, when it came out to the West, was a really different experience from, like, say, Star Ocean 2. I think it was even At least a different for Square, experience from yeah. like Tales, right? Symphonia had something different. I think that mm. game came out first, uh, or was it this one? Symphonia, did it have... It had overfield yeah, enemies. Yeah, it had overfield enemies and it did have overworld enemies, yeah. but like the movement wasn't as smooth in that game as it is in here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, as a reminder, this game runs at a constant 60 FPS. Yeah, when you're battle. moving when you're moving in, in battle, it's at 60 FPS. So, so it's very, very smooth. It's really nice. So we have to backtrack all the way into a report that we, to the queen that we have. We have yeah, the sacred yeah. artifact. Yeah, we now we have, we have to use it to uh, beat and some then, guy. Yeah, and we discuss our plans to go beat Luffer, pretty much. We're fighting uh, the guy who created this game. Yep. Yeah, was there really a combo system in Symphonia? I'm trying to remember. I don't think there was. Not a not a not not like one. something like this, but it, there yeah. was. But it's like it's just chaining it together. Yeah skills like i know you had ex gems that let you do that too yeah you can yeah that's what i remember about the game as well yeah it's been a while but i thought star ocean was just a reskin of tales <laughs> <laughs> we're never gonna get we'll get old of that comment yeah, yeah that's a pretty good one but uh, i will say about the star ocean game at least in speedrun wise they they tend to be a lot shorter than tales the games. tales <laughs> tales game speedruns Tales community is well is represented here, even though it's not in the event itself. I've seen a few people uh, practice a bit of Symphonia as well, mm -hmm. so it's not like we're not here. The Zillia runners in 2015 are also here. Yeah. yeah. So shout outs to uh, PX, uh, uh, Ghoul, and a couple of them mm -hmm. who win that game. Mm -hmm. Well, you're backtracking. We do have one more yep. donation. Yep. We go can ahead. Read. Yep. Uh, uh, Ten dollars from anonymous that says every time I see the planet sticks, all I see is a planet of '70s arena rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is pretty close. I'll it's pretty bet. close. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty weird. <laughs> um, and that uh, donation was going to that glitch fest. So, if you remember, uh, you could donate to different naming process, uh, naming different characters in different games, especially the mother uh, run that is coming up directly after this uh, star ocean run but also in the secret of mana run that is coming up after that mother run there will be a there is a donation incentive for a post run glitch fest that you can donate for that we are still uh, we're still lacking a little bit of money there i'm sure that uh, all of you out there can make it happen all right I time to dodge some enemies. Yeah. Yep. Oh, time to dodge the uh, no scope snake. No scope snake. The snake that camouflages in that I never avoid. Yeah. Yeah, see yeah there's right there. Yeah. yeah he can right. he can move like anywhere. Like there's he has like guy. no. Uh, no. Uh, consistent pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Like he, he like he could just move anywhere. Oh yeah, upcoming as a boss yeah. is Chimera. Chimera has a tail that can paralyze you. You want to set auto on Cliff here so you can uh, distract him while Maria takes care of the damage. And you, is it worth it to Thunder Flare here? Yeah. 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 Thunder Flare is possible. It's pretty great because um, he has a charging flying attack. And uh, whenever enemies are actually on top of a character's head oh. in this game for whatever reason. <laughs> <Cliff>. Nice! <laughs> That's great. Leveling up that is great. I like that one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a perfect send off to John Cena. Yep. 
Oh, yeah, we, we got a, a guy named Andre. Yeah, he's, Andre. Got a, he's a new Hugh bot. Yeah, because he, he comes at level, level 30. So he has a lot of MP. Father of Claire. It's the Father of Claire, and he has no story significance whatsoever. <laughs> yep, yeah. they just added him for the director's cut. Yeah, and the worst part is that he's literally the weakest character. Here. And he's symbology based too. Yes, and which Sophia does better. So it's like, I mean, uh, Jeff does better. <laughs> yeah. Andre is basically Jeff a is melee Steve. mage. Yeah, he's supposedly like a magic swordsman of sorts, but the way that his skills work, like they have low multipliers. Just like doesn't pretty, smash pretty much well. like you play Adre if you want a challenge from the game. He's also yeah. really slow. Yeah, like he, he is, is slow. the next slowest character after Maria. <laughs> And he's melee, like, oh my god. There's a Chimera we just fought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah here he is again. Yeah, the bosses, when you defeat a boss in this game, they tend to put them as random, regular enemies. Yeah. That tends to be kind of a theme in Star Ocean as well. I was going to say before, my train of thought got cut off. Um, so Chimera does have, like, a disleaping flying attack. And occasionally, like, he will hop over your character's heads. If you get an enemy stuck on top of a character's head, uh, they will remain there, like, paralyzed and you could just wail on them, it's pretty great. Yeah, that's actually what you do in a Freya for, percent yeah. run. You leave them on Fate's head. <laughs> yeah. You just go, go to, yeah, go to town, go to town like And then Freya doesn't minutes. move because uh, she's paralyzed on Fate's head. Yeah. You just, you just go to town. It's pretty funny. Or you can be TAS level and do the uh, five minute strat. Oh, just gosh. micro like crazy, it's pretty great. Yeah, micro between Maria and Fate. Fate, <laughs> so here's empty Stone psychic Ball. cancels. <laughs> Stone Goal's pretty much the same strat, it's gotta be. Yeah. Although, when he does have a uh, full fury, his AA is uh, reflect damage. It's kind of bad. Any time happens. you're fighting a really large enemy, you're gonna be seeing Scatterbeam. Scatterbeam, because Scatterbeam's uh, hits will yeah. just hit it just because they're so big. Yeah, and if there's multiple enemies or a really uh, like a single target enemy, then you're gonna be seeing that kind of deal. Field. Yeah. That's typically how these strats are gonna work late game. Uh, Oh, Matty, you use all your healing. No, that's a uh, no. Yeah, I was like, I was yeah, confused. Maddie. I mean, Matty, excuse me. <laughs> that's how we're in one of the coolest dungeons, in my opinion. All right, here's uh, the firewall. If you use a jewel of refuge on it, there's going to be a specific uh, thing that won't move, and you need those things to move, the D20s. The D20s are different in that if you collide into them, you just void out. Nice. Shadows to Pitted. Shadows to Pitted. <laughs> And shoutouts to try ace hitboxes. Yeah, Pitted discovered <laughs> that if you used the uh, Let's Get Pitted, uh, if you, you, wow, you look at use, that damage. If yeah, you use the Jewel of Refuge, then yeah, the D20s count as on field enemies, so they will freeze. And as Ithler was saying, you need the enemies to move here. He was like, Oh, I have all these extra Jewel of Refuges. I'll just use one here. <laughs> and then unknowingly, was like, Oh, I guess I can't. <laughs> yeah. So wait for the Jewel of Refuge. He got on. Yeah. That's pretty funny. I remember that. Uh, you can heal. Yeah. No? All right. Before Battlecopter, Be which is the Before next Battlecopter, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, like, these D20s are the ones that we're talking about. We yeah. don't want to collide into them. And the movement he does is very specific, and he has to move as fast as possible yeah, there's a certain to get part the optimal in, movement. There's a certain part in this uh, dungeon where if you don't time it correctly, you essentially have to wait for like 20, Yeah, you have to wait seconds. for the cycles, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very... It's costly, basically. Like, out of all the dungeons, this is probably the... Um, I went on here. Anyway. It's the um, most interesting one for sure. Yeah, it's the yeah. most technical in terms of movement. Definitely, definitely. And there's also very annoying enemies to dodge too, as you saw earlier. Yeah, some with the musketeer guys. The musketeer guys. There's eyeballs, and uh, yeah, eyeballs they also hit really yet. hard. We saw yeah. again. This is why you don't fight. Robots, you yeah. do not want to run into any mechanical enemies in this game. They will just wreck your face, yeah. like really badly. <laughs> yeah, they just they have the ability to just infinitely stun lock you. It's really bad. Mm -hmm. So oh, this the is the first eyeball room, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a way to specifically uh, lure him. Yeah, you have to bait them out. Yeah. Yeah, it's like unless I get lucky, basically. Yeah. If you try to run to the side. Musketeer is in a bad spot. Yeah. This is so, so I have to take the battle. Yeah. yeah. I think that was a good decision there. Although. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're fine. We're going to have to revive her, though. Just got a little bit of a ways to go before we finish this up. Yeah, the, the <laughs> battle theme, is, I mean, not the battle theme, the music in this, this is uh, yeah. amazing, I think. I don't know. Number uh, I still think uh, Moon Base for Dungeon I think so music too. is better. Nothing tough, Mission to Deep Space, but Mission that's Deep game. Space is classic, of course, yes. Yeah, they, they're so good that they reused it in SSL 5. 
Like the, the same remix in this game. Not even a remix. It's like the same exact song. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, it's like really. And this is the part where we're talking about. Yeah, the timing. like that D20 right tight. there. Uh, if he slow down for even just a little bit, he can't make it. I think you can like cycle. bonk for like one or two times, and you'll yeah, still make it. Yeah, has to be a very short bonk. Yeah. So you have very little room for error. And yeah, this mission to the deep space is used twice in this game. And this Wonderful. is again the same timing is tight. Again, if he uh, didn't time it correctly, the D20 will just roll, roll, roll out. Towards you. And again, there's only I one think, path, yeah. so if if you're not timed correctly, you have to run all the way back. Yeah, that's so the movement here is a little tricky. Mm -hmm. Second eyeball is in the wider area, so it's easier to dodge. Yeah. So this dungeon has a gimmick where it, uh, certain areas are gated, like a firewall. Yeah. And you have to activate these switches in order to um, kind of change the settings so that you can reopen the doors. And um, it can be quite a labyrinth the first time you come here. It mm -hmm. can be very confusing. Uh, but I think like the general rule is like you go left, you usually mm -hmm. save. Yeah, like walking, like having the right now the specific paths you uh, take in the D20 rooms, it's pretty hard. This is another one where the timing is really tight. Yeah. Uh, again, if he makes a small error, he has to wait for the next cycle. Yeah, so this guy see, yeah, right there. You don't have much time there. And we just go straight to the save point, which you have access to now. Yep. yep. Time to actually save. Yep. I'm looking forward Time to Time to actually provide your party members. I did. Yeah. Did, did you? Yeah, we did, did see it. Uh, my menu was that fast, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't paying attention. It was I woke up early in the morning. Yeah. Same here. Same. 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 <laughs> no, man, you slept in. You're like, oh, yeah. I should probably get up. Well, yeah. we have two bosses left. We have the copter and Luther. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we have the chain, of, chain of... Uh, yeah. The raffle copter. Yeah. Raffle Ruff copter? That is, yeah, that's raffle copter. This boss is extremely obnoxious. Very, um, very obnoxious. I mean, even with Maria at her range, it's still extremely, extremely obnoxious. Like, so, well, the primary problem is that he has an attack called backdrop, backdrop yeah. and he'll fly like really high in the air, and you can't hit him. And then drop a few bombs. On yeah, you. and he moves while doing it. So I think again, that's what he's doing right now. Again, Maria, even with her range, is not going to really help because he's flying so high in the air and he's moving. So but Maria yeah. has to chase him down. And again, Maria movement speed is really awful. Although the magnetic field does have infinite vertical. Yes, that's like the one saving grace. Yeah. Uh, in Fate Route, like, there's like two ways you can kind of do this. The way I do it is I set up Ice Blade and he just owns this guy for free. But you can also do the uh, Psychic uh, into Air Raid. Yeah, Air Raid is. Uh, and if you get the full chain, you one-shot him. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, he's one of the most obnoxious bosses in the sense he's not necessarily going to kill you. He just you know, goes around all over the place and you can't do anything. <laughs> so this is the final walk. Yeah, this yes. is the last dungeon. So we've got red happy squids, we've got all the good enemies here. Although, towards the end, the enemies get really, really hard to dodge. And yeah, they become impossible to yeah. dodge. Yeah, they're like impossible. Like, Even with like a jewel of refuge, you can't avoid them. Yeah, are they immune to the effects? Like, or no? No, it's uh, just their hitboxes are really big. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes they cover literally like the entrance or the exit you need to go to so you mm -hmm. see the jewel doesn't work. I have one more. Thing. Yeah, you have one. I mean, if you so see I know a good where to use that one. Yeah. I know where to use that one because I did that last night. I'm showing DDR. Yeah. So we're gonna. We're all about to see that. Yeah. Oh, the eyeball. Yeah. This is what we mean about the ring of disintegration being uh, yeah, a little downgrade, downgrade <laughs> because you keep uh, getting these cooking ingredients every time you uh, disintegrate a crystal, and we have to do that for some parts because the crystal is completely blocked their way. Yeah, I sure hope uh, Fart Largar can cook me something. Those cooking ingredients. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's kind of underpowered in this game, He's getting a lot of them. Yeah. They're not as good as they are in SO4, that's for sure. <laughs> so. Because you can only use them outside of battle. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Exactly. It's like, what's the point? And there are like a lot more, you know, um, items that you can use in battle itself, so it's like... The effects are also less impressive. Like, yeah. there's no increased attack power for the next fight. So. Here we have Pseudo Blair. Yeah. Same strategy as before. Yeah, so like. she's single, so, you know, you're going to see nice. charge into Manetic. And, yeah, she can, I think, do MP damage. I'm not sure. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, she does. Like, she... Yeah, she doesn't live that... Oh, what is this? Eddie of Light. That's the uh, dangerous attack. The oh. one dangerous <laughs> attack that she has. And she's using it a lot. Yeah, she's about to go SMK on me. Nah, man, that's Luther. 
Good job, Cliff. All right. Six HP and 30 MP. Yo, if you, if you had a... Uh, oh, no, you won't get the trophy. I was going to say, if you, had, if you had battle trophy set, I think you get a battle trophy for HP that low. No matter yeah. how far John Cena gets down, he always wins. Yeah. He always wins. <laughs> That's what you get for messing with John Cena. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Uh, did he use up the uh, well generators? Or uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to place them in a bit. I like how you highlight the gutsy guy. <laughs> it's like, should I use this? It's like, am I feeling that? Oh, am I, am I feeling I that? Am okay. I feeling that lucky? Lucky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at that point, it's purely luck, right? So, um, right now, the elevator to the next floor is blocked. Um, and so you have to fight three yeah. uh, counter, well, not counter spot, force fights because yeah. uh, They're like after you activate bosses. the switch to each of the colors, uh, you get to fight. Well, this guy here is Rock pretty, yes. Yeah. He's really Rock big, so yeah. it's gonna be a scatter fast. Dude. Yeah, um, and he's pretty strong too. Yeah, he can kill you. Yeah, uh, he, he can. Pink bunny guy died to him once, which is pretty great. Yeah, <laughs> he's no joke. I, I've died to him too. Yeah, yeah. it's to, possible. Uh, explosion. It's explosion. Symbology in this game is really weak on your end, but it's really gone on the enemy side. Is that triple yet? No, it's not. No, it's, it's a not. battle skill, so it won't be yeah. the SP. Oh, Dark Eruption. That one's dangerous, too. Dark Eruption. This is what I meant by the, being dangerous. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, God, he's doing it again. Oh, oh no. You might Why are you throwing? No, we want a Thunder Player. 420. Aw. Why are you throwing the uh, no. magic ball? He, he, wanted, he wanted to Thunder Player. Yeah, oh, I, I see. Thunder player. Yeah. All right. Like, if you don't hold that, uh, the circle button long enough, it just fires off the magical shot. Thank you, tries for button sensitivity. It's not Never even change. that. I think it's just uh, not holding the button yeah, down long enough. Yeah, I wasn't holding it long enough. Yeah, yeah so there are these Kept three different stations you kind of have to activate. So that's the green one. There's a red one and a blue one. Yeah. Um, so the green one is the really big guy, and then the other two are, like, smaller enemies. There's harpies, and then there's the uh, chimera hawks. Yeah. That's the, what they're called. Yeah. I think. I'm not sure if it's a Chimera Hawks. It's a there, it's flying enemies and then it's a yeah, yeah. Chimera Hawks dragons. is what they're called. Jerk Land harpies. Dragons. Jerk RPG jerk harpies. Agreed. Yeah. Jerk harpies. Yo, those jerk harpies are like serious business on higher difficulties. Like hate impact hate hits really hard. It's and like, they, does, can, like, they can uh, do status effects on you. Yeah. Yeah. That's hate true. impact hits for like 3,000 damage. Think confuse is like the main one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Confuse that's is the main right. one. You can just get freeze. Nice. Oh, happy squid. Nice happy happy squid. <laughs> Hoppy squid. I mean, is that the first happy squid? No, it's not, is it? I don't remember. No, I don't, uh, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. It might have been. He was blocking the exit, so I'm like, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. And then I got a back attack anyway when I just ran into him. Amazing. Yeah. There's the jerk harpies. <laughs> yeah, I don't bother doing power ups for the other two bosses because they, they attack fast, yeah. so it's like, doesn't matter. And they're weak anyway. Thunder Flare is good for stun locking. Even yeah. though they heal, Thunder Flare will still heal. I mean, he's still stunned, yeah. Uh, so, you know, good. magnetic field, chain, hit multiple enemies at once. Takes good one. I mean, they're healing for such small amounts of one cares. Like, you're hitting sure. them for, like, what, 40k damage and they're recovering. I don't think 10 anyone could have <laughs> saw what happened in there. It was so bright. Yeah, well, <laughs> the harpies were fought high up in the air, so that. That's a sh good showcase of uh, Magnetic Field's infinite uh, vertical reach. Battling seizure robots. <laughs> <laughs> so going, oh no, not this. Would we have time for a quick donation? Yes, we yeah. do. We have to walk a little bit to get to the next one. Yep. All right, we have a $30 donation from Peak Light that says, Keep up the awesome work. Speedrun marathons are such fun to watch. Lots of memories from my childhood. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Kisses from France. And I do think that we all enjoy our marathons greatly here at RPG Limit Break also. That part of the reason why we have them every year. Yeah, so I was just making his way towards the uh, next switch. Yeah, yeah. He has yeah. activate. Yep. Then you get access to the elevator to go to the third floor. Yep. And then we got to do a couple puzzles and then got to go beat up. We got to beat up gotta pass past some pretty tough. Uh, Enemies. Well, not tough enemies, but tough to avoid enemies. Yeah. yeah. Cause you can run from them pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, you can run from them now. Not yeah, because we have recent, levels. Yeah. Decently leveled up, and you have to beat yeah, it. You're in a Chimera Hawks. Pseudo Blair gave a lot of EXP. Yeah. yeah. Imagine great. if you had triple. Yeah. yeah these uh, guys are annoying. Yeah, they you end up really being fast. like level 70 if you have uh, triple experience throughout the entire run. 
They run from the fights really fast. It's great. Oh, nice charge. <laughs> charge. So you have charge too. Nice. What a good fight. Yeah. So, so that's every that's that's all the encounters before the final boss. Yeah. So yeah. magnetic field being able to have a wide area effect can hit both uh, chimeras at the same time. If you're using Faye, you have to get lucky and hope that they group together so that sidekick hits both of them. <laughs> oh, we it's oh, like. Oh dear. Yeah, it's, it's not as good, basically. Yeah, it's pretty. Those fights are pretty painful as fate, just because of having multiple enemies in a couple of them. Yeah, again, this route specializes on um, having area effect. Um, Cliff, uh, sorry, fate is mostly single target, so he's good against single targets, but against multiple targets, he's a little bit weaker. Yeah. After we get we uh, activate all these three gems, we actually go back. Darn. I couldn't Can't make, make it. it. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> make it. I was close. Close. So now the elevator's activated. And we save yeah. Blair. Yeah, save yeah, Blair, Blair for that. Real Blair. <laughs> yeah, because who we fought was Pseudo Blair. Pseudo Blair. So there are puzzles in the third floor that Ithor is referring to. There are colored gem switches. And, you uh, need the ring of disintegration to cycle to, the colors. Yeah, to activate them. The, the, the thing the developers kind of wanted you to do was to hit this correct color and in a certain number the, of moves. Yeah, use but, all the moves Yeah, available. but you don't really need to. You can reach the color faster. You just don't in get... In the last one, you need... Uh, like, you can do it, like, really shortly. You just don't get the treasure chest drop if you finish the puzzle faster. And at this point, it's like, we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's I'd like, rather whatever. not get those. Yeah. <laughs> not significant. We have to watch the treasure box animation yeah. spawn. Like, geez, that's like five seconds. I don't want to see that. Exactly. Especially when Rip I need to frames. grab it. The frames. <laughs> yep. So this is the first this one we're talking just, about. Just um, use the ring of disintegration on both sides once. It only gives you two tries. Yeah, but uh, hello uh, chest. And similar to the uh, dragon flute, if you do these puzzles incorrectly, you have to fight an encounter that's unescapable. Goodbye chest. So you really don't want to uh, screw the puzzles up. Yeah. For the most part, though, it's not as, I guess, uh, annoying as the dragon flute in my opinion, because you just <laughs> yeah, you just easy. yeah. Yeah. You have to go to the colored doors, activate the puzzle, then backtrack to the... Yeah. Yeah, I can't reset the, the room from these because they set my exit to the colored door. Yeah, yeah. I remember doing that during uh, when we were uh, doing our learning session. It's pretty great. This one, you have to use all the charges again. Yeah. But each color pillar, you have, to use, you have to use the ring three times. I guess the nice thing is that you do, it doesn't use up any of your ring of disintegration charges. It doesn't. You do well, honestly, I'd rather it that it did. Yeah, because then you don't get the item spawns afterwards. Yeah, because um, the thing is, if you run out of those charges, you just all all that happens is you just run out of bonus item to yeah. be gotten. Because it's not like the other ones where if you run out, you got to refill. Yeah, it's pretty much just the that 100 right there or 80 something it is right now. It's from it's from the default when you first get yeah. it. Yeah. Jewel Refuge, last one here. Because these enemies are particularly annoying to dodge. This, yeah. These guys on the left in particular have like gigantic hickboxes yeah. the size of Texas. I'm not even joking about no, that. No, he's not. And the they, swing, they, they swing their bodies around too. The, the Dragoon Spearmen have really, really like huge hitboxes. That's what we mean by like in the top of the tower you see them again. Using a jewel there doesn't help you because they're covering the exit and their hitbox is just so large. Yeah. And this puzzle here, you have 16 uh, charges to use up, but we only need six of them. And we just activate the blue one four times and the red one two times. That's it. You don't even need to see the chest animation. Yep. That's Save nice. frames here. Save the frames. That's what I'm talking about. Oops. Nice cooking, cooking ingredients. Bro. Ingredients. <laughs> Amazing. It's not even giving me like the useful one. Yeah, like. it's not giving you the stuff that you actually want. Like machinery and like smithery. <laughs> it's like here, have some food materials. It's like goddamn. Food stuffs, yeah. So the next couple of floors are just you know, easy Dodging teleporters. Enemies. Uh, but on the sixth floor, you need to activate three switches to get the next teleporter or the elevator to start working again. And you'll need to use the ring of disintegration yeah. to disintegrate, disintegrate the walls. Some of the walls, yeah. And they can be kind of deceptive because they blend in pretty well. Yeah. Um, like, so there will be like hairline cracks on those walls. But if you activate the ring of disintegration there, you'll see the green highlights for sure. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. So there's the uh, elevator I'm talking about. I don't think it's possible to just speedway through it unless you use the ring more than once. Nah, even if you use it twice, it doesn't do much. If 
By the way, Aether and Neosos need to wait a little bit for these things to disappear. That's why he teleports to the back of the yeah. room. If you just try to run straight to the door, Fate like gets hit on his pinky yeah. toe, and then he falls backwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah falls on his back. Because apparently like, Fate is uh, an amazing my, swordsman. Our, our boy Booper can't really handle paper yeah. falling on him really, really well for some reason. Yeah. It looks like paper if you look at it. It does look like paper. Like those uh, those screens that you see in like paper Shola. lights. I just think it's funny because he he like gets hit on his pinky toe and then he falls over. It's like ow. Fortunately, yeah, because if you reset, it's slower. Yeah, in this one, it's slower in this case because the walk is longer. Yeah, shout out hmm. to the DDR for finding this. Yeah. This secret tech. That was like last night. <laughs> yeah. He showed me it. And I was like, oh yeah. There we go. Shout Pretty out. Cool. I like it. I like it. I like what I see. <laughs> Good old level up quotes. I think this is the last switch. Yeah, this is the last one. Yep. This is the last one. Then afterwards, um, it's the elevators take you straight to the top floor, pretty much. It's a long walk on um, floor 10, but it's a straight walk, and the enemies are pretty easy to dodge there. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, we get straight to the Chimeras. Yeah. Chimera heads. It's weird. It's like bio yeah, chimeras. it's like. Yeah, bio chimeras of what their name is? I Something think it like is, that. Yeah. It's, they are it's literally They're like. flying chimeras. They're but flying they're chimeras, slow. but it's literally like their heads. Most, yeah, they're most slow too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> kind of freaky looking. So yeah, we're pretty much done all the puzzles, so it's pretty straightforward at this point. Straight to the end. But yep. yep. Any There's, last minute? Uh -oh. There are those really guys. fat guys we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Any last minute donations before we yeah. go fight the creator supposedly? Go fight Luther. Now's a good time for them. Yeah. Yep. Uh, actually, I would like to mention that uh, we oh, have. Awesome t-shirts for sale. RPG Limit Break is proud once again to be partnering up with the Yeti to bring you nine amazing different looking t-shirts. And three dollars from every single t-shirt will be going to the NAMI Foundation. So if you want a great looking shirt and still want to send money to NAMI, you can buy some there. All right. So yeah, we're just finishing our climb up the top. Nice. Lucky. Good RG on this guy. Lucky. That's the last one. Right? Yeah, yeah, that is the last guy. And it's straight up. So Luther. Um, for the most part, I guess he's pretty simple because we just wail on him as well. But there's a couple of points that kind of make him dangerous. Um, his second form. Yeah, it's mainly his second form that's the problem. So in the first form, he doesn't really use anything super dangerous. But in the second form, once his HP drops below certain thresholds, he starts gaining stronger and stronger moves. Um, particularly, I think after 75% or sorry, 25% HP loss, he gets um, an attack call like, uh, what's it called? It's, it's not the one with the prelude, is it? It's the one with the really big glowing yellow balls. Uh, Fifty percent is uh, what the heck is that called? Yeah, I'm I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, but twenty five percent is a sanity. Twenty five percent is a sanity. Prelude. Okay, okay. Uh, one of them's expansion force. I think that's what the name is. Uh, expansion force is the normal attack. Is it? Yeah, I think yeah. it's normal attack. Yeah. There's one where it's like the really big glowing yellow balls. It's point is Luther gets um basically be better and better attacks, and those attacks unfortunately also have really wide, uh, long windows of invincibility. Uh, and the AI would just love spamming them once mm -hmm. he gets low HP. So the goal here is once you get Luther low enough to quickly kill him before he goes, as I call it, full SNK mode on you. Yeah. So yeah, he becomes, uh, he becomes God Rukul. He becomes God Rukul, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, if, 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 like, he's not letting you uh, do attacks, he'll, he'll, just, he'll just straight up kill you. He'll just yeah. spam those things. It's also why, um, if you have spare duck duck bombs, they're really good here. Because yeah, as definitely. soon as you see his startup, you can throw them at him. And, and that knocks him. him yeah, that will knock him out with the animation. Otherwise he'll be inv invincible. Yeah. I duration. mean there is like a like a small window. It's not really big. Uh, after he uses one of those killer moves that he has, that he'll be vulnerable to attack. Uh, but I mean if for the most part he just straight up goes God Rugo mode on you. He's just like, Nope. I'm gonna spam my genocide cutter repeatedly. The yeah, first phase of Luther is not very hard at yeah, all. The first phase of Luther is pretty easy. He doesn't have anything like super dangerous. I mean, it's annoying if he just like uh, whacks you with his spear like once. So ideally, you want Luther to like stand in place and cast like laser beams. Yeah, laser beams. That makes, him, beams really, that makes him, him super open. vulnerable. Uh, but you know, sometimes he would just be like, nope, I'm just gonna use like expansion force and like all these other attacks and just basically be a pain. Uh, I think Sophia got hit. Discount into Lucio. Yeah. Oh yeah. This kind of <laughs> yeah. This kid. yeah, I this mean, he does kind of look like him. I mean, yeah. he has finger wings. Oh my Head wings. Wow. I'm not getting being able to. That is bad luck. Off. Ooh. Yeah. Hop, he's Sophia, going hop. after Sophia a lot. Yo, Jeff, do it. Jeff. Yes, cast Jeff. protection. 
sure that will help out. Again? I got it off. Uh, uh, I'll be careful. Yeah. Your character's a good pretty good. Oh, it's paralyzed too. Uh, yeah. I was thinking right, right berries, but no, that was worth it. Why would I use back berries again? I mean, right berries. Oh yeah, I could. All right, cool, cool job, Luther. Oh yeah, his attacks can also paralyze you. We forgot to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as we saw, uh, flaming divide is pretty dangerous too. Yeah, I, that's the move at seventy five. Yeah. Flaming divide. Nice. That's good. That he's done. So you're just waiting for the Fury to rebuild because um, when five. you're stunned and you get there hit, with oh, time, time, time. we're done. Uh, time. time. All right. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Wow. I think that was 335 on the dot. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I didn't expect him to go down that quickly. No, yeah, uh, he doesn't. The, he doesn't we were experimenting and charge and magnetic field work really well because magnetic, magnetic field also slows him down. So if he's targeting yeah. someone else, he has to take a while to get there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was a very good fight. Yeah, yeah it was ja a good run overall, actually. The Japanese yeah. like to use a uh, triple kick into Crest uh, Crescent, Crescent Lotus, Lotus, but I've tried doing that. It's we, difficult We tried to do. it too. Yeah, it requires a little bit more microing. <laughs> you, have, you have to push him into the corner is what happens. Yeah. That's how you, you know, get those combos off because you're going to always... Push him o away. Yeah, well, triple him. kick like just sends him flying. Yeah, yep. so it's like uh, this doesn't really work. So um, that was a good fight. I was a bit worried about that fight. Uh, it like was scary at a, a point when all three of your characters are grouped close together. And yeah, they're all in critical yeah. HP. But well, I think it overall, just out. I think yeah. the run overall was pretty good. Yeah, um, considering what happened with, with Iron Creation. Uh, yeah, I don't both time. Yeah. Well, first time. First, first time. time yeah. First time. First time was unfortunate. That was the only thing. Yeah. That was the only major hiccup. Yeah, major hiccup. Welcome um, back, Booper. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Booper. <laughs> you did have to rebuild the battle gauge once or twice. Yeah, once or twice. But I mean, yeah. that happens. Yeah. yeah, that's only like two that's or three minutes. That's the nature of this run, though. Yeah. Having to rename the characters to John Cena. It's too. better than the other run you did, where you got like a 343 or something. Something like that. That included yeah. like a soft lock at the item creatures. Yeah, that, was, that was pretty bad. So I'm, I'm glad that I got to uh, run this game uh, fairly smoothly for you guys. Uh, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed being here. Uh, thanks to my couch crew. Thanks to the tech. Thanks to uh, Cosmic for being on the uh, donation station, uh, reading out the comments. Uh, I know he's the host, but he was reading out those comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really fun. Uh, really enjoyed my time uh, my time here uh, at RPG LB. So uh, yeah. I just think that's it. So yeah. just, uh, just choose to live, dude. Choose to, to live. live. Yeah, choose, choose to live. To live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the ending to this game is 29 minutes long. Yeah, so, so we're, we're not, not watching, watching no, 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 no. it. <laughs> Same with Star Wars. No, no way. Yeah. Like, no way. It's the so, same thing. Uh, I believe it's next really is uh, Earthbound Beginnings. All right. Yeah, right. Awesome. Yeah, so stick around for that. Mm -hmm. If you want to know more about the story, be sure to join the Trias Discord and talk to a boy, Aether, here. He will, he will <laughs> oh, and fill you in on the uh, yeah, he will, on the just to let you to live. He will feed you the deep lore. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> deep <laughs> lore of Star Ocean. Yeah. All right, and uh, I guess we're off. Yep. Yeah, yeah, thanks, guys. Right. Thanks, Thank thanks. you so much for having yeah. us. Thank you very much, guys. That was Star Ocean 3 uh, that you just watched till the end of time. And right now we are going to go to a short commercial break. <laughs>